Hi guys. I would like to invite you to the audiobook service where we upload more than 300 hours of different audiobooks a week, link in details in the video description. Chapter 1 In the early days of Hongmeng, the chaos was not yet opened, and it was filled with violent chaotic airflow. The whole space was gray and hazy like an egg. In the chaos, there was no counting of years. This scene lasted for who knows how many epochs. Until a certain moment, countless chaos origins were born in the boundless chaos. These chaos origins began to absorb chaotic airflow and formed vortices in the chaos. At this time, a slightly dim light flashed in the chaos, and then merged into a blue stone, and then everything returned to peace. After who knows how many epochs, these chaos origins no longer absorbed chaotic air, as if they had reached saturation. Boom, boom, boom. A series of sounds came from the depths of chaos, making the originally calm chaos appear some unusual breath. Huh. Where is this? I remember that I seemed to be drinking before. What's going on now? A voice came from the blue stone, and the person who spoke seemed a little confused. Hiss. What is this? Then, a huge memory poured into the mind of the person who spoke, making him couldn't help but exclaim. This. I actually became the chaos demon god. Or one of the top demon gods, the time demon god. The voice in the bluestone was extremely shocked, and it was obvious that this news shocked him. Well, in the past and present lives, all the past has disappeared. From now on, I will be the time demon god, the Taoist Shurchen. After a long time, the voice in the blue stone, no, the time demon god Shurchen spoke. Boom boom. As if to prove the birth of a new demon god, the Tao felt it, and there was an explosion in the chaos, and the Tao recognized Shurchen's identity. Shurchen made a Tao oath, and then stopped talking, and began to work hard to digest the gifts brought by the Tao. Each of the chaos demon gods born in the chaos is unique and born to master a Tao law. And the time law is one of the top laws. As a person who traveled through time in the future, Shu Chen knew that he would be in danger in the future. After countless Yuan Hui, Pangu, who mastered the law of force, will open the sky and prove the Tao. And the demon gods like me will be instructed by the great Tao to stop the other party from proving the Tao, and eventually end up disappearing into thin air, which is not what I want to see. Pangu's method of proving the Tao is too extreme. He wants to recreate the earth, water, wind and fire in the chaos. At that time, the great Tao rules will fade, and the chaos demon god will not be able to survive, so the great Tao will stop it. As long as the opening of the sky can be stopped this time, even if the prehistoric world is successfully opened up, the chaos demon god will not be affected by the loss of Pangu's prehistoric world. Although I don't want to lie in this muddy water, if there is really no way, I can only stop the other party. After all, if the great Tao rules fade, it will be difficult for me to survive. In any case, it's better to stop it myself, but I can't be too stubborn. Let other chaos demon gods take the lead, and there is no need to put myself in it. As the saying goes, it's better to die than to die. Anyway, the great Tao will take action, and there are so many chaos demon gods to hold it, so it's quite easy for me to fish. An unknown amount of time had passed, and a chaotic aura was surging above the bluestone, as if something was about to appear. After a long time, a figure emerged from the bluestone, turning into a handsome young man with sword-like eyebrows and starry eyes. The young man was dressed in a white Taoist robe, and it seemed as if the long river of time was flowing in his eyes. At this time, the bluestone changed and turned into a roulette-shaped treasure, which was held in the hands of the young man. The young man was naturally Taoist Shurchen. At this moment, he was playing with the roulette in his hand, with a smile on his lips, and he seemed very satisfied. This is my companion magic weapon, the Time Will, which is at the level of Chaos Supreme Treasure. It looks pretty good. Shurchen was overjoyed. He was worthy of being a top Chaos Demon God, and his companion magic weapons were all Chaos Supreme Treasures. After putting away the time will, Shurchen found a direction and wandered aimlessly. Now that I have reached the Hunyuan Wuji Daoyuo Jinxian, it is very difficult to move forward. Let's find some treasures first. Shurchen didn't want to continue practicing. 
Now that he had entered the Hunyuan Wuji Daoyuo Jingxian, that is, the Heavenly Dao Realm, it was impossible to go further without countless Yuanhui and opportunities. He simply wandered around in the chaos. Hunyuan Wuji Daoyuo Jingxian, that is, the Heavenly Dao Realm, is already the end point of many chaos demon gods. Even Pangu, the great god, ended up turning into the prehistoric world in order to enter the last step of the Dao realm. So Shi Chen was not in a hurry to improve his strength. There was no point in being anxious. He just sensed that the chaos was relatively calm now, and there were not many demon gods born. Only Pangu, him, and Yang Mei, who were among the top demon gods, were born. After all, they were the top demon gods, and their talents were not comparable to other demon gods. In the chaos, there is no counting of years. Shi Chen has collected a lot of treasures in the chaos, including countless spiritual treasures and many top spiritual roots, which makes him quite satisfied. In these endless years, Shi Chen occasionally practiced and traveled, and his cultivation has reached the peak of the heavenly Tao realm. He is only one step away from taking the last step and achieving the realm that countless chaos demon gods want to reach, the great Tao realm. Unfortunately, even though Shirchen is gifted and born to control the great Tao of time, he still can't grasp the opportunity to advance to the great Tao. Shirchen has a feeling that his opportunity to advance to the great Tao realm may be with Pangu. Thinking of Pangu, Shirchen's heart is a little heavy. This is a mountain weighing on the hearts of all chaos demon gods. In the countless years in the chaos, he has fought with many chaos demon gods. After all, chaos demon gods are not a loving family. Many of them kill and devour each other, which is not new among chaos demon gods. Shi Chen has also fought with Pangu. The two fought for a full 10,000 years. In the end, Shi Chen lost by one move and left with hatred. That battle made the whole chaos tremble, the chaotic energy rolled back, and the laws of time and power collided, as if to repeat the earth, water, wind and fire. It also made many chaos demon gods who sensed this battle secretly shocked, and felt that the two top chaos demon gods were indeed powerful. My one way, maybe I can go and observe Pangu. When he is promoted to the Tao realm in the future, I only need to observe his method, and maybe I can deduce my Tao, and then the Tao will be completed. Shi Chen had a plan in his mind, knowing that his hope of being promoted to the Tao can only be on Pangu. If he were to create the world like Pangu, although he could do it, he didn't want to do it. After all, it was too dangerous and would attract the intervention of the Great Tao. Three thousand Great Daos, each of which could achieve the Great Tao, but the difficulty was comparable to creating the world. The Great Tao was impartial and would not cause people to despair. Even when Pangu created the world, there was a chance of success, but unfortunately he failed in the end. In the chaos, there was no counting of years. Endless years had passed, and Shirchen's realm remained at the peak of the heavenly Tao realm, without any progress. On this day, Shirchen, who was traveling in the chaos, suddenly sensed an astonishing fluctuation emerging from the depths of the chaos. Then, an angry shout spread throughout the chaos. I, Pangu, now intend to create the world and reenact the chaos to achieve the realm of the great Tao. Then there were bursts of roaring sounds that spread throughout the chaos, allowing all the chaos demons to sense them. Is it finally about to start? I'll go, but for safety's sake, I'll let my Dharmakaya go. Listening to Pangu's voice, Shirchen understood that he had finally waited for this day. All chaos demon gods, including Shirchen, received instructions from the great Tao to stop Pangu from opening the sky, otherwise all chaos demon gods would have no chance to enter the great Tao. Without much hesitation, Shirchen used his own magic power to condense a Dharmakaya and ran directly to Pangu's location. At the same time, his own body was also retreating madly, rushing towards the depths of chaos far away from Pangu. Chapter 2 In order to prevent other chaos demon gods from seeing it, Shirchen deliberately used the law of time to condense a Dharma body from the past time, which was almost equivalent to his past self. For Shirchen, who controlled the great Tao of time, this was the real other self, but his strength was slightly weaker than his original body. After a thousand years, Shirchen's Dharma body finally arrived at Pangu's location. At this time, there were already thousands of chaos demon gods around Pangu, each of whom was ten thousand feet tall, 
strange and terrifying. Seeing Shi Qin coming, the chaos demon gods couldn't help but take a step back, obviously knowing his name. You are finally here, it seems that I am not alone in proving the Tao this time. Seeing Shi Qin appear, Pangu, who was sitting cross-legged, finally spoke. This was the only opponent he recognized. Although they were both chaos demon gods, there was only one person who could be recognized by the first chaos demon god, and that was Taoist Shirchen. Do you know that you will not succeed in proving the Tao this time? Even if the road ahead is difficult, we will come to stop you. Shirchen spoke slowly. Of course I know, but what I fear more is that I will never be able to attain the great Tao. For countless years, I can only think of this way to attain the great Tao. Even if you try to stop me, I am not afraid. Hanga smiled when he heard this, and said calmly. In that case, we have no choice but to stop you. Shuchin knew that the other party would not give up, and he just said it casually. After all, his chance to attain the Great Tao was still with Pangu. After that, he united all the chaos demon gods and launched an attack on Pangu. Huh, come on, look at my Pangu axe, open the sky. Pangu laughed loudly, grabbed the Pangu axe beside him, and the law of power surged on it, and a terrifying attack was launched. Shuchin was shocked when he saw this, and quickly dodged to the side and avoided the attack. But a chaos demon god beside him was not so lucky. He was directly beaten into nothingness by this opening of the sky and disappeared in the chaos from then on. Roar! The chaos demon gods were not afraid. They were born in the chaos and had come all the way through killing. How could they be afraid of death? Moreover, compared to death, they were more afraid that their cultivation would not be able to improve in the future. The hatred of blocking the way is more serious than killing one's father and taking one's wife in the world. Shuchin cast one law after another, and the huge time law surged. Endless visions appeared, carrying an unmatched offensive to kill Pangu. And Pangu would naturally not surrender. He waved the giant axe in his hand again and again, and endless chaotic energy surged, and the earth, water, fire and wind continued to evolve. This battle lasted for tens of thousands of years. Almost all of the three thousand chaos demon gods were blown up, leaving only the top ten demon gods such as Shurchen, Yangmei Patriarch, Five Elements Patriarch, and Yin and Yang Patriarch. It seems that you have failed. I will achieve the great Tao. Pangu was also scarred at this time, but his eyes were bright and he stared at the demon gods in front of him and said. It's still unknown who will win or lose. Chaos demon god snorted coldly, unwilling to admit it. As he said that, he attacked Pangu again. Seeing this, the other demon gods no longer hesitated and attacked Pangu again. Thousands of years passed, and except for Pangu, only Shurchen and Yangmei were left on the battlefield and almost all other demon gods died. Even if they didn't die, the demon gods' bodies were blown up, and it was unknown how many years they would have to recuperate in the chaos before they could be reborn. At this time, Pangu had successfully opened up the prehistoric world, but he didn't have the strength to support its evolution. And Shurchen and Yangmei were all seriously injured. Because Shurchen himself was a little bit lazy, even though his body was seriously injured and there were signs of collapse, he was trying his best to maintain it. However, his current appearance was seen by Pangu and Yang Mei, and they knew everything in their hearts. Yang Mei was in a more miserable state. The chaos demon god's body was directly blown up. Even if he recovered from his injuries later, this demon god's body would no longer exist. The two looked at Shurchen and were finally moved. I didn't expect that you would have the means in the end, Shurchen. Pangu looked at Shurchen's dharma body that was about to collapse and said slowly. Shurchen, I didn't expect you to be like this. Yang Mei was also horrified. She didn't expect that this guy would send a dharma body after she and others fought hard, and she and others hadn't discovered it before. It wasn't until now that his dharma body was about to collapse that she understood everything. I just don't want to wade into this muddy water easily. With the power of you and the great Tao, it is enough to stop Pangu Daoyu. Shuchen smiled and didn't deny it. After all, it was he who pitted Yang Mei and others. Yang Mei saw that things had come to this point, and it was useless for him to stay here. 
Anyway, Pangu couldn't achieve the great Dao now, and he was seriously injured, and there was an unknown Shuchin body. He simply turned around and fled to the depths of chaos. Shuchin and Pangu did not stop her, or they could not stop her, and let Yang Mei leave directly. Shuchin, promise me, help me take care of the prehistoric world. Looking at the direction Yang Mei left, Pangu knew that he could not achieve the great Tao, so he simply pleaded with Shuchin. Don't worry, I won't let your efforts go to waste. Shuchin looked solemn and slowly promised Pangu. In this way, it can be. Pangu said with relief. After saying that, Pangu's breath gradually dissipated, slowly fell into the new prehistoric world, and his body gradually evolved into all things in the prehistoric world. After watching Pangu's body transform into all things, Shuchin felt something in his heart, and directly dispersed this Dharma body, and his consciousness returned to his body. In the depths of the endless chaos, there is an unknown place, where the huge body of the demon god Shuchin stands, and the endless laws of time surge around. I don't know how long it has been, maybe one Yuan Hui, or maybe just a moment, Shuchin slowly opened his eyes. The path of Taoist Pangu to prove the Tao is indeed beneficial to me. Now I have the hope of proving the Tao, and then I will be on par with the Tao. Shuchin's eyes were filled with joy, as if endless stars flashed. Without saying anything more, he seized the time to start practicing, striving to prove the Tao as soon as possible. In the chaos, there is no counting of years, and I don't know how many yuan we have passed. In the depths of the chaos, a loud noise came, echoing in the entire chaos. Boom boom. At this time, the boundless purple-gold airflow surged, so that the entire chaos was reflected under this boundless purple-gold air. Then, the entire chaos seemed to be trembling, or in joy, and the boundless chaotic air rolled. Ha ha ha, after countless yuan hui, I finally achieved the great Tao. A joyful voice came, floating in the entire chaos, and gradually spread to the depths of chaos. At this time, the great Tao appeared, the sky was full of flowers, the ground was full of golden lotus, endless spiritual energy was flowing around the time, the merits of the great Tao were rolling, and various laws flashed around it. At this time, the great Tao came to congratulate, congratulating someone for achieving the great Tao. The great Tao is fair. Although Shuchin's achievement of the Tao is not as difficult as Pangu, the suffering is not worth telling to outsiders, and there is also the Great Tao blocking it. But as long as you can achieve the Great Tao, the Great Tao will come to congratulate you on your appearance and send you endless rewards. The merits of the Great Tao are just pediatrics. The Great Tao that Shuchin achieved is not the Great Tao that has always existed. He achieved a realm. The Great Tao is a general will. It can be incarnated into thousands or only one. It is everywhere and nowhere to be found. It is the most perfect existence in the world and the existence that gave birth to chaos and the chaos demon god. Chapter 3 Now, it's time to go to the ancient world and have a look. When he successfully attained the great Tao, he was in a good mood. He casually grabbed the chaotic beast from the realm of heaven as a mount, and then rode directly away from the chaos. Chaos beasts are not chaos demon gods. They are just born in chaos. However, they are not as gifted as chaos demon gods, and it is extremely difficult for them to be born with intelligence. Long after Shi Chen left, a helpless sigh came from deeper in the chaos, I didn't expect that fellow Taoist Shi Chen had already attained the Great Tao. This was something that fellow Taoist Pangu had not accomplished back then. Poor poor Taoist now I haven't recovered from my injuries yet, alas. Immediately, the entire chaos returned to calm. Time moved forward throughout the chaos, and after several years, we finally arrived at the chaos where the prehistoric era was. Looking at the world created by Pangu, Shurchen felt that he was finally ahead of all the chaos demon gods. The power of the great avenue around him emerged, directly wrapping the time and heading towards the prehistoric world, even the prehistoric heavenly law could not detect it. As for the ferocious beast from before, he had already stewed it and eaten it. He had just come out of seclusion and wanted to satisfy his appetite. When the time came to the ancient world, the spirit of the great saint was swept away, and the whole matter of the ancient world was known. Now is the time when ferocious beasts are weighing the calamity, 
and there are ferocious beasts all over the ancient wilderness. He has no plans to show up, and plans to retire in the ancient wilderness from now on. Arriving at the coast of the East China Sea, I directly found the Penglai Immortal Island hidden on the East China Sea, easily broke through the innate restrictions on it, and placed the dojo here. As for the future Duke Dong and others who lost Penglai Immortal Island, that has nothing to do with him. Hiding Penglai Immortal Island again, Chen went straight to the center of the island, and with a wave of his hand, a palace of chaos spiritual treasure level appeared, the Vientian Palace. It was what he obtained when he traveled to chaos, and now he has a use for it. It is indeed one of the top dojos in the ancient world. Although it is useless to me, the spiritual energy here is simply too strong for the creatures in the ancient world. Shuchen nodded with satisfaction. He casually inspired two strange beasts and transformed into two Taoist boys, a boy and a girl. You will be called Qiyang and Baiyue. From now on, you will take good care of Penglai Island for me without making any mistakes. I will obey the will of the great master. The two Taoist boys knelt down and said. After looking at the strength of the two Dao boys, they only had the cultivation level of Jin Xian, which was really embarrassing for him, so he pointed out. This is a skill. You can practice it here when you have nothing to do. Improve your cultivation level as soon as possible. Don't lose my face. Thank you, sir, for the reward. The two boys thanked them again. After waving his hand and asking him to leave, Shur arrived at the Vientian Palace and began to rest. Ever since I knew I was in a prehistoric world, I have never had a moment's rest, and there is always a sense of urgency. Now everything is empty, everything is over, and you can take a good rest. After this sleep, Shuchen slept for a Yuan Hui. It's still comfortable to sleep. Aren't you tired of practicing all day long? After an Yuan Hui, Shuchen finally woke up in the Wanxiang Palace. I didn't expect that I actually slept with a Yuan Hui, but there are still ferocious beasts dominating outside, so let's just ignore them. Shuchen looked up, directly penetrated the endless restrictions, looked at the ancient land, and found that it was still a ferocious beast measuring calamity. Among them, just ignore it. Ding, the chat group of all worlds invites you to join. Do you want to join? Huh? What? A voice sounded in his mind, making Shurchen slightly stunned, but he didn't care. He didn't feel anything that could threaten him. Time passed in his eyes, and he directly saw through the essence of this so-called chat group, which was just the incomplete Tao. Although it is an incomplete avenue, it has the power to break apart dimensions. Now it has turned into this chat group, and luckily, Shi Chen was invited in. It must be the unlucky guy who was killed by fellow Taoist Pangu with an axe back then. Not only was he not resurrected, but only a broken avenue was left. I happened to be idle and bored, so I simply clicked yes. All heavens and all realms chat group. Ding, the chaos demon god and the saint of the avenue of time join this group. Tony Stark, newcomers are welcome to join, the men are hot and the women are hot. Uchiha Madara, newcomer, do you want to dance too? Conan, you're new, please introduce yourself. Wu Yochi, would you like a new hairstyle? I'm a senior hairstylist at Dabaojin Hair Salon. Looking at the somewhat familiar style of the Penguin chat group, Shi Chen's memories that had been sealed in dust for countless Yuanhui sessions were finally opened. Shi Chen, I just slept for a while and found such a gadget. It's interesting. Tony Stark. Uchiha Madara. Conan. Wu Yuqi. As soon as Shi Chen spoke, the chat group suddenly became quiet, feeling that he couldn't keep up with this person's rhythm. Conan, damn it, you're a Yuan Hui, you're a big boss who just came out of nowhere. Tony Stark, I seem to have seen something in a certain big country in the East. A Yuan Hui seems to be 129,600 years old. Uchiha Madara, arrogant words. Wu Yuqi, shivering, boss, are you kidding me? Shi Chen, so that's it. I already know the ability of this chat group. I didn't expect that this small incomplete avenue would have such a special function. Conan, so the boss's world is different from ours? Shivering. JPG. Ding, the chat group of all heavens and worlds now has five members, 
and the chat group positions, chat group levels, chat group red envelopes, chat group sign-in, chat group store and other functions are enabled. Ding, congratulations to Shirchen for becoming the chat group leader, and other members will automatically upgrade to administrators. Tony Stark, are so many functions enabled for newcomers? And why am I not the group leader? Conan, shit, you should look at the chat group level before you speak. Tony Stark, say it again, my name is Tony Stark, not Tony shit. Tony said angrily, but he still took a look at the chat group level, and this look almost made his eyes pop out. Chat group level, three realms of human level first level, second level, third level, six realms of immortal level celestial immortal, true immortal, golden immortal. Tai golden immortal, Daluo golden immortal, quasi sage, entering the Dao, Hunyuan Daluo Jinxian sage, Hunyuan Wuda Daluo Jinxian heavenly Dao realm, Dao realm. The weakest one at present is Conan, who is just a first level rookie. Tony himself is second level, and Wu Liuqi is second level fake. I don't know what it means, but this Uchiha Madara is actually a third level one. As for the new guy who looks awesome, it is really awesome. He is actually the highest level of Dao realm. He doesn't even know what Dao is. After everyone read it, they were silent. Shirchen, why don't you talk? Is there something wrong? After staying in chaos for so long, Shirchen always felt that his words were somewhat out of tune with them. Although he is already an old antique, his heart is not old. At least he looks very young. Uchiha Madara, you are the real god, I would like to call you the strongest. Uchiha Madara spoke first, and he was a licker from the beginning. They all came in before, but it has only been a few days. However, after being influenced by Tony and Conan, this Madara also has a tendency to chat in groups. Tony Stark, excuse me, are you the real god? Conan, boss, please take me with you. Wu Yochi, although I don't know why, I feel so powerful. Chapter, 4 Ding, Shuchin uploaded a memory, all members can watch it. Everyone clicked in directly after hearing the sound, and found that it was a big battle, and the two sides fighting were Pangu and the 3000 Chaos Demon Gods. Each demon god was more than 10,000 feet tall, and the laws surged when he waved his hands, and all kinds of forces that could destroy the world flew. Everyone, kneel down to the boss. Shuchin, I am the Chaos Demon God, in charge of the Avenue of Time, you can call me Daozuan. Tony Stark, Daozuan. Achiha Madara, Daozuan. Wu Yochi, Daozuan. Conan, Daozuan. Shuchin, let me show you my world. As he said, Shuchin directly extracted a world course of the prehistoric world through the long river of time and combined with his own memories. There are also some of his own deeds in it, but he only regards himself as a bystander, which is also the original prehistoric world. Ding, Shuchin Daozuan uploaded prehistoric world, automatically generated the destiny space, and all members can view it. In an instant, everyone chose to watch. You can enter the destiny space directly, just like watching a movie, and no matter how long you stay in it, it will only take a moment to come out. Tony Stark, so shocking, it turns out that the ancient Chinese legends are all true, such a powerful immortal. Uchiha Madara, compared with the immortals in this world, the so-called Six Paths immortal is just an ant. Wu Yochi, if I learn these immortal arts, can I become the number one assassin? Shuchin Daozuan, I am the demon god who controls the avenue of time. I already know your fate. Do you want to see your future fate? Everyone, I want to see. Everyone said without thinking, nonsense, if you don't want to know your own fate, aren't you a fool? Ding, group leader Shirchen Daozuan uploaded Iron Man 1-3, Avengers 1-4, Naruto, Assassin Wu Yochi, and Detective Conan. The destiny space has been automatically generated. All group members can watch their own destiny, and they can also edit and open it to other members to watch. Group leader Shirchen Daozuan received 4000 chat group points. Everyone saw this and chose to watch their own destiny space without hesitation. Shua. After a moment, everyone returned to the chat group. Tony Stark, I didn't expect that I, Tony Stark, would become a hero. It turns out that there are such powerful enemies in the universe. Uchiha Madara, 
will I fail in the end? Ju, hum, even I didn't notice his little move. Wu Yuqi, I used to be the strongest assassin in Xuanwu country. It turns out that I was so handsome before. Conan, why is my world so weird? It has been so many years, why didn't we feel it? Now that I see my destiny space, I feel something is wrong. Shuqin Daozuan, after you have seen your own destiny, how do you feel? I want to. Tony Stark, I never thought that the world I live in is so dangerous. I will fight so many powerful enemies in the future. Fortunately, I still have companions. Uchiha Madara, thank you for letting me know my destiny. It seems that my plan needs to be completely changed. Shuqin Daozuan, you can choose to let other members watch your own destiny space, so that you will also know each other. Tony did not hesitate to hear this and directly chose to open his destiny space. Anyway, he had nothing to keep. At most, people would say that he was a playboy before. Uchiha Madara hesitated for a while and chose to open his destiny space. Although he was a somewhat negative character, for the existence of the group leader who had seen the ups and downs, it would not affect his position in his heart. As for other people, he, Uchiha Madara, did not need to explain to others what he did all his life. As for Conan and Wu Yuqi, they didn't consider it at all. They directly chose to open their own destiny space, but Conan was quite careful and edited some of his inconvenient privacy. After everyone watched the destiny space of others, they were all undecided. Tony Stark, Old Madara, I didn't expect you to have so many thoughts. But your ninjutsu is quite interesting. I'll give you some of my armors when I have time, and we can exchange them. Uchiha Madara, ha, huh, on the road to realizing your ideal, there will always be sacrifices and plans, but I'm also interested in your armor. Conan, I was just saying that the name Uchiha Madara is familiar. It turns out to be Naruto. I thought I'd seen it. Wu Yochi, it turns out that the world I live in is very weak. I'd better go get a haircut. Ding, the group owner Shuqin Daozuan uploaded the technique Baju Xian Gong free, and got 10,000 group points. All group members can download it. Uploading techniques or props, natural treasures and other things in the chat group can get a certain amount of points. The points can be used to buy things that other members put on the chat group store. After all, not everyone is as arrogant as Shuqin and gives them away for free. When everyone saw that it was something sent by the group owner, they chose to download it without thinking twice. The group owner's things are definitely good things. Dao Zun Shuqin, I created a magic technique casually. If you practice it to the highest level, you can achieve sainthood in your physical body. It should be useful to you. Conan, the body becomes holy. Thank you for the reward. Daozuan. I decided to cultivate immortality in the future. Everyone, thank you for the reward, Daozuan. The chat group was silent for a long time, but this silence was soon interrupted. Tony Stark, Daozuan, I can't seem to cultivate. Wu Yochi, I can't either. Although I can feel the energy, it's hard to cultivate it. Conan, I can't seem to cultivate it either crying. Achiha Madara, ditto. Shuqin Daozuan, I was negligent. Your world has no spiritual energy and can't cultivate. Wait for me. After saying that, Shuqin left the chat group and improved the technique. Ding, group leader Shuqin uploaded 8-9 mysterious art improved, all group members can download it. Shuqin Daozuan, after the improvement, the energy of the technique can be absorbed through food, preferably old herbs or powerful beasts. Tony Stark this is good, I will go and buy a medicinal material company, it should be enough for the time being. As expected of a dog tycoon, he directly bought a medicinal material company. Uchiha Madara, Fierce Beast. I don't know if the tailed beast in our world can be used. Uchiha Madara had a plan in mind, thinking that he would catch a tailed beast and try it out. Anyway, the tailed beast was a toy for him and Hashirama sends you back then. Conan, ah, uh, I'm just a little detective, and I'm still in elementary school. How can I get medicinal materials to practice? Wu Yochi, it's so troublesome. De Bayo still owes money to the divine doctor. How can he let me buy things? 
Looking at the current situation of the group members, Shuchen thought about it and grabbed a handful of fairy grass from the fairy island outside. Although it is just a fairy grass that can be found everywhere, it is also the most top-level treasure for other worlds. Ding, the group leader Shuchen Daozuan sent a fairy grass red envelope X1. When everyone saw that there was still a red envelope, they started to grab the red envelope mode. Conan, thank you Daozuan for the fairy grass. Achiha Madara, thank you Daozuan. Tony Stark, thank you Daozuan for the red envelope. I will get you a few battle armors later. Although they are useless to you, they can be used as toys. Wu Yochi, thank you Daozuan. Shuchen Daozuan, it's okay, it's just useless weeds at my door. Everyone. Shuchen Daozuan, although that's the case, the energy in it is still very huge for you. You must be careful when taking it, so as not to explode and die in the end. After a pause, Shuchen spoke again, Okay, don't disturb me if you have nothing to do. You can take care of yourself. The energy of these fairy grasses is enough for you to practice to the entry level. After speaking, Shuchen went offline directly. Chapter 5 Everyone saw Shi Chen's profile picture dimming and knew that Shi Chen was offline, so they simply started chatting again. When they were here before, they couldn't let go. After all, this was a boss who was so awesome that he burst into flames. Tony Stark, okay everyone, I'm going to study the fairy grass given to us by Tao Zun. The energy in it is so powerful. Maybe it can be helpful to the Iron Man suit I develop in the future. Said after that, Tony went offline directly. Achiha Madara, I'm going down too. There are still some things I need to do. Since Achiha Madara knew his fate, he began to think about how to solve it. First of all, Baiju couldn't believe it. He had to do it. Be well prepared. Wu Yochi, Conan, aren't you offline? Wu Yochi looked at the chat group with only the two of them and couldn't help but ask. Conan, I'll log off immediately. Now that I have an understanding of the Black Organization, things will be much easier to handle from now on. I'm going to think about the future. Wu Yochi, okay, oh, we have a guest, I'm going to sell awful. Conan, objection. You don't sell awful and give other people haircuts at the same time. It's really hard work. Looking at Wu Yochi's dimmed profile picture, Conan felt it was boring and simply logged off. In the bright room, a young man opened his eyes and slowly got up from the bed. Conan still felt incredible when thinking back to what he saw in the chat group. Although there are some ghost legends in their world, they are not as bizarre as this incident. Very good, I didn't expect the black organization to be so interesting, with an average of 25 boys per capita. Gin, vodka, bell mode. Conan smiled. Now he has just transformed into the body of a primary school student and has not experienced so much, so many things have not happened. Yesterday, he followed Jin and the others and saw them conducting a secret transaction. Unexpectedly, he was attacked from behind and knocked unconscious by Jin. What happened next was that he took poison, but he didn't die, and turned into a primary school student. Then he came to Dr. Agasa's house, where he was discovered by Xiaolan, who changed his name to Idagawa Conan in desperation. By the way, there is also Haiyuan, the betrayer of the black organization who will appear later. Like me, he took the poison developed by the organization. Things are really getting more and more interesting, and I don't have to worry about being found by the black organization. But I still can't tell Xiaolan my true identity. A few days later, with the help of Xiaolan and others, Conan successfully enrolled in Daidan Elementary School. Looking at the familiar school gate in front of him, Conan couldn't help but smile bitterly. I didn't expect that after I graduated from here for several years, I would be able to study here again. Fate, it would really make fun of me. By the way, why didn't I feel it before? There is something wrong with our world's timeline. I have to find a group of people when I go back. Let me ask you, after all, he is the master of time. Conan thought as he walked into Daidan Elementary School with his school bag on his back. Everyone, please be quiet. Next, I want to introduce a new classmate to you. Teacher Xiaolin introduced Conan to the primary school students. Hello everyone, 
My name is Adagawa Conan. Please give me your advice. Conan suppressed the embarrassment in his heart and could only play the role of a primary school student. Phew, it's finally over. I thought I would get used to it after watching the plot, but I didn't expect that I still have no interest in elementary school life. After a day of study, Conan successfully escaped from the school and could finally relax. Hello, Idagawa-san, my name is Yoshida Ayumi, may I meet you? At this time, a little lowly's voice came, and Conan knew without looking that it was those three idiots. Wherever Ayumi is, Genta and Mitsuhiko will follow. However, he is familiar with the original plot. Although he is sometimes angry with the three little guys, he always makes trouble in various ways. After all, naughty children are very annoying. But looking at it now, I don't find it so annoying. After all, I was good friends with them back then, and we were both members of the young detective team. Hello, I'm Conan Adagawa, nice to meet you. Conan greeted with a smile. And me, and me. My name is Genta Kojima. My name is Tsuburaya Mitsuhiko, please give me your advice. Sure enough, there were two little guys, the chubby one was Genta, and the one with freckles was Mitsuhiko. These three had been playing together. After a few people got to know each other, they left together. Conan knew that he would often be with these elementary school students in the future, so he simply did not refuse to go home with them for a short walk, just to get acquainted with them more. At noon that day, Conan, Mari Kagoro and Mari Lan came to the bank together. It was originally just a simple deposit. But seeing the woman on the counter, Conan's memory suddenly emerged, recalling the other party's final result. Hirota Masami, or Mayano Akemi, Haihara A.I.'s sister, was a participant in this bank robbery and was eventually killed by gin and vodka. Conan looked at Hirota who kept looking at his watch not far away. Tian Yame was thinking about the other party in her heart. By the way, she seems to be a Kai Shuichi's girlfriend. It seems that no matter what, I have to save her. He had seen everything in the destiny space, and could well understand the powerlessness he felt when he saw the other person being killed without saving him, so he had to save him no matter what this time. Not only because the other party is Haiyuan's sister, but also because he doesn't want anything to happen to anyone. Although he was called the primary school student of death, he wanted to return the truth to the deceased. Today's Conan is no longer what he used to be. Although the chat group has not passed for a few days, he has spent a long time in his own world. The only difference is that there is a problem with time in this world, and he can never grow up. He used some small inventions of Dr. Agasa and exchanged some ninjutsu with Madara Uchiha. Although the level was not high, it was barely enough in this world. Among them, he has already mastered the three body arts of transformation, substitute and clone. I wonder if this world has the concept of ninja, but he can learn it easily and understand it. Coupled with his strong mind as a detective, he can learn quickly. Conan planned to save Mayano Akemi, but he was not familiar with her. He had only met her a few times before, and he was still an elementary school student, so he could only decide to save her later. From now on, as long as Mayano Akemi hides her identity, she can stay in the dark at any time. In fact, as long as I give it some time and my ninjutsu is perfected, I can directly wipe out the black organization. Although the other party is very powerful, they are mortal after all, and I can kill them at any time in the future. However, as a detective, he must pay attention to evidence in everything he does. Unless it is a special situation, he will not be ashamed of his belief as a detective. After Masami Hirota teamed up with others to rob the cash transport truck, Conan only informed Kagoro Mori and called the police. After that, he directly found Hirota Masami's house, and after the police searched it, he waited here for the other party's return. Chapter 6 Finally, night fell, and Hirota Masami returned to her residence. You are finally back, Ms. Hirota Masami, no, it should be said, Ms. Mayano Akemi. Conan's voice came out of nowhere, which startled the other party. But what made her even more incredible was that the other party actually knew her true identity. Oh, it's you, Conan, why are you still not home so late? And what were you talking about just now, what Mayano Akemi? Mayano Akemi forced herself to be calm, and her heart was full of doubts. 
Let me introduce myself, my name is Kudo Shinichi, and I am a detective. It was because I ate the poison developed by your organization that I became what I am now. You are the famous high school detective. You actually know about the organization. Mayano Akemi was very shocked. This is a mysterious organization surrounded by huge mysteries, and even she only knows some peripheral things. I'm here to save you. You don't have to refuse. I know you want your sister Shiho Mayano to leave the organization, but you should know that this is impossible. You should know the importance of your sister to the organization better than I do, so there is only one end for you, being killed by Jin and the others. Conan said seriously. Even so, I decided to give it a try. Mayano Akemi was silent for a while, but still shook her head and said. Then do you know what your sister would do if she knew the truth about your death? She will definitely not make medicine for the black organization anymore, and the people in the organization will punish her. If she doesn't surrender, the organization will kill her without hesitation. But what can I do? Our parents were killed by the organization, and I must save Shiho. Mayano Akemi was obviously a little collapsed, and couldn't help but sit on the ground. If you believe me, I can let you see your sister, and I will wipe out the black organization in the future. Conan walked out silently and looked at the woman sitting on the ground in front of him. What can you do? As long as I can get Shiho out of the organization, I can pay any price. As if she had grabbed the last straw, Akemi Mayano tightly grasped Conan's arm and said. I can make you fake your death tomorrow, and then your sister will definitely find a way to get out of the organization. And I found traces of the black organization entering my house. As the developer of this drug, your sister will definitely find that I am not dead and guess that there is something wrong with my drug. If she wants to get out of the organization, she must take this drug. At that time, she can only come to me, and then you sisters can meet. Conan said his plan. Are you sure that my sister will take this drug and become a child like you? Akemi Mayano was surprised and asked. You can only believe in this method, which is also the only way to get her out of the organization. Conan knew that not everyone would become smaller after taking this drug, otherwise the organization would not use this drug to kill people. However, as an important figure in this world, Huiyuan AI also understood what the protagonist Halo was, and knew that the other party would definitely not die, so this was the best way. It can only be like this, what do you want me to do? As if she had accepted her fate, Akemi Mayano had to believe Conan. You just need to disappear for a while, I will meet them for you tomorrow. As she said, in order to make the other party believe her, she used her transformation technique. However, this was too incredible, but she also understood ninjutsu. Although this was circulated in this world, no one had ever seen it, but it also gave her confidence. The next day, Conan used ninjutsu as planned to deceive Jin and the others, allowing Akemi Mayano to successfully escape during the holiday. Wu Yochi, by the way, how are you practicing? Returning to the chat group again, Conan felt as if he had been in another world. Wu Yochi suddenly thought of the skills he had given them before, and asked. Because the time in everyone's world is different, it may be that one day in one world will be a year in another world. However, there will be no such trouble in the chat group, because it will put everyone's time flow together. Conan, I've been busy recently and haven't had time to practice, but I have successfully practiced some simple ninjutsu. Tony Stark, I have practiced for a while, and I can already feel that my strength has increased a little. Uchiha Madara, it is indeed a very powerful technique. We ninjas have never had any techniques, only ninjutsu and chakra, but I don't feel any discomfort. And I feel that even if I practice the first level, I will be stronger than the physical body of the rakage. Not only that, I feel that my cells are regaining vitality. Conan, since it is so powerful, I have to practice quickly, I'll log off first. Tony Stark, I also have to develop the second generation of Iron Man armor as soon as possible, so that I won't be helpless in the face of Thanos in the future. I don't even have time to be intimate with Pepper. Oh, shit. Speaking of this, Tony also went offline. Really stimulated by the fate he saw before, Tony realized how terrible his world is. What are the multiverses, the cosmic court, etc.? Uchiha Madara, Wu Yochi, 
why do you keep dwelling on the power of the past? The skills given by Dao Zun are enough for you to practice for a lifetime. Seeing another group member go offline, Uchiha Madara had no choice but to communicate with Wu Yochi. I think so too, but it's so difficult, and I have to work part-time during the day, so I don't have enough time. Wu Yochi was a little distressed, but he had to solve all this by himself. Uchiha Madara, your magic sword Thousand Blades is quite interesting. Do you want to make a deal with me? I can give you a shadow clone and teach you ninjutsu. This way you can have time to practice. How about it? Shadow clone technique? Why didn't I think of it, but? I can't just give you something as important as the thousand blades of the demonic sword. It's so annoying. Wu Yochi was very surprised when he heard this, but the thousand blades of the demonic sword not only it is a good weapon and has a very important meaning to him, so he does not want to replace the thousand blades of the demonic sword. Uchiha Madara, in that case, just pretend I didn't say anything and I'll be offline. Shaking his head, Uchiha Madara also went offline directly. In fact, I didn't really want the thousand blade demonic sword, but I was somewhat interested in the sword that could be shattered and then reassembled. Since Wu Yochi didn't want to change it, there was no need to bother. Wu Yochi, they're all gone, so I'll go down too. Feeling bored, Wu Yochi looked at all the group members who were offline, and simply went offline himself, just in time to spend more time practicing. Ancient Times, Pinglai Fairy Island Shi Chen opened his eyes, stood up and walked out of the Vientian Palace. Meet the Grand Master. Qi Yang and Bai Yu saw that it was time to leave the seclusion and hurriedly came over to salute. You guys are not bad. We have arrived at Daoyuo Jingxian. Now that we have nothing to do, I will give a sermon on the Immortal Island. After looking at the cultivation of the two boys, Shi was quite satisfied, and then planned to give a speech to the Immortal Island. Give a sermon to all living beings. Thank you, Eldest Master. We will summon all the living beings on the Immortal Island right now. The two boys were overjoyed. It was rare to hear the Eldest Master's sermon. Although the two boys didn't know how high Shi Chen's cultivation was, they were absolutely terrifying. What they don't know is that Shi Chen is a being in the Tao realm, and his preaching is like meeting the Tao directly. There are not only two boys on the fairy island, but also many creatures with spiritual intelligence. These creatures are all innate creatures with good qualifications, but they basically have no transformation. Soon, all the creatures from the fairy island arrived, and all the creatures gathered in front of the Vientian Palace, quietly waiting for the sermon. When time comes in front of all living beings, the sound of the great way blooms in the mouth, golden lotuses surge from the ground, and various images appear, including flying cranes, roaring apes, and goddesses scattering flowers. Bursts of the sound of the great Tao spread throughout the immortal island, making all the creatures listening here intoxicated, as if this was the truth of the great Tao. Time has blocked the connection between this fairy island and the ancient world, otherwise the voice of his sermons would directly spread throughout this ancient world. Originally, the first preacher in the prehistoric times was Hong Jun, and this sermon would bring heavenly merits. If Shi Chang allowed his preaching voice to spread throughout the world, as the first preacher and a strong man in the Tao realm, I am afraid that heaven would not dare to bestow merits on him. After all, there is no difference between heaven and Tao facing him and Tao. At this time, the ferocious beasts are still measuring the calamity outside, but it has basically reached the end, and soon the ferocious beast's home field will pass. After the ferocious beast Emperor Shen Ni is killed, the ferocious beast will truly withdraw from the stage of the prehistoric era. In the following time, it will usher in the home field of the three clans of dragon, phoenix, and unicorn, and the prehistoric era will usher in the first tribulation of the Long Han Dynasty. Chapter 7 Shurchen's preaching lasted for a thousand years. When Shurchen finished preaching in the strange phenomena on the entire Penglai fairy island disappeared, all the living creatures bowed and left. However, Shurchen taught them a set of exercises to practice on the island, and ordered that no one could leave the island without his permission. All the living creatures are cultivators, and even if they don't go out for a few yuan hui, they will not feel irritated, but enjoy the fun of cultivation. After sending them away, 
Chu Chen returned to the Wanxiang Palace again and began his slacking career. Looking at the chat group of the heavens and the worlds, Chu Chen's body was filled with the laws of the Great Tao. He directly used his own Great Tao to make up for some chat groups and update some functions. Ding, the chat group has been made up by the power of the Great Tao of Shu Chen Daozuan, and the following content is now updated. New chat group live broadcast, chat group store new products, chat group transmission, and chat group tasks have been added. The few people who were originally diving were blown out by the sudden prompt. Conan, hey, the chat group was suddenly updated. Oh my god, Dao Zun manually updated it. That's awesome. Tony Stark, my handsome second generation Iron Man suit is almost finished. Is there anyone who wants to try it on? Wu Yochi, I, 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 brother Tony, give me two when the time comes. Conan, if I wear your suit, will others say that Do Zong is so terrifying? Ding, welcome Big Bone Boiled into Soup, King of Cosmic Debt, and Bald Cape Man to join the chat group of all heavens and worlds. Tony Stark, the chat groups know. Two is here. Why don't you newcomers pay your respects? Wu Yochi, you are the no. Two, then who is the no? One. Also, welcome newcomers to the group. Uchiha Madara, nonsense, of course it's our supreme group leader. In addition, I, Uchiha Madara, only admit that the group leader is better than me. Chang, you are a big shit. I advise you to learn from your mistakes. Bone made into soup, um, where is this place? Am I not planting flowers at the Mars base? How come I suddenly appeared here? Cosmic Debt King, is this the technology of some alien? And why am I called the Debt King? Bald Cape Man. Tony Stark, newcomers, let me tell you. When you join this chat group, some basic matters of the chat group will be automatically instilled into your mind. Now recall the new memories in your mind. Also, you can change your group name. Ding, Tony Stark will answer questions for newcomers and get 100 chat group points. Yo, answering questions for newcomers can also get chat group points, which seems good. Tony was a little surprised. He didn't expect that after the update, there would be this benefit. Ah, uh, I saw a lot of abilities in the chat group store, but unfortunately I don't have points to buy them. If I had known that answering questions for newcomers could get points, I would have said it first. Seeing this, Conan couldn't help but close his eyes in pain. So that's it. I understand. It's such a magical place. Damn, my flowers. De Gu sighed for a moment, then thought of the flowers he was dealing with, and quickly retreated. Hong Kai, the universe. Although I know there is a multiverse, I didn't expect that there are other universes outside the multiverse. Saitama, people from different worlds. Does that mean there are many strong people? You can take a look at your group level, which represents your current strength and which stage you belong to in the universe. Conan answered, and said that he opened their level to watch. Damn, this newcomer is a bit fierce. What's wrong? Tony saw Conan's face full of shock, and couldn't help but open the level to take a look. It was written on it, Yuan de Gu LV4, Hong Kai LV3, Saitama LV5. It turns out that I have the strength of the fourth level, which looks pretty good. Degu was online again at this time, and couldn't help but sigh. Am I only the third level? Hong Kai looked at his level and couldn't help but be silent. I am not the strongest, only level 5. The group leader is so strong, he is actually a level 12 warrior. Saitama looked at his level, but was not happy because he was level 5. Instead, he was more excited when he saw Shurchen's bright level 12 title. Newcomers, let me show you your destiny. Shurchen spoke at this time, and generated their respective destiny spaces while speaking. Ding, group leader Shurchen Daozun uploaded Ultraman Tiga, Ultraman Orb, and One Punch Man, and the destiny space has been generated. Group leader Shurchen Daozun has obtained 3000 chat group points. Ultraman Orb. Ultraman Tiga. The Gu and Hong Kai were stunned, feeling a little incredible. They didn't expect that the other party was also an Ultra Warrior. Hey, I didn't expect that you were Ultraman in special effects. 
To be honest, I seem to have seen it when I was a child. Tony smiled and understood a little. Uchiha Madara, these two guys are called Ultraman, are they famous? Conan, I don't know about Orb, but I have seen some of Tiga. Tony Stark, I have also heard a little bit about him. Ah, uh, I forgot that uploading memories to generate a destiny space will earn points. I finally met someone I know, how could I forget it? Daozuan, next time there is a newcomer, can you let me come? Conan suddenly looked sad and angry, as if he had lost something important. If you know, you can upload it yourself. I don't care. Shurchen said indifferently. Thank you, Daozuan. While everyone was talking, Daegu and the other two had already finished watching their own destiny spaces, with a look of shock on their faces. By the way, newcomers, you can choose to edit your own destiny space and then open it to everyone to watch. In addition, our destiny space is also there, so that we can have some understanding of each other. Tony thought of this at this time and kindly reminded. The three were stunned when they heard the words, and then they reacted and hurriedly looked to see if there was anything that needed to be edited. After they were ready, they chose to open it to everyone to watch. Seeing that everyone else went to watch their destiny space, the three were not idle either. They directly selected someone else's destiny space and clicked to watch it directly. In a blink of an eye, everyone had finished watching, with a look of aftertaste on their faces. TSK TSK, Hong Kai, you are really good, borrowing money everywhere all day long. Look at how much money you borrowed from Senior Tiga and you don't even transform anymore. Tony said with a joking look on his face. Well, this, I didn't expect that I would experience that kind of thing later, so I lost the Holy Sword of Orb and could only transform with the help of Senior Tiga's power. Hong Kai looked embarrassed, and anyone who was called the Debt King would blush. Chapter, 8 I didn't expect there are so many Ultra Warriors in my world, Kaisan, come on. Dagu suddenly appeared. Now Dagu is in semi-retirement, staying in the Mars base all day to plant flowers and do scientific research. I will work hard, Senior Tiga. Hong Kai said seriously. Is there anyone who wants to fight with me? I suddenly have the fighting spirit now. At this time, Saitama appeared. Since he became invincible on Earth, his emotions have become more and more indifferent, and his life has lost motivation. Boss Saitama, you think too highly of us. Except for the group leader, who can take your punch. You are one punch man in your world. Wu Yochi suddenly appeared and said the voice of everyone except Shurchen. Hey, Ah Chi is out. You rarely show up. Tony said with some surprise when he saw Wu Yochi appear. Ah, I just registered as an assassin recently and am working hard on the mission. I also met Miss May and I plan to date her. Come on, none of your assassination targets can be killed in the end. You are not suitable to be an assassin now, but you were still okay before. But you can go on a date with your Meihua Shersan. That girl looks good. Do you want me to teach you some skills to date a girl? Playboy Tony Stark said with a smile. When it comes to picking up girls, he is an old hand in the flower field. Forget it, your tricks are not suitable for me. That's the stuff you rich people play with. Wu Yochi said helplessly, rejecting Tony's teaching. Uchiha Madara, you ultra warriors are really amazing. You can actually become light beings. After transformation, they are like our Susanu. We ultra warriors have been fighting to protect the peace of the universe. Although we are members of the same group, please forgive me for not agreeing with Mr. Uchiha's philosophy. Dagu suddenly confronted Uchiha Madara, which made everyone in the group stunned. As an Ultraman, Daegu, who always takes protecting humanity as his responsibility, has saved all mankind. Daegu does not like Uchiha Madara. Although Uchiha Madara wants peace in the ninja world and allows everyone to enter the illusion to achieve peace. But in the eyes of Daegu and most people, this is not true peace, so Daegu is a little disgusted with Uchiha Madara. Don't worry, since I met the chat group and knew my fate, I no longer plan to implement the moon I plan. The ninja world does not need that kind of empty peace. As long as I become the strongest and stay alive, the ninja world will not be in chaos. Uchiha Madara said his plan and planned to suppress it directly by force. 
Although Daegu did not understand it very well, it was undoubtedly very effective in the world of ninjas. After all, Uchiha Madara now has the hope of becoming stronger and immortal. Although Daegu did not understand it very well, he also understood that this would not be a big problem for Uchiha Madara in the future, so he was too lazy to pay attention to the other party's plan. As long as it is not a big devil who slaughters the world, the Ultraman is still easy to talk to. Shi Chen looked at the people who were discussing fiercely and chose to log off directly. The life in the chat group was just a diversion in his long life. However, before logging off, he deliberately separated a spirit and attached it to the chat group. However, unlike the real body entering the chat group, he directly attached his spirit to the chat group, and the time ratio was synchronized with the chat group, but it was different from the real time. Seeing Shirchin's offline, everyone in the group suddenly relaxed. With a top boss watching them, they couldn't let go. At this time, everyone suddenly saw Shirchin's avatar light up again, and it seemed that he was online again. Shirchin, don't worry about me, I am a spiritual force separated from the main body, attached to the chat group. I have my own wisdom, which belongs to the main body, but I am not the main body. This is me created by the main body using the personality of your technological world. Tony Stark, Dao Zun is not an ordinary person, and he can play like this. Shu Chen, you can call me the boss. Although it is a bit narcissistic, it is still interesting to hear you call me like this. By the way, if you encounter any problems that cannot be solved in the future, you can directly find me. I can stay online all the time. The group chat will not explode, and the chat will not go offline. Hongkai, Senior, you are really amazing. By the way, I have already obtained the Orb Holy Sword at the top of the warrior. Congratulations on officially becoming an Ultra Warrior. It's a pity that I can't travel through the world, otherwise I will go over to help you. Degu couldn't help but say when he saw Hongkai appear. After all, they are both Ultra Warriors, and they are in the same dimension, so they are a little familiar. Thank you, Senior Daegu, but I just became an Ultraman after all, and I still need more training. I said, have you forgotten that the chat group has a new chat group transmission function? By the way, let's start a live broadcast at that time. Tony interrupted at this time. I see, thank you Senior Tony, I will go and check out the transmission function now. Hong Kai was overjoyed when he heard this. Although he said before that he didn't need Daegu to come, he could grow better with the help of a senior. Moreover, he saw something in the fate space. His best friend, Gagras Gagra, turned evil because his apprentice was killed. Although Gagra often opposed him later, there was still light in his heart, so he would come out to help him every time he encountered a crisis. So this time Kai planned to invite Daegu to help him at a critical moment and save Gagra by the way. Tony Stark, by the way, give me some of your light. I feel that this is very valuable for research. Maybe we can develop some new armor. And we can also experiment to see if we can make something similar to the orb card. I will give you a few when the time comes. By the way, Senior Daegu, isn't your spark prism gone? Can you still transform into Tiga? Kai was a little confused. Although Daegu's level was higher than his, he could watch the spark prism disappear, so how could he still transform into Tiga? Before I went to Mars to settle down, the super ancient dark warrior in the ruins of Lului was revived. The one inside was Tiga's girlfriend 30 million years ago. At that time, I got the dark light rod and used it to transform into Tiga and defeat the other party. Not only that, after entering the chat group, I found that I could actually transform by my own power a long time ago. Everyone can transform into light by their own power. Transform into light by your own power. Kai looked at Daegu's words and didn't quite understand. Although he was already a qualified warrior before becoming Orb, he was still a new generation of Ultra Warrior, so he didn't quite understand his words. Shi Chen, you Ultra Warriors are all a group of people who only care about power. The stronger the power in your heart, the stronger his light will be. The light will not disappear, it is just temporarily blocked by your heart. When the light in your heart becomes stronger, your power will become stronger. I agree with this point. Everyone has light in their hearts. When facing Gitangia, if the light in my heart disappeared, 
and the light in the hearts of the children disappeared, the world would really be shrouded in darkness. Dagu agreed after hearing this. Chapter, 9 Can I go to your place to play? There are no monsters recently, and I'm almost bored to death. Saitama suddenly appeared at this time, and he finally got in the conversation. Yes, but Senior Saitama, you don't seem to be able to survive in the universe. Hong Kai didn't care when he heard this. With such a big guy, he could complete the task better. But there is one thing that is more troublesome, that is, the other party can't survive in the universe. Ah, I forgot about this, this is a bit troublesome. Saitama remembered that he really couldn't survive in the universe. But it's not a big problem. The place where we fight is not in the universe. And if you really want to fly in the universe, not only can we protect you, but there are also spaceships. Dagu suddenly said at this time. Yes, it doesn't matter. Hong Kai was overjoyed when he heard this. He forgot that he was not fighting in the universe at all. That's fine, but I have to get some points quickly. It seems that the chat group has the ability to survive in the universe. When I accumulate enough points, I will exchange this. Saitama responded. Ding, Uchiha Madara starts live broadcast, all group members can enter. At this time, an abrupt voice interrupted everyone's chat. It turned out that Uchiha Madara started live broadcast. This was the first one to start live broadcast, and everyone clicked in directly. After everyone entered the live broadcast room, they found that they could choose two viewing modes. One is to watch from the perspective of the person who started the live broadcast, and the other is the perspective of God. Everyone did not hesitate and directly chose the perspective of God, after all, this is more interesting. Originally, Kai was going to be the first to start live broadcast, but he didn't expect that someone had already started live broadcast, so he just happened to see what this was like. Everyone, welcome to my live broadcast room. Uchiha Madara's voice resounded throughout the live broadcast room, but there was no sound outside. The person who started the live broadcast can directly chat with everyone in the live broadcast room with his heart, which saves a lot of trouble. Uchiha Madara, why are you starting live broadcast? Do you want us to see your tubes? Tony spoke first, without mercy, and teased directly. But he was right. Uchiha Madara is now plugged with tubes of the Outer Path Demon statue to maintain his life. I used to plan to let Abito become another Uchiha Madara after my death, and finally use Nagato to use the Rinnegan to resurrect me. But now that I know the final result, I don't need to bother so much. I have already practiced the skills given by Daozuan. Uchiha Madara shocked everyone as soon as he opened his mouth. This guy had already practiced the skills quietly. You have been in the chat group before. My world has been gone for a long time, so there is no need to be so surprised. Madara smiled slightly at this, and did not feel very proud. I have already recovered to my peak period, and the vitality in my body has returned to my youth. Except for the lack of the Rinnegan, I am not afraid of anyone in the ninja world now. Then why are you still connected to these tubes now, and you still look like an old man? Everyone was puzzled. Of course I want to give Zetsu a surprise. He dared to use me, so I have to give him a surprise. And I have accepted Abito. Uchiha Madara explained. You don't need Abito's power anymore, why do you still want to save him, just because he is your clansman? I remember that you never treated your own clansman well. Tony was puzzled. Hee hee, I always need some subordinates. In the future, the ninja world will need others to lead the overall situation besides me to suppress everything. Besides, this child has good potential. Then what are you doing with the live broadcast now? Saitama asked curiously. Since watching Naruto, Saitama has been very envious of them. These people can fight happily, and all kinds of gorgeous ninjutsu emerge in an endless stream. And what about himself? Except for killing the enemy with one punch, there is no result. The battle is not cool at all, and there is no passion at all. There are only two things that really make Saitama serious. One is that there is an evenly matched opponent who can fight with him. The other is the big discount in the supermarket, so that he can buy and buy happily. Show you the real Ninetales Rebellion. 
Uchiha Madara smiled and told everyone his plan. Oh my god, so soon, is the protagonist of your world going to be born? After so many people's experiences, everyone knows that the world that has the child of the world is the so-called protagonist. Most of the members of the chat group are protagonists. At present, only Uchiha Madara is a supporting role, but he is also a big boss level figure. Everyone still remembers that when Madara first joined the group, he was still an old man who was dying. At that time, it was the Third Ninja World War. Unexpectedly, after only a few days in the chat group, the other party came directly to the birth of the protagonist. This has been many years. In addition, in order to better make Abito return to his heart, I still designed Rin's death according to the previous plan, so that Abito turned black. But the difference this time is that before Rin was killed, I had already created a fake Rin in advance. The real Rin had been rescued by me and trained in secret. I didn't expect you to be so kind that you could actually save Rin. Tony said after hearing this. Since I don't plan on my previous plan, a blackened abido is not necessary for me. After all, I don't need a person who hates the entire ninja world. Only Lin can bring abido back. This is an essential part, Madara explained slowly. What about Abito? Still went to the Akatsuki organization. Yes, I was too weak before, so I had no choice but to send Abito to Nagato. So the current Ninetales rebellion has nothing to do with me. As for my Rinnegan, I will get it back when I get back. And take Shao into my sect. Madara here has escaped from the heretic demon tube and has come out of the underground. You are so blatant now, don't forget there is Zetsu, there are countless clones. Tony reminded after seeing this. Huh, I have thought of this problem a long time ago and solved it in advance. I discovered a spell to control others from the chat group, called the Tao Heart Demon Cultivation Technique. This technique allows me to control any person with higher strength. I have a low existence, and the other person's life and death depend on my thoughts. Everyone's hearts trembled when they heard this, and they looked at Madara a little uncomfortable. Seeing this, Madara knew what they were thinking. After all, there were still many who were weaker than him. If it was used on the group members, the others would not know at all. Ha, huh, you don't have to be like this. This technique cannot be used by group members. With that, Madara sent the information about the technique to the group, and everyone was relieved after seeing this. No, where did you get the points to redeem the skills? Tony suddenly thought of it and asked quickly. Isn't there a function to redeem points? I have collected countless ninjutsu over the years, even S-level ones. I can get a lot of points by just redeeming some, so I redeemed all the ninjutsu, and now there are also hundreds of thousands of points. Madara's voice came, making everyone despair, this guy is too rich. Chapter, 10 Although Tony claims to be a rich man, his US dollars are not used in a chat group, so he can't help but envy. However, just because he has no money now doesn't mean he will have no money in the future. In the future, he can make his own Iron Man armor and sell it to the chat group. So Tony is rare and doesn't envy Madara so much. Although he is like this, others are not like this. Damn, Madara, you are my uncle, you are so rich. Conan envied and jealous. He is just starting to cultivate now and is still very poor. After a long time, Madara sneaked into Kanoha. At this time, Kanoha was already in chaos because of Abito's attack. There was the Nine Tails in front and Abito behind, and everyone was in a panic. So you came to Kanoha this time, you won't just watch the fun. Tony looked at the people in Kanoha running around, and couldn't help asking. Of course not, I plan to take Naruto away, I believe that will be very interesting. Madara smiled and said. Wow, you are really not afraid that Kanoha will fight you to death. Everyone was shocked when they heard this. This is the protagonist, and you actually adopted the protagonist directly. But if you think about it carefully, it should be quite interesting. Although Madara planned to steal Naruto away, the people of Kanoha only knew that the mysterious man controlled the Nine Tails to attack Kanoha, and did not know that there was an Uchiha Madara hiding in the dark, so it was not a big problem. Today is the day Naruto was born, so Kushina's seal on the Nine Tails weakened, 
so it triggered Abito to release the Nine Tails and attack Kanoha by the way. Madara went all the way and came directly to the residence of the fourth Hokage Minato Namikes. At this time, Minato was in another forest, fighting with Abito. And Kushina was also weak because she had just given birth to Naruto, and the seal of the Nine Tails was broken. I didn't expect that the little Nine Tails would torture you like this. Kanoha is really worse than the previous generation. Looking at Kushina lying on the bed, weakly watching Naruto, Madara couldn't help but speak. If Hashirama saw that the Kanoha he founded was destroyed by a mere Nine Tails, what would he think? Who are you? You are not in the same group as that masked man, are you? Kushina turned her head and found Uchiha Madara, who was wearing a black robe and a hood. Because his face was covered by the wide hood, and she had never seen Madara, she didn't know that this person was the famous Uchiha Madara. Hee hee, don't be afraid, I just saw that you are about to die, so I showed you your son's future. Madara seemed to have a new idea at this time, and his bad taste seemed to be a little bit guilty. I wonder if Minato and Kushina will be unable to help but give up when they see how the village they fought to protect will treat the son of the hero in the future. What do you mean? Kushina struggled to sit up from the bed and looked at Uchiha Madara beside her. Look, this is the village you fought so hard to protect, how will it treat Naruto in the future? As he said that, Madara directly used the ability of the chat group to directly project the video of Naruto's childhood in his destiny space. Madara was not stupid either. He only released Naruto's childhood experience, not the future of him becoming Hokage. Otherwise, Kushina and Minato might have figured it out after seeing their children go through so much and finally become Hokage. And only let her know the front, with Kushina's expectations for Naruto now, she will definitely hate Kanoha. After a long time, Kushina, who finished watching the video, said in a somewhat cold tone, Is this true? Although she said so, she already believed it in her heart. With the character of the third Hokage, in order to be able to control the Nine Tails Jinchuriki, there must be such means. But speaking of it, it is amazing that Naruto, who grew up in such an environment, did not turn evil. Drinking expired milk, eating instant noodles, being excluded and bullied, this is the treatment of the son of a hero. Didn't you believe it yourself? Feeling the fluctuations in Kushina's tone, Madara knew that the other party had believed it. Kushina didn't know how she and Minato felt when they died to seal the Nine Tails, but she probably thought of Naruto's situation. But they subconsciously didn't think about it, and believed that the third generation and Jiraiya would take good care of Naruto. Unfortunately, in the eyes of the third generation, Naruto was just a Nine Tails Jinchuriki who helped the village become stronger. His so called care for Naruto was largely to make the other party grateful. And Jiraiya, this irresponsible teacher, has been running outside, and he has always believed that the third generation will take good care of Naruto. What is your purpose? What is it? I don't believe you just came to show me this. Kushina looked at Madara and asked slowly. After saying so much, I haven't introduced myself yet. As he said, Madara slowly lifted the hood on his head, revealing the face that once frightened the ninja world. Let me introduce myself. My name is Uchiha Madara. Uchiha Madara? Impossible. Uchiha Madara has been dead for a long time. It is impossible for him to live until now. Kushina was shocked when she heard this. Her first reaction was disbelief. Why? Your Uzumaki clan is known as a long-lived clan. Is it impossible for me to live so long? And how do you know that I died in the Battle of the Valley of the End? Uchiha Madara smiled when he heard this, but did not explain too much. Anyway, what do you want to do? Kushina knew that she was powerless to resist, and Minato was also fighting with the masked man, and did not know that Uchiha Madara had also appeared, so she could only wait for the other party's purpose. Nothing, I just want to change Naruto's fate and take him away, I hope you don't mind. Uchiha Madara smiled, and then stepped forward and hugged Naruto in his arms. Also, I'm going to take back the little guy who originally belonged to me, I hope you won't die like the original fate. As he said that, he left directly with a flash body technique. Uchiha Madara. The ninja world is really getting more and more chaotic. Kushina looked at the place where Madara disappeared, 
and her heart couldn't calm down for a long time. Shua. At this time, a figure appeared. It was Minato after fighting with Abito. Abito had left, and the Ninetales was still making trouble outside. So Minato's plan was the same as before, and he planned to take Kushina up to seal the Ninetales. Kushina, are you okay, where is Naruto? Minato saw Kushina sitting up and asked with concern, and suddenly found that Naruto was not beside her, and asked hurriedly. He was taken away by a person who called himself Uchiha Madara. Kushina said helplessly. What? Uchiha Madara? Minato was shocked when he heard this. When he faced the masked man before, he was still guessing that the other party was very likely to be Uchiha Madara. Unexpectedly, another Uchiha Madara appeared. In addition, he showed me something. Kushina recounted what Madara had shown her before. I don't believe that the third generation would do this. Minato was silent for a moment, then slowly spoke, but his tone was a little heavy. Namikaze Minato. You are the fourth generation Hokage, don't you see the old man of the third generation clearly? In his eyes, Naruto is just a tool to protect the village. If it is really what he said to me, I will not be at peace even if I die. Kushina was furious when she heard this, and couldn't help but yelled at Minato. Minato had never won an argument with Kushina in his life, and it was the same now. However, after Kushina described the scene that the man who claimed to be Uchiha Madara showed her, he had already believed it a little. After all, the other party had already mentioned his plan, which was to use the Shikigami Fujin to split the Ninetales in two. Afterwards, he sealed the Ninetales' feminine side along with himself, and sealed the masculine side and Kushina's chakra into Naruto. Chapter 11 Seeing the Kyubi unleashing its fury in Konoha, Uchiha Madara felt quite emotional. The tailed beasts in his and Hashirama's hands were just pets that they could handle at will. Unexpectedly, after Hashirama's death, no one could fight against the Kyubi. Of course, he also forgot that Hashirama was known as the god of ninjutsu at the time. Together, the two of them could overthrow the entire ninja world. However, he has always had Hashirama in his heart, and Hashirama has always had Madara in his heart. As the reincarnations of Azura and Indra, they fell in love and killed each other too often. In the original history, Namikaze Minato had already appeared at this time, and he would directly pull the Kyubi into the barrier outside the village, and then use the corpse seal to seal it away. However, Minato was talking to Kushina at this time, and the two of them knew that Madara was going to take away the Kyubi, so they were not too anxious. Although this will cause Kanoha to lose the Nine Tails, after Madara's previous spoilers, the two already have some distance between the village and the third generation. Fortunately for Namikaze Minato, he himself is the Hokage of Kanoha, and the third generation is his master's master, so he has a deep affection for the village. But Kushina is different. As a Jinchuriki, she has endured a lot of pain since she was a child. It is Minato's existence that makes her life bright. But for the village, when it comes to her son, she prefers her son. This is a mother's insistence. At this time, a group of ninjas in Kanoha, under the command of the third Hokage, launched a continuous attack on the Kyubi, but unfortunately it seemed that it was only a drop in the bucket. Uchiha Madara came to the roof in front of Kyubi, and the Sharingan in his eyes turned wildly. Although his samsara eye was given to Nagato, he later transplanted a pair of Sharingan eyes, and then relied on his talent and the ability of the chat group to evolve into the Manjiki Sharingan again. Although it is not as good as his own reincarnation eye, it is still barely enough. Now that the Uchiha clan has not been exterminated, it is very simple for him to find a pair of Sharingan. Uchiha Madara, who has been hiding for so long, now appears in front of the world for the first time. After conquering the Nine Tails, he will regain his samsara eye. Sandim Sama, there seems to be someone in front of Kyubi. At this time, a ninja suddenly spotted Uchiha Madara not far away and quickly said to Sarutobi Hirozen. Could this be the person who released the Nine Tails? Didn't Minato already chase him? Why hasn't he shown up yet? The third generation looked worried. The other person was obviously not from Kanoha, he was probably the one who released the Ninetales. Now that the other party appears and Minato is not there, 
it is very likely that Minato was trapped by the other party's trap. As for Minato being killed, I absolutely don't believe it. It was a yellow flash in the civilized ninja world. Shua. At this time, a golden light appeared, and it was Minato and Kushina who appeared together. Sandin Sama, I'm sorry, I'm late. Namike's Minato came directly in front of Saratobi Hiruzen. He put aside Madara's words for the time being. At this time, he could only deal with the Kyubi first. Snort. Minato was like this, but Kushina was not polite. Seeing that the third Hokage did not give him a good look, she twisted her face, snorted coldly, and looked at Kyubi not far away. Kushina's attitude made Sarutobi Hiruzen a little confused, but at this time, he was not paying attention to such trivial matters. He could only look at Namike's Minato and asked, Minato, did this person release the Kyubi? The mysterious person. Sandin Sama, this person is not the one who released the Nine Tails, but. Namike's Minato said after hearing this, but then hesitated. But what? Saratobi Hiruzen directed the ninjas to adapt to changes, pay attention to Uchiha Madara's movements, and try to limit the movements of Ninetales. But. This person calls himself Uchiha Madara. Among the people I know, only Uchiha Madara is the most consistent with the mysterious man who released the Ninetales. However, now this person calls himself Uchiha Madara, and I can't figure it out. It's clear. Namike's Minato said helplessly. Sir, Yandem Sama, that mysterious man is about to take action. The ninja on the side suddenly said, causing Saratobi Hiruzen and Namike's Minato to look over quickly. Kyubi, long time no see. Uchiha Madara looked at the Kyubi in front of him, said aloud, and directly lifted the hood on his head. Who are you? Uchiha Madara. Kyubi looked over after hearing this, but it seemed as if he had seen a ghost, and the tailed beast jade in his mouth collapsed. When everyone in Kanoha heard the Kyubi's voice, they were extremely shocked. It's really Uchiha Madara. Sarutobi Hiruzen was shocked. Kanoha was really troubled. In the past, a mysterious person released the Nine Tails, and then someone suspected of being Uchiha Madara appeared. Now, the Nine Tails has actually been hammered. Of all the people present, perhaps only Saratobi Hiruzen had seen the real Uchiha Madara. However, when Uchiha Madara dominated the ninja world, Saratobi Hiruzen was still a child. It was many years ago, so he didn't have a deep impression of Uchiha Madara. The Kyubi is different. The Kyubi used to be Uchiha Madara's psychic beast, so he is very familiar with Madara. Now that he saw Madara Uchiha appearing in front of him again, the shock in his heart was definitely the greatest. No. Impossible, you were already dead, how could you appear again? Kyubi looked at Madara Uchiha in front of him and couldn't help shouting. Okay, come back with me. Now that I have regained my life, you should become my first goal to dominate the ninja world. Uchiha Madara smiled, not caring about the shock in Kyubi's eyes, and directly the nine tails were put away through psychic techniques. The people of Kanoha present couldn't help but feel relieved when they saw Madara put away the Nine Tails, but they also became nervous, after all, the other party was once an enemy of Kanoha. TSK TSK, I didn't expect that the village that Hashirama and I built would be so destitute that it couldn't even deal with the Nine Tails. Uchiha Madara came to Saratobi Hiruzen and the others and couldn't help but mock him. It's really you, Uchiha Madara, I didn't expect you're really not dead. Saratobi Hiruzen looked at the familiar face in front of him, and the memories in his mind suddenly surged, as if he saw the number one person under Hashirama again. If I didn't come this time, would you still use that move? At this time, Madara suddenly looked at Minato Namikaze and asked. That move? Yes, for the village, I will do whatever it takes. Minato Namikaze was stunned when he heard the words, and then realized that the other party was talking about his use of the Shiki Fujin move, which is currently the most suitable move to deal with the Nine Tails. Very good, you are worthy of my attention. Compared with your third Hokage, you are the most suitable candidate for Hokage. Uchiha Madara nodded in approval. What do you mean by that? Namikaze Minato was stunned when he heard this, not understanding why the other party said that. 
As far as I know, the third Hokage will also use the Shiki Fujin. Why would he rather lose so many ninjas than use it? Because he knows that you will definitely sacrifice for the village. After all, only the Shiki Fujin is the best way to deal with the Nine Tails at present, and you are the only candidate to use it. Uchiha Madara smiled and said provocative words, but no one could refute. Humph, this old man has never had good intentions. Kushina was even more angry when she heard this, and couldn't help but speak out. The ninjas on the side also had different expressions when they heard this, but they didn't dare to speak out. They, the extras, had no right to speak here. Shut up, you are not allowed to say that about the third Hokage. Namike's Minato said angrily. The third Hokage remained silent, and no one knew what he was thinking. Uchiha Madara smiled, said nothing more, and left instantly. The seeds of discord had been planted, and he didn't care whether they would bear fruit in the end. Chapter, 12 Uchiha Madara, who returned to the base, took little Naruto and found Lin directly. Let her take care of little Naruto, after all, she is not suitable to take care of children. Looking at the people in the live broadcast room, Madara smiled and said, Everyone, today's live broadcast ends here. If you are okay, please leave I am going to leave too. Tisk, TSK, you are much more high profile this time, and you have changed a lot of things. Not only are the Minatos not dead, but you have also brought Naruto back. Tony looked at the sleeping Naruto and teased with a smile. I hope that the ninja world in the future will not be so lonely. And now that the Minato couple are not dead, and there is a gap with Sarutobi Hiruzen, Naruto is not suitable to stay in Kanoha. And with my teachings, he will only be better than before. He is more powerful, Madara explained with a smile. Then what are you going to do next? Conan asked curiously after hearing this. In addition to teaching Naruto, the Nine Tails must be handed over to him again. The Nine Tails is not a threat, but a powerful helper to him. Okay, okay, I'm withdrawing, you can continue your plan to develop the protagonist. Tony said and left directly. Everyone had nothing to say, so they also logged off and left. Seeing everyone leaving one after another, Madara closed the live broadcast. A few days later, in a forest outside Kanoha, Madara held little Naruto in his arms and looked at the man and woman in front of him, who were Minato and Kushina. Achiha Madara, what is your purpose? Minato looked at Madara in front of him with cold eyes. Don't be so nervous. You should also know that Naruto is no longer suitable to stay in Kanoha. He will become the third generation to restrain you. Madara smiled and looked at the two of them and said calmly. If it weren't for you, why would we be here? I have never doubted the third Hokage. Namike's Minato shouted angrily. It doesn't matter. There are only three of us here, so there is no need for this. Besides, without me, what you see will come true, and you will die in that battle. Stop talking nonsense, give me Naruto quickly, I want to see my son. As expected of Kushina, who is known as the Red Pepper, she is equally fierce when facing Uchiha Madara. Madara didn't care and handed Naruto directly to Kushina. Looking at Kushina who was teasing Naruto, Minato had a gentle smile on his face, then turned to look at Madara, his smile gone, tell me, why did you call us here today? I don't believe you would be so kind to let us see your son. Ha, huh, I came here this time for Naruto and I need your help. For Naruto? What do you want us to do? Minato frowned upon hearing this, then relaxed and looked at Madara and asked. I need your sealing technique to seal the Kyuubi's chakra in his body. Looking at Minato's somewhat angry expression, he knew that the other party had some misunderstanding and thought that he wanted to treat Naruto as a Jinchuriki. Although due to his personality, he doesn't bother to explain in most cases, Naruto is still very important and he still needs to explain. Shaking his head, Madara explained, you misunderstood. You should have heard of the son of prophecy, right? Naruto is the son of prophecy in this world. Although after I appear now, it doesn't matter whether I am the son of prophecy or not. But I will still try my best to cultivate him, and I will seal the Kyuubi's chakra in his body, which will make him stronger in the future. I believe that he will be able to conquer the Kyuubi in the future. With the help of the Kyuubi, 
he will be more powerful. Good growth. After a pause, he continued, I will help you split the Nine Tails Chakra into two, and you are responsible for sealing its positive chakra in Naruto's body. He cannot bear all the Nine Tails Chakra. With half the chakra, he can practice better. Okay, that's it. Before Namake's Minato could speak, Kushina on the side directly agreed. Kushina. Don't worry Minato, I won't make fun of our son. Kushina shook Minato's hand and smiled gently. I used to be the Jinchuriki of the Kyubi. I still know a little about the Kyubi. And with Uchiha Madara here, nothing will happen. Seeing this, Namike's Minato said nothing more and nodded in agreement. Seeing that the two of them had finished communicating, Madara directly summoned the Kyubi. Fortunately, this place was quite far away from Kanoha, and he had set up a barrier in advance. Otherwise, with the huge size of Kyubi, people in Kanoha would definitely find him. Madara, why are you looking for me? Kyubi looked at the people at his feet and said. I need to seal your chakra into this little guy. Go and help this little guy. Madara pointed at Naruto in Kushina's arms and said. Are you kidding? I admit your strength, but if you want me to assist this ant, kill me if you can. Kyubi said angrily. It also knows that no matter how strong Madara is, it is impossible to really kill him. As a tailed beast, even if it is killed, it will be resurrected after a while, so it is confident. Moreover, as a tailed beast, which is equivalent to a nuclear weapon in the ninja world, its dignity does not allow it to do this. Humph, I'm just informing you. If you behave yourself, you can fight with him in the future. Otherwise, you will be sealed forever. You know how many years I have lived. Although you tailed beasts have a long lifespan, now have the ability to live longer. If you don't do as I say, it's unknown how many years you will be sealed in the future. Uchiha Madara snorted. He was not trying to scare the Nine Tails. With the chat group he has now, it is not that difficult to live forever. As he said that, without waiting for the Nine Tails to react, he directly used the sealing technique on the Nine Tails together with Namike's Minato and Kushina, and at the same time, he also split the Nine Tails chakra into two. He kept one part for himself first, and the other part was sealed on Naruto with Namike's Minato. Roar, Madara, you can't do this to me. The Nine Tails was split in two, but he couldn't help but roared. Seeing that the Nine Tails was completely sealed, Madara looked at Minato and said, When Naruto can truly communicate with the Nine Tails and fight side by side in the future, I will give him another part of the Nine Tails chakra. Then we will leave now. Looking at little Naruto, Minato and Kushina were reluctant, but they had to leave. Madara opened the barrier and left with Minato and Kushina. Although he experienced some twists and turns, the result was the same as he expected. As the protagonist of the world, Naruto, although he could not surpass himself in the future, could become one of his generals. The fate of himself and the others who joined the chat group has been broken, and they have unlimited possibilities and can even transcend the constraints of the world. Madara knew in his heart that his future journey would be to the heavens and the worlds, and he would definitely not be limited to a small ninja world. After all, this is his hometown, and he needs someone who can take charge of the overall situation in the future, so Naruto is very important. I know the original plot. Naruto can grow up in such a repressive environment and still maintain a heart that loves others, so he can be a good Hokage in the future. I will definitely build a truly peaceful ninja world. It seems that the wish that Hashirama cannot realize can only be handed over to me. Thinking that he can unify the ninja world in the future, Madara smiled. I guess he will feel very frustrated when Hashirama comes back to life in the future. That's right, he plans to find a way to resurrect others in the future, and resurrect Hashirama and his brother Achiha Izuna. One of them is his lifelong opponent and friend, and the other is his favorite brother. He wants to resurrect them no matter what. Chapter, 13 Everyone, I am now on the spaceship of Yu Yen and Tachibana with Gagula. Are Senior Daigu and Senior Saitama coming over? In the silent chat group, Hongkai suddenly came online. He invited Daigu and Saitama as agreed before. Okay, I'll be there soon. Let me and Lena know. Daigu responded. 
I'm available anytime. Saitama responded at the same time. Ding, Hong Kai opens the live broadcast room. All group members can enter and watch. At this time, Hong Kai opened the live broadcast room at the right time. Everyone had nothing to do and entered Hong Kai's live broadcast room. What came into view was a handsome and friendly young man. It was not the first time for everyone to enter the live broadcast room, so they were familiar with it and greeted each other. The young man is quite handsome, comparable to me. Tony looked at Hong Kai in the picture and said narcissistically. Big brother, it's time to see you fight, come on. Ahem, Conan, can you stop talking like a primary school student? We all know each other well, so don't do that. Wu Yochi reminded. Lena, I'm going to another universe, and I may be away for a few days. De Gu found Lena and explained his purpose to her directly. Other universes? Can Tiga go to other universes? Lena knew that De Gu could transform into Tiga again, but since coming to Mars, he has not transformed again, after all, there is Dina guarding here. A new friend I met is a new ultra warrior. He needs my help to let me travel to other universes. I really admire you. You have retired, but you still have to fight. Be careful. Lena said helplessly, knowing that although Dagu is very gentle, he will not easily change his decision. Don't worry, I will be back in three or five days at most. Dagu nodded and touched the magic stick on his chest. As he said that, he opened the chat group and chose to teleport to Hong Kai's world. Ding, group members Daegu and Saitama apply to enter your world, do you agree? Hong Kai on the other side received a prompt from the chat group and clicked to agree directly. There are no restrictions for members of the chat group to enter the world of other group members, but they need the consent of other group members. This is also a kind of protection for other group members. After all, not every group member is harmonious and loving. At the same time, a light gate appeared in front of Daegu and Saitama, waiting for the two to enter. Daegu and Lina nodded and entered the light gate directly. Kai was sitting in the room, and suddenly two light gates appeared in front of him, and then two figures walked out. One was handsome, with a gentle smile on his face. The other had a shiny head that could reflect light, and a look of despair on his face. Welcome to my world, Daegu Sr., Saitama Sr. Hong Kai looked at the two people in front of him and said excitedly. Hello, Kai, and Saitama. Daegu nodded. Hello, you don't have to call me boss, just call me Saitama. Saitama said shyly. This was the first time someone called him boss in real life, which made him feel embarrassed. He was used to keeping a low profile. After the few people greeted each other, Hong Kai looked at the two and said, Two seniors, come with me to meet Gagula and the others. De Gu and Saitama nodded. After all, this is Kai's world. Although it is not the universe where his hometown is, the two of them do not belong here, so everything is subject to Kai's arrangements. Everyone, these are two seniors I know. They are here to help me this time. Senior Dagu, Senior Saitama. Hong Kai came to the cab and found Gagula and Yu Yen, Tachibana and introduced them. Great, now Her Majesty the Queen has a better chance of winning. Yu Yen and Tachibana were overjoyed when they heard this. Gagula was quite puzzled. When did Kai know these two friends? Why don't I know? Kai, when did you meet these two friends? I remember you have been training with me all the time. Oh, that, I knew them a long time ago, and they are not from this universe. Hong Kai is not very good at lying, so he can only deal with it casually. By the way, Senior Daegu is also an ultra warrior, Ultraman Tiga. Hong Kai suddenly thought of it and added to everyone. In this world, Ultraman represents peace and strength, and is the messenger who maintains the peace of the universe, so the peaceful races in the universe are full of goodwill towards Ultraman. In this case, I hope you can help. Gagula was stunned when he heard the words, and he didn't ask any more questions, so he just nodded. Gagula still had some resentment that the Light of Orb didn't choose him, but he and Kai were good friends, so he decided to help Kai complete the task. Approaching the planet Zayin, the spacecraft is ready to land. At this time, the system on the spacecraft prompted, 
and a gloomy planet appeared in front of everyone. Not only that, countless cosmic demons Balzabub appeared and blocked the spacecraft. Let's go, Kai. Seeing this, Daigu took out the magic stick from his chest and said to Kai. Okay, Daigu-senpai. Tiga. Oob. Daigu and Kai nodded to everyone, and in a flash of light, they transformed into two Ultramen. That's Tiga, Ultraman. Gagula looked at the transformed Tiga. This was the first time he had seen an Ultraman other than Orb. He was extremely envious of this because he was extremely eager for power. Ultraman, so big, looks really powerful, I envy their back and forth battle. Saitama, who was standing aside, looked at the two people's transformation, and his tone was a little envious. After all, although he could beat them, he was not so big, and he couldn't fly, and couldn't survive in the universe. More importantly, as he became stronger and stronger, no opponent could take his punch, so he was full of envy when he saw this back and forth battle. M. Saitama is so Versailles. Conan in the live broadcast room looked at Saitama's speech and couldn't help complaining. Damn, my genius Tony Stark will definitely develop a battle armor that can rival Ultraman. Tony looked at it with envy, paused, and suddenly said, You too, collect some monster samples for me later, I want to go back and study it. I don't know if my complete Susanoo can fight these monsters. Uchiha Madara, who was watching the video, suddenly said, thinking that one day he could also fight such monsters. I suddenly envy your world. After becoming Ultraman, you will have powerful power directly. In our world, even if you practice martial arts until death, you can't withstand a punch. Wu Yochi looked at the powerful battle on the screen and couldn't help but speak out. Wu Yochi's world level is too low, so the upper limit is not high, but if you can improve the world level, you can increase the upper limit of your world's combat power. Shi Chen looked at Wu Yochi and said, World level. What is this? Tony asked after hearing this. Shi Chen thought about it and explained, in simple terms, every world has a level. Since there is a level, there are high and low. High level worlds can accommodate more powerful people, and low level worlds may not have extraordinary power. These worlds can be upgraded. In addition to the natural upgrade of the world itself, there are also human assisted upgrades. I can tell you the details later. Let's watch their battle first. Seeing that everyone was about to ask questions again, Shi Chen reminded everyone that these things can be discussed later and there is no need to rush. Everyone thought it was right after hearing this, so they stopped struggling and focused on the battlefield. Chapter 14 No, there are monsters coming, get out of the way. Yu Yen saw a monster rushing in front of him and hurriedly said to Tachibana. The two of them are worthy of being the guards of Queen Amaterasu. They have good spaceship driving skills and can handle the monsters with ease. Well, why don't we land quickly? I can't fight on the spaceship. Saitama looked at the monsters around him and wanted to fight, but he couldn't fly, so he could only watch. Okay, land now. Yu Yen nodded and landed the spaceship. Be careful, there are more monsters coming. Gagra on the side reminded. Ah! Seeing that the monster was about to hit the spaceship, a ray of light flashed and blew up the monster in front of it. Then, a huge figure appeared on the battlefield. Is that... Dinah? Dagu was fighting a monster, and suddenly saw a familiar figure. He recalled the plot here, and then saw the figure in front of him, and he had the answer in his heart, it was the Space Street Kid Dinah. However, the Dinah in this world is obviously not the Dinah in his own world. There is also Dinah in his own world, but he is still fighting on Earth. This Dinah is obviously the Dinah that wandered around after the battle on Earth ended. Ha! Huh. Senior Tiga. After Dinah appeared, he was also stunned to see Tiga fighting the monster in the field. He didn't expect to see Ultraman Tiga here. Tiga is Dinah's predecessor. Asuka was confused for a while. Facing an enemy that he couldn't defeat, he once lost confidence. It was the former captain of the victory team, Kei Iruma, who enlightened him. Kei Iruma told him a lot about Tiga, and in the end he was saved by Tiga, the embodiment of the light of hope in the hearts of mankind, so Dinah's heart is full of gratitude for Tiga, the predecessor. 
Don't be stunned, hurry up and solve the battle first. Tiga saw that Dinah was a little dazed and couldn't help reminding him. Okay, Senior Tiga. Dinah came back to his senses, got ready for battle, and started the battle. Although Orb is basically a character who gets beaten, the other two are veterans. Seeing that the three Ultramen have basically controlled the situation, Gagula and others decided to go directly to Tsaichi's base to find Yu Yen and their captain. Saitama is basically here to play a supporting role. If he takes action, I'm afraid that all the monsters will be wiped out with a serious punch. So Kai told him before that it is better not to take action unless it is absolutely necessary. So he was silent throughout the whole process and followed Gagula and others to the base. When everyone arrived at the base, they were immediately surrounded by a group of human-sized monsters. We will hold them back, and you two go find your captain. Hey, little bald head, since you came with another Ultraman, you should have some strength, let's stop them together. Gagula took out his snake heart sword, and while ordering Yu Yen and the others, he asked Saitama. Oh, I should be fine, but when I came here, Kai told me to try not to take action, you don't have to worry about me. Saitama touched his bald head and said helplessly. It's up to you, just don't bother me for a while. Gagula was stunned when he heard this, and then reminded. Then you two stay here for a while, we will come to help you when we find the captain. Tachibana nodded and immediately continued to move forward with Yu Yen. It's time to go up, be careful. Seeing Yu Yen and the others leave, Gagula tightened the snake heart sword in his hand and said to Saitama who was a little dazed. Oh oh. Saitama nodded and followed suit to start the battle. Is this guy reliable? Gagula saw Saitama's careless look and couldn't help but have veins on his forehead. This guy is full of flaws, is he reliable? No longer entangled in these, now he can only choose to trust the other party, Gagula directly raised his sword and killed the monster. At this time, the monsters also completed the encirclement and attacked the two. While fighting, Gagula couldn't help but look at Saitama's situation. After all, he was brought here by Kai. Although he looks like a burden, no matter what, I will try my best not to let him die here. I saw several monsters rushing towards Saitama at the same time. This guy did not dodge or evade, but punched the monster in front of him directly. Then something happened that made Gagula drop his jaw. Saitama punched the monster in front of him directly, and then punched the other two monsters at the same time. Heh, it seems that I still underestimated you. Seeing this, Gagula retracted his gaze and began to fight seriously. After a long time, the two of them solved all the small monsters. Yu Yen and Tachibana also came back, followed by a middle-aged man, who was their captain Sen Luo. Master, we rescued the captain. Yu Yen smiled at Gagula not far away, and walked towards Gagula at the same time. Be careful. At this time, Gagula saw another monster appear above Yu Yen, and rushed over to hug Yu Yen in his arms, but he was successfully attacked by the monster and injected with puppet poison. Master. Are you okay? Yu Yen was shocked and hurriedly supported Gagula, shouting anxiously. Don't come over. Stay away from me. Gagula struggled to get rid of Yu Yen, and asked her to stay away from him, so as not to lose control and hurt the other party. It's puppet poison. Sen Luo saw this and understood that this was Balzabub's puppet poison. Don't erode my body anymore, don't. Gagula held the blade with his hand, trying to relieve his controlled body with severe pain. At this time, more monsters surrounded them. Everyone faced the monsters and the out-of-control Gagula at the same time, and they were a little overwhelmed for a while. You guys deal with these monsters, leave Gagula to me, Kai and the others will be here soon. Saitama said at this time. At present, only Saitama can subdue Gagula, so everyone has no objection. Alas, it's really troublesome, and we can't hurt him. Although Saitama took it all, he was a little helpless when facing Gagula. It's not that he can't beat the opponent, but he should try not to hurt him. After all, he is Kai's friend. At this time, Gagula was also completely controlled, holding the snake heart sword and slashing at Saitama. Although Saitama is very powerful, he has to dodge in order to avoid Gagula from getting hurt. 
Otherwise, even if Gagra chops a few times, it won't be a problem for his body, but Gagra will be injured. Avoiding Gagra's snake heart sword, Saitama directly grabbed the opponent's arm with his backhand and controlled Gagra's hands. No matter how hard Gagra tried, he couldn't break free from Saitama's hands. After all, the difference in strength between the two was too big. Boss Saitama, you have become a babysitter now, why not just blow up the talent base with one punch? In the live broadcast room, Tony looked at Saitama's restrained appearance and couldn't help but teasing. I want to, but I have to give Kai some growth, otherwise there will be no meaning for me to come here. Saitama said helplessly. Chapter, 15 Everyone, we are here. At this time, Kai's voice came, and everyone looked over. Kai, Daegu, and Asuka, who had turned back into human bodies, finally came back. Gagra, cheer up. Kai defeated several besieged monsters and came to Gagra's side. Don't worry, he will be fine. Daegu came to Kai's side at this time, patted Kai's shoulder and said thoughtfully. Kai came back to his senses. He was too worried about Gagra just now and forgot that there was an antidote. Everyone close your eyes. At this time, Asuka shouted, and then raised the flashing sword in his hand. Light. A strong light came out, destroying all the surrounding monsters. Get out of the way. At this time, Senluo hurried over, took off the pendant on his chest, and stuffed it into Gagra's mouth. It was the seed of the sacred tree, which could be used to remove the poison of Balzabab. Ah! Gagra, who ate the seed of the sacred tree, fell to the ground in pain, and then finally regained consciousness. At this time, a light curtain appeared, and Saichi's figure appeared. Dagu and Kai, who were familiar with the plot, did not care about Saichi's nonsense. Anyway, they were going to planet Gainan next, and they had no intention of listening to Saichi's nonsense. By the way, Will Ultraman Cosmos come out next? Tony's voice came from the live broadcast room. I heard that Cosmos is a kind warrior who often purifies monsters when he encounters them. If you ask me, just kill them directly. Monsters themselves are full of destructive desires. Ban continued Tony's words. You can't say that. There are good monsters. You can't kill them all with one stick. Conan retorted. So Cosmos has a kind form and a violent form? Uchiha Madara taunted, when you encounter a monster that can't be purified, just kill it directly, so it's called a kind ultra warrior. Tony. Conan. Degu. Hong Kai. Wu Yochi. Everyone, top understanding. At this time, after everyone was attracted by Tsaichi's picture, Tsaichi drove the spaceship away from here. Let's go. Let's chase him. Kai called everyone and hurried to the spaceship. Let's go, I noticed that Saichi had damaged the engine of the spaceship before, and now it has been repaired. The Gu, who was familiar with the original plot, said. That's great, so we can catch up with Saichi. Captain Sen Luo was surprised to hear this. At this time, Saichi's spaceship suddenly accelerated and teleported away directly. Okay, let's use the teleport function as well. Sen Luo commanded. During the teleportation process, everyone finally had time to chat. Senior Dagu, I didn't expect you to come here too. Asuka looked at Dagu and said with surprise. Asuka, this should be our second meeting. Dagu and Asuka shook hands. Second meeting. Have you met before? Saitama was puzzled when he heard this. Although he knew that this was not Asuka from Degu's universe, he knew that there was also an Asuka in Degu's world, but Degu had always lived on Mars. Although the Super Victory team had a base on Mars, he had never met Asuka. When I was about to leave Earth, I met Asuka once. He seemed to have just joined TPC at that time. Daiko explained with a smile. Yes, Senior Daiko was my idol at that time. Asuka nodded. But I didn't expect Senior Daiko to be so young. I feel like we are not much different in age. Asuka asked in confusion. Hee hee, I'm not the Daiko of this world. In my world, there is another Asuka and Dina. They came to this universe for some special reasons. Daiko didn't say much, 
just explained casually. Asuka nodded and didn't ask any more questions. Okay, let's take advantage of this time to give Kai some special training. Daiko looked at Kai on the side and decided to train him well. Sorry to bother you seniors, I will work hard. Kai nodded vigorously. The crowd left two people to operate the spacecraft, and the others came to the training room together. Let's start first. Daiko said first. Looking at the two people fighting, Gagula came to Saitama. What kind of alien are you? You are so powerful. I feel like I am not your opponent. Gagula rarely admits defeat, but when facing Saitama, he feels that he cannot resist. Although he was controlled before, he still remembers what happened, so he is very clear about the oppression he felt when facing Saitama. I am just an ordinary earthling. Saitama was stunned when he heard this, and then replied. Impossible, how can an earthling be so powerful? How did you train? Although you don't have any skills, your physical fitness is extremely strong. Gagula's first reaction was disbelief. Although he had never seen an earthling in the universe, he had heard about it from other aliens who had visited the earth. Many aliens have the impression that earthlings are weak, cunning, greedy and selfish, etc. But the person in front of him, although he does look like an earthling, how could he be an earthling? I am really from earth, but like Daiko, I am not from this universe. If you want to know how I exercise, it is 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, and 100 squats every day, plus a 10-kilometer long-distance run. I persisted for three years and became what I am now. Saitama answered seriously. Are you kidding? Gagula didn't believe it, but after this short contact, he felt that he was not a person who would lie. But in any case, this matter is too simple. He is right, Gagula. At this time, Kai, who had finished training with Daiko, came to the two and said to Gagula with a smile. Because he knew Saitama's experience, Kai knew very well that Saitama became so powerful. Although it sounds incredible, it is true. By the way, why can Saitama become so powerful in this way? Is there anything we don't know? Uchiha Madara suddenly asked in the live broadcast room. He has always attached great importance to the method of becoming stronger. Everyone didn't understand, so they had to look at Shurchen. Shurchen, there are many aspects to this matter. On the one hand, Saitama himself is the son of luck in their world, so it is easy for him to break the body limiter. On the other hand, the area where he is located is an area where weirdos often appear. Being able to complete a 10-kilometer long-distance run in such an area and persist for three years is not something that ordinary people can do. What is this limiter? Tony understood a little. Although it seems that there are two aspects, it is mainly the bonus of the son of luck that allows him to break the human body limiter. But he still doesn't know about this limiter. Every creature has an invisible limiter in its body. As long as you exceed the limit of the body, you can break the limiter, but this method is not suitable for everyone, and there are side effects. Just like Saitama, his side effect is hair loss. After everyone thought about it, Shurchin continued, after saying so much, it is actually the same as practicing martial arts. These are also methods used to break the body limiter. But compared to Saitama's method, it is more stable and simple, but it takes a little longer. Chapter 16. While everyone was chatting, the spaceship had followed Kai Z's spaceship to the planet Ganon. Originally, according to the original plot, Kai Chi would arrive here in advance and threaten the entire planet, asking Queen Amaterasu to transform into the god of war. According to legend, Queen Amaterasu and Balasib were born together in the divine tree of life. One is the guardian, the other is the destroyer, and the two are sisters. Damn it! Didn't I destroy the teleportation engine of their spaceship? Why did they catch up so quickly? Kai Chi looked at the SAC spacecraft following closely behind him and couldn't help but said angrily. Although this made him have some miscalculations, it did not affect his plan, except that he no longer threatened Queen Amaterasu. His purpose is to transform Queen Amaterasu into the god of war, and then inject the puppet virus into each other's bodies with Balasib, thereby detonating the god of war and spreading the virus throughout the universe. Destroying the tree of life will trigger the transformation of Queen Amaterasu, thus forcing the god of war out. 
However, all these things were eventually destroyed by Jacula. According to the original plot, because of the death of his apprentice Yu Yen, Jia Gula felt that the war was caused by the Tree of Life, so he cut down the Tree of Life. However, others did not agree with Jakura's approach, which created a gap between Jakura and Kai. Kai, do you agree with Jacula's original approach now? In the live broadcast room, everyone was thinking about the next plot, but Madara suddenly asked Kai. Although I understand Jiagra to some extent, this is not in line with the behavior of the Warrior of Light. That's why Jiagra will not be selected by the Light of Orb, so that I, a person who is not as good as him, will be selected. Kai after a moment of silence, he said slowly. No one said anything else, because Kai Chi had already launched an attack on planet Ganon. Seeing the talented monster army, everyone transformed into Ultraman and went to fight. The Sak spacecraft also landed on the planet Ganon, and the others went to fight the monster army together. At this time, a light suddenly appeared in the universe, and then a blue and white Ultraman appeared. Seeing this, everyone understood that it was Ultraman Gauss who also came to support. Even so, there were too many talented monsters, and Queen Amaterasu had to transform into the God of War in order to protect the Tree of Life, but she always protected it passively. This Queen Amaterasu is so naive. Even Ultraman, the Guardian of Peace, knows that only strong power can protect peace, but she only wants to solve the problem through negotiation. A powerless person the only thing waiting for them on the planet is to be dominated by the strong, but she always wants to rely on the other party's mercy. Madara couldn't stand it anymore, thinking that Queen Amaterasu was taking it for granted. Although we often play opposite, this time I am on your side. Without the protection of power, it will only be the fate of letting others invade. Tony agreed after hearing this. For this kind of thing, he has the most say. The Earth in the Marvel Universe is often invaded by aliens, and it relies on a group of superheroes to save it. Without these superheroes, I'm afraid the Earth would have fallen long ago. Maybe, this is the real Virgin. Conan thought for a while and said. The Virgin is not a derogatory term. It represents the determination to protect everything and the ability to sacrifice oneself for others. This is a great person. However, the reality is often very cruel, and not your sacrifice will have the same results. The reason why the Kingdom of Light is feared and appreciated by many people in the universe is because of their powerful power. The cosmic people with evil intentions are afraid of the Kingdom of Light, and the peaceful cosmic people are grateful to the Kingdom of Light. Although the Kingdom of Light has been invaded several times over the years, many cosmic races still believe in the Kingdom of Light. This is strength. The sense of security it brings. Why does it have to be so troublesome? Why don't I just give that talent a punch? Saitama looked at the people in the battle and muttered while making soy sauce. Wait a minute, Saitama Senpai, let me communicate with Queen Amaterasu first. Kai was shocked when he heard this and said quickly to Saitama. If Saitama comes to her, Queen Amaterasu will probably be very sad. After all, the god of war transformed by Queen Amaterasu and Queen Keen of Balsabul were both born on the Tree of Life. They are both sisters. Queen Amaterasu, please don't do this again. Please fight back quickly. They will not show mercy because of your weakness. Kai shouted to Queen Amaterasu while fighting. Ha, huh, I didn't expect that Kai, a gentle fool, would think so thoroughly. Jagula smiled when he heard this, as if he was meeting Kai for the first time. Ub, what are you doing? Gao said quickly when he saw this. He has always respected Queen Amaterasu's decision. After all, as a loving ultra warrior, he understands Queen Amaterasu. But the difference is that Gauss does not blindly condone his enemies, he also has an angry state. Gauss, don't you understand yet? With Queen Amaterasu's character, I'm afraid she won't attack Keen no matter what. She only wants to compromise. Kai responded. But. We still have to respect Her Majesty the Queen's decision. Her Majesty the Queen and I have the same mood. We both want a way to solve the problem peacefully. Gauss paused, but still couldn't help but say. Queen Amaterasu, do you really understand talent? Do you really understand Keen? 
Since you know that the god of war and Balzabub were born from the tree of life together, but one is called guardian and the other is called destruction, you should understand what they mean. Keen has represented evil from the beginning. Kai looked at the hesitant Queen Amaterasu and couldn't help but speak out. If it was the original him, he would definitely not do this, because he didn't know all this. But now he is familiar with the plot and has long understood the evil of talent. This must be solved through fighting. The enemy will not show mercy because of your weakness. But. I feel keen sadness. She must be controlled by talent. I want to talk to Keen. Queen Amaterasu looked at Keen, who was a little bit wrong, and thought that the other party might be controlled by talent, so she planned to talk to Keen and let her give up attacking the Tree of Life. That's all Keen's conspiracy. Don't believe that guy. Kai understood that this was Keen's conspiracy. The other party just wanted to deceive Queen Amaterasu and inject her with the puppet virus. Seeing that Queen Amaterasu was still walking towards Keen, Kai had no choice but to fight while preparing to rescue Queen Amaterasu at any time. Watching the god of war constantly approaching him, Keen finally released his fangs. The poison needle behind it passed through the ground and came directly to the back of Queen Amaterasu, ready to inject the puppet virus into her body. Swish! At this moment, a lightsaber attacked from not far away, interrupting Keen's attack. Everyone looked over and found that it was Tiga, who had been forgotten by everyone. Tiga, who was familiar with the plot, had long been prepared for Keen's sneak attack, and directly interrupted Keen's sneak attack with a lightsaber in his hand. This. Keen, why, aren't we sisters? Queen Amaterasu said painfully. She finally understood that Keen would not stop because of her compromise, but would only become more aggressive. Your Majesty Queen Amaterasu, leave it to us next. Only by defeating them completely can you protect your people. Kai took the opportunity to persuade. Chapter, 17 Damn Ultra Warriors, they always ruin my plan. In the spaceship, Kai Chi was almost angry. Everyone, let's end this. Kai said, and flew back. Everyone, understood. Seeing this, Dagu seemed to understand something, and silently retreated far away like Kai. Senior Tiga, what are you doing? Aren't you going to kill them all at once? Asuka was stunned, and then asked in confusion. You will understand soon. Dagu didn't say it clearly, but just thought about it. Everyone, stay away, Senior Saitama, it's up to you. Kai said, while unfolding the ultra barrier, blocking everyone. Using the hardest tone, doing the most cowardly action. The Gu followed closely behind to protect others. Gao Si and Dinah didn't understand, but out of trust in Kai, they still retreated together, but did not unfold the ultra barrier, just blocking everyone. Seeing that it was finally time for him to appear, Saitama finally started to be serious. Oh, oh, boss Saitama is going to make a move. Conan said excitedly. Watch carefully and learn well. Madara said only this. Saitama sprinted and came directly between Ultraman and the monster, clenching his fists facing the monster. What's going on? Do these Ultra Warriors want to escape? Saichi was puzzled, but he didn't care, and continued to order the monster army to attack. Seriously. One punch. Saitama's cloak moved without wind, and a pair of red gloves on his hands were clenched. As Saitama's voice fell, powerful power gathered in his right hand, and a power that everyone could not understand appeared. A fist wind instantly came out from his right hand, forming a huge air cannon. Then, a large vacuum area appeared in front of Saitama, covering all the monsters together. In an instant, all the monsters, including Saichi's spaceship in the air, disappeared into the air together. Not only that, even the air was directly hit and dissipated, forming a large vacuum area. In the area in front of them, there were even black cracks, with strands of lightning-like substances on them. This was the appearance of space being cracked, and behind it was the unknown and dangerous black hole space. After Saitama's attack, it took about a few seconds before endless impact force appeared in front of everyone. This was because Saitama had blown up the air in front of him before, causing the air in front of him to squeeze to the sides and behind him. Fortunately, 
Kai and Daigu had opened the Ultra Barrier in advance, otherwise the aftermath of this attack would be enough to kill everyone at the scene except Ultraman. At this time, Gao Si and Dinah felt what Kai and Daigu meant, and they didn't have time to think about it, so they quickly opened the Ultra Barrier and blocked everyone. Everyone, hold on. Otherwise, everyone is finished. Kai shouted loudly. Oob, Senior Tiga, where did you find this friend, why is he so powerful? Dinah was in great pain, and couldn't help asking while supporting the Ultra Barrier. So, didn't you see how much respect Senior Tiga and I had for Senior Saitama? Kai couldn't help but complain at this time. Don't say so much, just hold on, it will be fine soon. After all, Dagu is an old senior and the strongest Ultraman present, so he directly stood at the front and couldn't help but say it at this time. The strong air pressure lasted for more than 10 seconds. Everyone felt that the strong impact disappeared, and then the Ultra Barrier was cancelled. In an instant, all the Ultra Warriors turned into rays of light, fell directly to the ground, and turned back into human bodies. Finally, it's over. Gagula looked at Saitama not far away with complicated eyes, and his heart was full of mixed feelings. Saitama still had a blank expression on his face. He actually didn't know what the people behind him had experienced. He only saw him finish his pose, then retracted his fist and slowly turned around. Uh, what's wrong with you? Why are you all sleeping on the ground? Saitama scratched his bald head and felt very confused. Everyone. Our big brother Saitama is still so thick-skinned. In the live broadcast room, Conan couldn't help but hold his forehead. We all know him, and we know that he definitely didn't mean it, it's just too discouraging. Tony couldn't help but complain. Uchiha Madara, Wuliochi, agree. Next time. Saitama Sr. takes action, I will definitely stay 10,000 meters away in advance. Kai staggered to his feet, not forgetting to complain. If I had known it was so simple, I would have just let Mr. Saitama solve it. Asuka also stood up, looking at Kai and said slowly. Kai shook his head, didn't say much, and quickly came to Gagula. Gagula, are you okay? Kai patted Gagula's shoulder, he was afraid that the other party would be stimulated. He has always known that Gagula is very competitive and wants to get power very much, so after seeing Saitama's power, he is afraid that Gagula will explode. Don't worry about me, Kai, he is the target I will chase in the future. Gagula shook his head, tightened the snake heart sword in his hand, and said with a firm look. Shaking his head, Kai didn't know how to persuade Gagula to give up this idea. Then, Kai turned his head and looked at Queen Amaterasu. Keen. Queen Amaterasu has also turned back to her human form. Looking at the direction where Keen disappeared, she couldn't help but feel sad alone. Your Majesty, since the talent has been destroyed, we should do the aftermath work for the people. At this time, the General and Captain Mori came to Queen Amaterasu and proposed the aftermath work to her. This war caused great damage to planet Ganon, and the people were also in a panic. It was time to do the aftermath quickly. You too can take care of these things, and you don't have to report to me. Queen Amaterasu nodded and agreed to the two's proposal. The two then bowed to Queen Amaterasu, and then led their warriors to work. Senior Saitama, thank you this time. Kai came to Saitama and said to Saitama. Nothing, I forgot that you were still around. I would have collected it earlier. I didn't expect to cause you so much trouble. Saitama touched his bald head and said embarrassedly. Shaking his head, Kai didn't care. Everyone, we are almost leaving. At this time, the Gu came over and said to the two. That's right, I really troubled you too. Kai was stunned when he heard the words, and hurriedly thanked him. Nothing, we are not only ultra warriors, but also group members. If there is anything in the future, just tell us directly. The Gu shook his head and smiled. Senior, are you leaving? At this time, Asuka and Musashi also came to the front of several people, looking at the Gu and said. Yes, since the matter is over, we have to go back to our own world. Dagu nodded. In this case, we have to leave too. I was thinking about communicating with Senior Dagu. 
Asuka nodded and said with regret. It doesn't matter, there will be a chance in the future. Dagu patted Asuka on the shoulder and said. After saying hello to everyone, Dagu and Saitama directly opened the chat group transmission and returned to their own world. In this case, I will also close the live broadcast here. See you later. Kai also said in the live broadcast room, and then closed the live broadcast room. Chapter, 18 Seeing the way Daegu and Saitama left, Asuka and Musashi were a little confused, but they didn't think much about it. After greeting everyone, they left separately. Kai, I have to leave too. Although I have not received the inheritance of the Warrior of Light, I will definitely be stronger than you in the future. Jagula came to Kai and said seriously. Okay, then we'll see you again later. I hope you won't fall into the darkness. Kai knew that Jacula would not always be with him, so he didn't try to persuade him to stay. He just nodded and agreed, reminding him at the same time. There has always been darkness in Jia Gula's heart, so he originally turned into a demon after Yu Yen died. This time Yu Yen did not die, but he would inevitably encounter something in the future that would make him fall into darkness. Ha! Huh. I understand. Jagula was a little confused, but he didn't say anything more and just nodded. Perhaps even he himself doesn't know that there is a powerful darkness in his heart, but fortunately, light also exists. Looking at Jagula's back, Kai thought to himself. Master, are you leaving? Yu Yen looked at Jia Gula in front of him and said reluctantly. Ha, I hope that when we meet next time, you will be stronger than you are now, otherwise don't call yourself my apprentice. Jagula sneered. Master, have you finally admitted that I am your disciple? Yu Yen said in surprise when he heard this. Snort. Jagula didn't answer, turned around, waved and left. Although there was no response, he agreed in disguise, but his arrogant temperament would not admit it. Master, don't worry, I will definitely work hard and won't embarrass you. Yu Yen shouted as he watched Jia Gula leave. As everyone left one after another, Kai also said hello to Queen Amaterasu and left, heading towards the unknown universe. In the chat group, everyone is still discussing. Everyone, I am about to start a new journey. The light of orb has given me a new mission. Kai transformed into orb and flew in the universe, but his mind was chatting with everyone in the chat group. Come on, Kai. Daegu, who had returned to Mars, smiled while looking at the messages in the chat group. Is Mr. Saitama here? What kind of power do you have? Conan appeared. He had always believed in materialism. Although he had joined the chat group long ago, he had never seen the kind of power that could destroy the world with his own eyes. Although he was not there this time, watching it in the live broadcast room was like being there in person, which shocked him greatly. I didn't feel much power. I just punched seriously. Saitama said that this was his serious punch. When the strength reaches a certain level, every move can destroy the world. Saitama's body may seem ordinary, but it has very good power. Time has appeared. As the top boss in the group, he still has to give these little cuties can give you some tips. This seems to us to be a very powerful force, but to the group leader it is just not bad. I kneel down. Tony also appeared, and he was a little less confident in his own technology. Group leader, I want to know one thing, whether the way of science and technology can finally reach the power of a saint. Tony did not dare to ask for the sealing power of the group leader, he just hoped to have the power of a saint. However, he may not know that the saint is a top boss in all the worlds. Being strong in any direction is a process of plundering resources. Technology is different from martial arts, magic, and immortality. Technology requires a group to develop, and the use of technology does not require talent. When one party's technology is developed to the extreme, rivals can appear a strong person in the heavenly Tao realm, but cannot reach the Tao Tao realm. What makes technology powerful is external objects, and what makes the latter powerful is itself. Although they plunder the surrounding resources, technology cannot regenerate after plundering resources. Beings that follow the path of their own strength can return to the world after death and feed back the energy of the world. So this is a virtuous circle. Shurchin explained it to Tony in detail, 
which also made other people in the chat group understand a lot of things. So, the technology side cannot compare with our own side in terms of top combat power. Tony said thoughtfully after hearing this. Yes, but even so, the technology side is still very powerful because it is a powerful group. The self side can only strengthen itself, which is often something that others cannot copy. I understand, I will still stick to the technology side in the future. Tony figured out that this was his future path. If I were to become an immortal, not to mention how great my achievements would be, it would definitely not be as great as my achievements in science and technology. He is still very confident in his Ru 0026D capabilities. By the way, leader, if I major in technology, won't I be able to live forever? Tony suddenly thought that longevity has always been what human beings look forward to, and he was no exception. This is not difficult. If you want, I can let you live for hundreds of thousands of years. And in terms of technology, if you can transcend the limitations of the body, you can achieve spiritual immortality, and you can change it at will. Body. Shi Chen said without hesitation. Although he is a Taoist, after achieving the Great Tao, he will naturally be able to master all dharmas. There are countless ways in the world, and the name of the three thousand great ways is a general term for all the great ways, because these are the strongest three thousand great ways, and they are also the ways that gave birth to great ways. If one day, someone can prove the way with technology, then he will become the three thousand and first great way. After thinking about it, Shirchen revealed another big secret, which many people in the heavenly Tao realm did not know. So that's it. If I practice my ninja way to the extreme, can I become a great way? Achiha Madara thought. What you call ninja way is actually just a branch of the five elements great way. If you practice it to the extreme, you can only return to the origin and return to the essence of the five elements great way. Shuchin shook his head and said the source of the ninjutsu way. Is that so? Thank you for the group leader's explanation. Spot nodded, and seemed to understand a little. You need to walk your own way in the future. Only the way that suits you can go further. After a pause, Shuchin gave everyone his advice. He would not interfere with others by force, which would be like a puppet. What's the point? Although not everyone will live forever in the future, and others will come in and die, he still hopes that these little guys can live as long as possible. I understand. I have decided to take the path of technology in the future. Maybe I can prove my truth with technology in the future. Tony joked. Then I will take the five elements road. After all, my ninjutsu belongs to the five elements road. If I change the direction of practice, it will be more trouble than gain. Spot nodded and understood his direction. You don't need to understand these things at present, as long as you can become stronger. Except for Tony's technology, there is not much difference between others before they achieve Daoyuo Jinxian, but the energy system of practice is different. Feeling that others are a little confused, Churchin gave them the answer they needed. Forget it, it's useless to think so much. I'd better choose a practice book in the chat group. Conan didn't think about what these big guys were discussing, and planned to go to the group store to choose a practice. During the time when everyone was watching the live broadcast, Shirchin created countless practices and knowledge, ranging from those used by mortals to those who can directly point to the realm of heaven. He put all these things into the chat group store, and set it up so that everyone can get one for free. If you want to get more, you need to use points to redeem. Giving tips to new people is not just giving them gifts, but they also need to work hard. He just gives them a channel to become stronger. In Shirchin's eyes, all group members are the same, and he will not favor one over the other. In this way, everyone went offline after harvesting. Chapter, 19 In the prehistoric world, in a palace full of brilliance, Shirchin slowly opened his eyes. A million years have passed. Shirchin's eyes were full of stars, knowing that he had been in seclusion for several more Yuan Hui. He wanted to go out and see this prehistoric land. He stood up and went outside, calling two boys. Qiyang, Baiyue, greetings, master. After the two boys came over, they immediately saluted Shirchin. You guys get up, it's good, it's already the late stage of Daoyuo Jinxian, 
and it will soon reach the peak. After this catastrophe, it is expected to break through to the quasi-saint. Shurchin glanced at the two boys casually and nodded with satisfaction. Although the two boys are not as fast as the people of the dragon, phoenix, and unicorn tribes in cultivation, they are better at steady and solid progress, and can dominate in every realm. Today, the people of the three tribes have already walked on the prehistoric continent. They are blessed by the luck of the three tribes, and their cultivation speed is beyond imagination. Now that the beast calamity has passed for several Yuan Hui, the three tribes have gradually begun to dominate the prehistoric world, and the whole prehistoric world is filled with noisy sounds. Shi Chen left the East China Sea and came directly to the center of the prehistoric continent, Mount Buzhou. Mount Buzhou is worthy of being the first sacred mountain in the prehistoric world. Now the pressure of Pangu on the top of Mount Buzhou is still very strong, and even saints can hardly move here. However, these are nothing to Shurchen, after all, his realm has long surpassed Pangu. Pangu did not kill him when he was alive, and he could not affect him after his death. In Shurchen's eyes, the stars of all things flowed, and he saw countless innate spiritual treasures buried in Mount Buzhou, but many of them had not yet been conceived, and he was not interested in taking them. Suddenly he seemed to see something interesting, and his figure flashed and came directly to the interior of Mount Buzhou. Although the interior of Mount Buzhou is not as big as it looks from the outside, it still looks boundless and filled with endless chaotic energy. That's right, this is the chaotic energy that only exists in chaos. I didn't expect that the interior of Mount Buzhou is so rich. Although the chaos chi is higher than the innate spiritual energy of the prehistoric world, it is not suitable for the prehistoric creatures to cultivate and absorb. Only the chaos demon gods born in the prehistoric world need them. Walking along the place where the chaos chi is the most concentrated, Shurchen saw a black boulder surrounded by countless chaos chi. Long time no see, Dao Yu, I didn't expect you to survive in this way. Shurchen's eyes flashed with reminiscence, and he couldn't help but speak. Shurchen, I didn't expect that among all our chaos demon gods, only you took this step. A voice came from the boulder, and the tone was full of surprise. I have to thank Dao Yu for this. Dao Yu created the world, so that I can witness Dao Yu's path to enlightenment and successfully prove the Tao. Shurchen's tone was complicated and full of gratitude. He didn't expect that this was Pangu, the great god who created the world. It's just the creation of each person. Dao Yu can't say a word of thanks. Pangu's voice came, and the tone was also very complicated. When I died, I was able to retain a trace of my true spirit and merge into the interior of Mount Buzhou, thus lingering on. For countless years, this trace of my true spirit is about to dissipate. Pangu spoke calmly, describing his own situation, but it seemed as if he was talking about other people. Although this place is full of chaotic energy, it can only slow down the dissipation of his true spirit. In a few Yuan Hui, he will completely dissipate. It doesn't matter. Since I met a Taoist friend today, it is also my avenue that reminds me. Shurchen thought of his feelings today. He could have continued to practice, but suddenly he had a whim. It seems that his avenue is reminding him to find Pangu. At his current state, this kind of induction about the avenue makes him attach great importance to it. Now that he has found Pangu, he already knows everything. It seems that I am destined not to die now. In this case, thank you Taoist friend. Pangu understood that when he met Shurchen now, it was the avenue that gave him a glimmer of life. If the trace of his true spirit dissipated, or Shurchen could not prove the great Tao, then he would really die. Both are indispensable. Fortunately, these conditions are all there, so Pangu can seize the glimmer of life left by the great Tao. It doesn't matter, I owe it to you. As he said, the great Tao laws surged around Shurchen, countless sounds of the great Tao permeated, and the Tao and the principle were intertwined. Countless great Tao perceptions poured into the black boulder where Pangu lived, and then Shurchen opened the river of time and space and stepped into it. The river of time and space is different from the river of time. It is a higher existence than the river of time. The river of time allows people to see things in the past, but they cannot change anything. They can only know what happened in the past. The river of time and space is different. 
It has the power of time and space. Because of the existence of the power of space, people can take away things from the past. Having said that, if you frequently take away things from the river of time and space, it will cause the Great Tao to collapse, and its power is unbearable even for the Great Tao. Shuchen walked in the long river of time and space. Even he felt the pressure here was terrifying, but he had the power of time, which allowed him to withstand the pressure. Therefore, those who can travel in the long river of time and space are all extremely terrifying people of the avenue. There is no concept of time and space in the long river of time and space. Shuchen walked for an unknown period of time, which could be countless years or just a moment, but he still felt that he was walking in the same place. Finally, Shuchen saw what he needed. It was a huge green lotus surrounded by countless laws of time and space, which had merged with the long river of time and space. This was the chaos green lotus that existed in the past, and it was the treasure that gave birth to Pangu. The chaos green lotus once gave birth to Pangu, but it was broken in the battle of proving the Tao and turned into several top-grade innate spiritual treasures. They are the 12th grade creation green lotus, the 12th grade merit golden lotus, the 12th grade karma fire red lotus, and the 12th grade destruction black lotus. These four lotus platforms were later obtained by other great powers in the prehistoric world and became powerful magic weapons in their hands. However, the chaos green lotus in the long river of time and space today is just the manifestation of the chaos green lotus in the long river of time and space. Although it does not have the original power, it has the same function. If Pangu wants to be reborn again, he not only needs the help of the power of the great Tao of Shurchen, but also needs to be bred again, and the chaos green lotus is the most suitable place for him to be bred. The great Tao of time in Shurchen's hand is permeated, and he slowly takes out the chaos green lotus from it. Although it looks like a phantom and lacks the power of the original, it can still feel the original Tao rhyme. This is the horror of the long river of time and space, which can completely replicate the Tao rhyme of the original. After taking out the chaos green lotus fake, Shuchen clearly felt that the pressure of the long river of time and space on him was even greater. Without thinking too much, he stepped out of the long river of time and space. Returning to the chaos space where Pangu was, Shuchen directly hit the chaos green lotus fake into the black boulder, and then wrapped it with the power of the Tao, allowing it to slowly merge with Pangu. Because Pangu was born here, the fusion process was extremely smooth. It only took 10,000 years to completely merge with Pangu. At this time, the black boulder had disappeared, and turned into a huge chaos green lotus phantom. A burly figure sat cross-legged inside it, and it was the reborn Pangu. After a long time, Pangu slowly opened his eyes, and a trace of gratitude flashed in his calm eyes. Thank you for rebuilding my body. Shi Chen shook his head and didn't care much. This was the cause and effect between him and Pangu. Now that you have been reborn, can you prove the great Tao again? Shi Chen looked at Pangu and asked. I have experienced the life and death of the creation of heaven and have been reborn again. Now I can achieve the great Tao. Pangu nodded and said. Although he is only at the Taoyuo level now, he still has the cultivation experience of the peak of the heavenly Tao realm, so it won't take much time for him to achieve the heavenly Tao realm again and prove the great Tao in one fell swoop. Chapter 20 Shuchen nodded, and then laid many restrictions here. Tao Yu, I have set up restrictions here, you can practice with confidence, don't worry about being discovered by Tian Dao. Pangu nodded, knowing that with Shuchen's restrictions, unless he or Shuchen agreed, no one else would be able to find him, and what he lacked most now was time. Although the prehistoric world was opened up by Pangu, and Tian Dao was born because of the prehistoric world, Tian Dao did not want to have Pangu above him. Although Tian Dao had no emotions, like a machine to manage the prehistoric world, it would instinctively destroy things that were harmful to itself. And the several catastrophes in the prehistoric world were also launched by Tian Dao in order to perfect itself, in order to make itself more perfect and powerful. Today's Tian Dao is not perfect, so Pangu is fine in Buzhou Mountain, but when the six saints come out in the future, Tian Dao will become more powerful, and Hong Jun will also merge with Tian Dao. By then, it will not be so easy for Pangu to hide. So now Shi Chen has set up a ban inside Buzhou Mountain, where even the Heavenly Dao cannot explore, 
naturally ensuring Pangu's smooth cultivation. After everything was done here, Shuchin did not stay any longer, and left Buzhou Mountain directly, and soon returned to his fairy island. It seems that the future prehistoric world will be more interesting. In the Wanxiang Palace, Shuchin smiled, and then began to practice again. Time passed, and many days had passed since the last Hongkai live broadcast in the chat group. It's so boring, is there anyone who wants to talk? In the chat group, Conan broke the long-lost silence. Conan, why do you have time to hang out in the group again if you don't go to accompany your sister Xiaolan? Seeing Conan appear, Tony also came online. Ding, welcome Uncle Long's good niece, the idol wind god Barbados, and the all-round gentle maid to join the chat group. Just as Conan was about to quarrel with Tony, the voice of the chat group came, blocking his words directly. Achiha Madara, hmm. There's a newcomer. The diving Madara was blown out. Welcome, welcome, newcomer, pay attention to receiving the information about the chat group in your mind. Wu Yochi was also blown out by the system's prompt. As an old member of the chat group, although his presence is relatively weak, he feels that he can still save it. Hey, is there a beauty coming in this time? A rare guest. As soon as he opened his mouth, he was old and flowery. This was Tony Stark who was about to quarrel with Conan. Others were also blown out by this system voice, and they all went online to send congratulatory messages. Uncle Long's good niece, yo, so cool, I didn't expect that there are so many fun things in this world besides talismans. By the way, is my name an irony of me? Uh, newcomers, you can change the group nickname to your own name, so that we can all get to know each other. Conan reminded him when he saw this. Oh, I see. As he said, this person directly changed his name to Chen Xiaoyu. Wendy, hey, is this the world outside Tevat? Rem, outside the world, the heavens, and the myriad worlds. Don't say I didn't give you a chance. Anyone who knows can upload the destiny space by themselves. Shuchin's trumpet came out at this time, reminding him kindly. Everyone, ah. Uh, I think I know one. At this time Conan suddenly said. Then everyone saw the system prompt. Ding, group manager Conan uploaded re, zero, starting life in another world, and the destiny space has been generated. The group will be awarded 1000 points. P.S., they are from the same country. Conan has seen Rem. It's reasonable, right? Ding, group manager Tony Stark uploaded the adventures of Jackie Chan, and the destiny space has been generated. The group will be awarded 1000 points. P.S., they are from the same country. Tony has seen the adventures of Jackie Chan. It's reasonable, right? Tony was not to be outdone and also uploaded what he knew. As two people living in modern cities, Tony and Conan have resources that others don't have they have been watching a lot of episodes recently in order to be able to make a splash in the future and get a lot of points. This time they finally found an opportunity and had a place to use their skills. Ah, uh, why don't I live in your world, woo woo woo. Wu Yochi saw that it was finally not the group owner who uploaded the fate space to the newcomers. He felt no relief in his heart, only endless sadness. Well, it seems that you don't know the last one, so I'll do it. Shi Chen looked and knew that no one had uploaded the fate space, so he had to do it himself. Ding, group leader Shi Chen uploaded Ginchen Impact, and the destiny space has been generated. The group will be awarded 1000 points. P.S. After all, the plot of Ginchen Impact has not been fully released, so I found a Barbados who does nothing all day long. After all, his deeds have been known for a long time, and now he has been singing and drinking in Mondstadt. As for whether the official will have his plot in the future, we will talk about it later. In addition, the novel assumes that he knows his future destiny. I hope everyone will spray less. Everyone, go and take a look at your own destiny space. There are records about your original destiny, but after joining the chat group, everything will change, so it will only serve as a reference. Shuchin smiled and said. The three of them no longer hesitated after hearing this and directly entered their own destiny space. Soon, the three of them appeared in the chat group again. After all, it only takes a moment to enter and exit. How about it, 
newcomers, do you feel incredible? You can edit your own destiny space and open it, so that we can watch your destiny. You can watch the destiny space of all of us at any time now. Tony looked at the three people and smiled. The three people edited their own destiny space and chose to open it for everyone to watch. After that, they each chose another person's destiny space to watch. After a long time, everyone finished watching and had a simple understanding of everyone present. TSK TSK, your experiences are all very interesting. Tony spoke first and smiled at the three people. Huh, I didn't expect that I would experience so many adventures with Uncle Long, and I could become a police officer in District 13 in the end. Now I wonder how Uncle Long can stop me from taking risks. Xiao Yu said excitedly after watching all the destiny spaces. For a child who loves adventure, everything here makes her excited. It seems that our Tevat continent is not so peaceful, but I have reached the age of retirement, so I will leave these things to others. Wendy didn't care. He was a leisurely person. Otherwise, he would not have let Mondstadt be free for so many years and let his divine power fade away. Subaru, you are such a gentle person. It turns out that you have done so many things for us silently without us knowing. Rem is very emotional. Now she knows that there is such a person who silently pays, and she can't help but feel uncomfortable. Rem has not met Natsuki Subaru yet, but what she saw in the fate space moved her deeply. The other party sacrificed countless times for the perfect ending that almost did not exist, which made her have a great liking for this young man she had never met. By the way, how can there be a god as leisurely as you? The evaluation given by the chat group is really good. Conan looked at Wendy and couldn't help complaining. Thinking of the name given by the chat group, Barbados, the wind god who does not do his job, it is really appropriate. Aha, don't worry about these details. You are talking about the wind god Barbados. What does this have to do with me, Wendy? Wendy argued, trying to get away with it. Since we all know each other, I will log off first. Uchiha Madara said, and chose to log off directly. Now he has a lot of things to do. Let alone other things, just Naruto, this naughty kid, gave him a headache. Chapter, 21 Tell me the truth, Wendy, only two of your original seven gods are dead. Is it because of you? Conan said with a sinister smile. Why is it because of me? Wendy asked puzzledly. It must be that you seven gods had a party together to drink, and then you got drunk and went crazy, and used a big move. And the remaining five all died from the reaction of elements with each other, leaving only Feng Yen and two orphan elements. Conan explained. Everyone. Slander, this is slander. Wendy was almost angry. By the way, has the traveler from your world come? I didn't expect that there are still people traveling in different worlds. Conan stopped teasing him and asked about the traveler. Of course he came, otherwise how could I wake up, this is not the Tevat continent of a thousand years ago. Wendy rolled his eyes when he heard it. No more, I'm going to drink. Next time, if any one of you has good wine, remember to bring some to me, I can give you some gadgets. With that, Wendy went offline directly. Barbados is really a lazy guy. Big guys, I'm also offline. I'm going to go find amulets with Uncle Long. Xiao Yu said hello and then logged off. Me too, it's time to clean up. See you later. Rem said and also logged off. Alas, are all the newcomers so busy? Conan shook his head and said helplessly. The strength of these newcomers is pretty good. Except for Xiao Yu, who is an ordinary person with only the strength of the first level, Rem is the second level, and Wendy is the third level. Tony said at this time. If this lazy wind god had chosen to protect and govern Mondstadt, his strength would be the fifth level now. The gods of Tevat are generally around the fifth level, and Tianli has the strength of the sixth level. Shurchen once again showed his own experience. He is called a god, but in the world of big guys, he is probably not even as good as a cannon fodder. Conan complained after hearing this. Hmm. It seems that some small bugs have appeared. Who of you is interested in going there? Shurchen suddenly discovered something and said to the chat group. What's wrong, 
big brother? Tony asked hurriedly after hearing this. It's okay. The chat group will be prompted soon. Shu Chen did not say it directly, but kept it a secret first. As soon as the voice fell, the system prompt sound of the chat group sounded at the right time. Ding, it is detected that there are unstable factors in the world of group manager Wu Yuqi. Group members are required to go to explore and solve the trouble. A maximum of three members will go, and the highest combat power is level three. After successfully solving the incident, the group members who participated in solving the incident will receive points rewards according to their contribution. Hmm. My world. What happened? Wu Yochi was blown away by this and couldn't help asking. It's just that some small bugs from other worlds are going to sneak over. If you don't solve it, the coordinates of your world will be discovered, and there will be more dangers in the future. Shi Chen explained aloud. Is there any big brother coming? Come and help me quickly. Wu Yochi was shocked when he heard the words and shouted in the group. He has not yet recovered his former strength. Although he has been practicing, the time is too short. Now he has only reached the peak of the first level. And this time the chat group said that the highest group member of the third level strength will go, which means that the other party will also be the third level at most. A rookie like him is obviously not a match. Add me. Now there are only me and Wendy who are free in the third level in the group. Kai is busy with the task, and Wendy is slacking off everywhere. Only I am the most suitable. Madara appeared at this time and agreed without hesitation. In that case, add me. My latest armor is ready, just in time to test the power. Tony also said. With his current strength plus the Iron Man armor, he is also at a medium level among the second level, which is barely enough. Who said I was slacking off just now? Am I not here? It's just right to see the scenery of the other world. I have always heard travelers talk about the scenery of the other world. As the best bard in Tevat, how can I not take a trip to another world? Wendy, who was still slacking off, suddenly appeared again at this time. Great, with all the bosses here, we will definitely be very successful this time. Wu Yochi said excitedly. In that case, I will also give you a small gift to restore your strength. Shi Chen looked at the peaceful chat group and couldn't help but smiled and said. Really? Group leader. Wu Yochi heard that Shi Chen personally took action. Although the opponent's strength was only to restore his own strength, it also made him extremely excited. You were originally an assassin who only knew how to kill people, and the reason why you were so strong at the beginning was more because of your powerful fighting instincts. Your fighting talent like a beast, and your extraordinary physical fitness. After saying that, Shi Chen did not move, but Wu Yochi, who was far away from countless universes, paused, and countless battle insights surged into his heart, and the energy originally hidden in his body was also completely stimulated. I feel full of power now, and many skills about fighting have become my instincts. This feeling is really great. Wu Yochi almost jumped with excitement, which scared Ji Debeo and Xiaofei beside him. Aki, what are you doing? Ji Debeo dropped his cigar and couldn't help yelling at Wu Yochi. Debeo, my strength has been restored. Wu Yochi said to Ji Debeo excitedly. You restored your strength? Were you still a powerful assassin before? Ji Debeo asked disdainfully. Wu Yochi didn't say anything more to him, just thinking that he could scare him when he turned around. Oh, Ah Chi's strength has finally removed the word fake and has successfully entered the ranks of the second level. Tony smiled when he saw this. Okay, you guys set off now. The chat group will give you a hint. It's probably over at Chicken Island. Shi Chen looked at it and reminded everyone. Also, Ah Chi, don't forget to start the live broadcast. Everyone, understood. Ding, Achiha Madara, Wendy, Tony Stark accept the task, now start the transmission, target, Wu Yochi's world. Debeo, Xiaofei, I'm going out for a while. A few friends are coming over. I'll go to greet them. In the barber shop, Wu Yochi said to Ji Debeo and Ji Xiaofei. Friends? Why don't I know what friends you have? 
G. de Bale was surprised when he heard this. You will know soon. I'm leaving first. Without answering Ji de Bayo's question, Wu Yochi flashed and disappeared directly on the spot. Oh my god, when did Ah Chi become so powerful? Has he really recovered his strength? Ji de Bayo was so shocked that the cigar in his mouth fell out. Chirp chirp. Xiao Fei flapped his wings and said excitedly that only Ji de Bayo could understand. Wu Yochi came directly to a deserted place, and then three light gates appeared in front of him, and three people walked out of them. One of them had a resolute face and wore a black and grey tight combat uniform. It was Uchiha Madara. The second person had a boyish appearance, short black hair, a braid on each side, golden stripes and decorations on his body, and a white and green dress. This was Wendy. The last person was wearing a dark tights, with a bohemian face, like a peerless playboy, and it was Tony Stark. As soon as the three came out, they saw Wu Yochi in front of them. Wu Yochi looked about the same age as Wendy, with short hair tied up high and a white casual outfit. Big guys, you're finally here. Seeing the three people, Wu Yochi stepped forward and said with a smile. Ah Chi, let's get going without delay. Tony stepped forward and put his arm around Wu Yochi's shoulders and said. I just checked the mission. The other party will appear in an hour, and will land on Chicken Island. Let's go to my barber shop to rest first. Wu Yochi greeted several people while leading the way. The three people had no objection to hearing this, and followed Wu Yochi directly. Chapter 22 Oh, by the way, I forgot to start the live broadcast. Walking on the road, Wu Yochi suddenly slapped his head and quickly started the live broadcast. In an instant, all the group members appeared, even Xiaoyu and Rem who had been offline before appeared. Wow, cool, is this the adventure of the other world? When can I go and play? Xiaoyu looked at the few people and couldn't help but yearning. I can feel that they are all very strong. Rem is no match. It feels so dangerous. Through the live broadcast room, everyone felt like they were in the scene, so they could also feel the breath of everyone on the scene. Some people can know how strong they are even through the breath or energy emitted from their bodies. At this time, Wu Yochi led a few people to his residence. Ji Debeo and Xiao Fei were also here. Seeing that Wu Yochi really brought a few people, they couldn't help but surround him. Ah Chi, is this your friend? Why have I never heard you say it before? Ah, this, they. They are friends I knew before I lost my memory. Wu Yochi didn't know how to explain, so he simply said that the other party was his friend before he lost his memory. So that's how it is. Hello, handsome guys. My name is Ji Debeo, this is Xiaofei, we are good friends of Ah Chi. Ji Debeo came to the front of several people and said with a smile. In fact, Ji Debeo was tortured by humans before, and his good friend, Xiaofei's father Dafei, was also killed by the pheasant king because of this, so he has always hated humans. But since he met Wu Yochi, under his poor assassination skills, he always helped the assassinated people, which also made Ji Debeo see the kind side of humans, so now he treats humans quite well. Hey, hello, my name is Wendy, this is Tony and Uchiha Madara, nice to meet you. Wendy was obviously interested in this talking chicken. Hello. Tony said hello, and then looked around. Uchiha Madara was more aloof, nodded and responded, and stood there with his hands folded on his chest and closed his eyes to rest. By the way, since you are Ah Chi's good friends, can we settle the medical expenses for Ah Chi's treatment? Ji Debeo suddenly smiled and rubbed his hands, intending to deduct some money from them, after all, he still owed the miracle doctor a million bill. Debeo, how can you do this? He came here to help me this time. Wu Yochi was about to pull Ji Debeo aside when he heard it, which was really embarrassing. Wendy looked at Tony when he heard it, and Uchiha Madara did not move. They all knew that Tony was the only rich man here, but Tony's US dollars were useless here. This is easy, these things should be able to help you pay off the medical expenses. Tony smiled when he heard it, and snapped his fingers casually, and countless invisible nanoparticles appeared from the ring in his hand, gradually forming a small box. 
This is the nanotechnology that Tony mastered in the later period of the Avengers. Now he has learned it in advance in the chat group, and immediately applied it to the new Iron Man armor, and there are also some space technology applications in it. Tony opened the palm-sized box, and saw diamonds of various sizes displayed inside, almost blinding G. DeBeo's eyes. I thought about this before I came here. We can't let our Achi keep owing money, so I brought some small gifts to pay off his medical expenses. As for the rest, it belongs to you, DeBeo. Seeing DeBeo's excited face, Tony smiled and handed the box of diamonds to G. DeBeo. Hey, this, this. Is it really for me? It was the first time that G. DeBeo saw so many diamonds, not to mention that this represented countless small amounts of money, which made him tremble with excitement. He quickly snatched them from Tony's hand and looked at them one by one. DeBeo, can we stop your money grubber look first? I feel ashamed. Wu Yochi couldn't help but cover his face, which was really embarrassing to the world. Ha, huh, this DeBeo is so cute. Although he is a money grubber, he is very loyal to Ah Chi for owing such a huge sum of money. Xiao Yu laughed in the live broadcast room. Everyone knows Xiao Yu's personality, and she is still a child, so even if she is a little noisy, they don't care. Instead, they like this little guy. By the way, DeBeo, I am also a scientist. When Ah Chi's work is done, we can exchange research experience. I am very interested in some of your inventions. Tony came here this time and liked some of G. DeBeo's inventions. This is a very talented blue feathered chicken. And Tony's way of science and technology requires continuous absorption of various knowledge to strengthen his own science and technology. The so called knowledge is power, which means this. Really? There is no problem at all. You should be from the country of Stir. If there are any good inventions, we can study them together. Stir is a country with extremely advanced science and technology in the world, so for Tony's statement, G. DeBeo subconsciously thought that the other party was from Stir. This time, because of the diamonds Tony brought, G. DeBeo became the richest chicken, so he agreed with Tony's proposal and regarded it as a reward for the other party's money. Tony didn't say much after hearing this, and G. DeBeo regarded it as the other party's tacit acknowledgement that he was from the country of Stir, so he didn't have any doubts. Hey, hello, Xiaofei, my name is Wendy. At this time, Wendy suddenly found Xiaofei, and he was quite interested in this little chicken. Chirp chirp. Xiaofei jumped and flapped his wings, speaking incomprehensible chicken language. Hmm, this is my first time coming to Chicken Island. Do you want me to play a piece of music for you? I am the top bard. Wendy nodded and took out her harp. Sky Pseudo, because the real one is still enshrined in the Zephyr Cathedral in Mondstadt. G. DeBeo didn't know what a bard was because there was no such profession in this world, but he didn't care. Instead, he noticed that the other party seemed to be able to understand Xiao Fei's words. You. Can you understand Xiao Fei? G. DeBeo was so surprised that his sunglasses were crooked. He didn't expect that there was someone other than himself who could understand Xiao Fei's words. Because Xiao Fei has never grown up and cannot speak human language, he can only crow. This means that only Chicken DeBeo, who is also a chicken, can understand it, and Wu Liuqi only half understands it. Yes, what's so difficult about this? I can be proficient in the language of any species. Wendy smiled when she heard this. As one of the original seven gods of the Tevat continent, Wendy is known as one of the seven rulers of the world. Even though his divine power has now dissipated and most of his power is gone, he still has some special abilities and can listen to the voices of all things. I don't know if it exists in the original version, but as a wind elf, he can talk to the wind demon dragon, so he should be able to talk to other animals. Although this is a power given by the Tevat continent, generally speaking, this power will not exist after leaving the Tevat continent. But because of the existence of the chat group, he can continue to use this power. G. DeBeo didn't think much about it anymore, maybe this was his talent. This world is full of strange abilities, and it's not surprising that one has the ability to communicate with other species. Time passed slowly as everyone communicated, and soon the time of the mission came, which meant that the enemy was about to arrive. Chapter 23 
It's time, let's go. Wu Yochi looked at the time and walked out first. The others followed closely and went together. Aki, where are you going? Ji Debeo stopped Wu Yochi and asked. Debeo, Xiaoji Island will be in danger soon. You and Xiaofei find a place to hide first. They came here to help me solve the problem this time. Wu Yochi said quickly and left the barber shop directly. Xiaoji Island is in danger. Who would come here for what? Ji Debeo was stunned when he heard it, but he didn't want Wu Yochi to go to danger alone, so he decided to take Xiaofei to watch from the side first, and then slip away if it didn't work. On a rooftop not far from the barber shop, a woman in a green training suit, with a long braid behind her and a dagger tied to it, stared at Wu Yochi and his group expressionlessly. Meihua Shirsan was originally going to find Wu Yochi this time, but when she saw that he suddenly brought three people with him, she did not act rashly. She could feel that one of them was full of terrifying power. She had never felt this feeling on her master, which made her feel incredible, so she decided to follow Wu Yochi and his group to see what they were going to do. Although she did not feel anything about the other two, the one who could be together must not be a simple character. Following the guidance of the chat group, everyone came to a mountaintop on Chicken Island, where they could overlook the entire Chicken Island and there were no other people. At this time, there were wisps of cracks in the space here, and a black mist was spreading, making people feel extremely uncomfortable. Huh, it seems that someone followed us here. Wendy casually stroked the harp and said with a smile. Well, it seems to be Ah Chi's girlfriend. Achiha Madara rarely teased. Although he was not familiar with some of the newcomers in the chat group, as the first people to enter the chat group, they actually had a good relationship. Even people like Achiha Madara could occasionally make a joke. Hey, Miss Mei, you're here too. Wu Yochi looked at the place where Mei Hua Shirsan was hiding and greeted him happily. Among the people present, only Tony relied on technology to fight, so he had only a vague understanding of the methods of perception of others, so he did not sense Mei Hua Shirsan's tracking. However, Wu Yochi and others were different. They all had their own methods of perception to a certain extent. Since Wu Yochi recovered his strength, coupled with his previous training, he had the confidence to defeat the leader of the Shadow Assassins. Ha! Huh. Wu Yochi was able to find me. Did others tell him? Mei Hua Shirsan was shocked when he saw this, thinking that Wendy and others told him. After all, he knew how bad Wu Yochi was before. With a move, Mei Hua Shirsan came to Wu Yochi. Wu Yochi, why did you come here? Why do I feel an uncomfortable breath? Mei Hua Shirsan asked Wu Yochi while secretly guarding against Achiha Madara and others. This is the vigilance of a warrior. Not only that, she could also feel that something was wrong here, and the air seemed to be filled with an uncomfortable atmosphere. We. Wu Yochi was about to speak, but the question suddenly said. Here we are, get ready for battle, everyone be careful. Wu Yochi saw this and said no more, and the magic knife Qianren suddenly appeared in his hand. Looking at the magic knife Qianren in Wu Yochi's hand, Mei Hua Shirsan was shocked, but she didn't have time to think about it, and changes occurred in front of her. The space that was originally a crack was suddenly stretched open, revealing the dark space inside. Then, a black claw stretched out from it, and then the whole creature came out of it, allowing everyone to see the full appearance of the other party. This is a humanoid monster, with a body as black as ink, red eyes, and a palm that is much larger than that of a human, and extremely sharp. There is a bone spur on each arm, sharp black thorns stand on the back, and there is a red diamond crystal on the chest. This is a source beast, the most vicious creature in the universe. They feed on the origin of a world and invade other worlds everywhere, so they are called source beasts. Any creature in the universe will feel disgust from the bottom of their hearts when encountering a source beast, because they are the enemy of all creatures, whether evil or not. As for the origin of the source beast, there is an ancestor among the source beasts, which can reproduce infinitely. It is a source beast of the avenue level, and you don't need to care about it. Shi Chen's voice sounded in the live broadcast room at the right time, letting everyone understand this monster. Source beasts have the characteristics of immortality, and can evolve by absorbing the origin of the world, so they only need a few source beasts each time to destroy a world. 
After all, when they absorb the origin of the world, few people can find it. Except for the weakness of the crystal stone on the chest, there is no way to kill them, but the crystal stone on the chest is also their hardest place, and they can use this to absorb the origin of the world. After briefly introducing the characteristics of the monster, Shi Chen hid himself, and the next thing was left to them. Okay, now that we know the opponent's weakness, it will be easy to solve it. Tony said, and pointed at his chest. Countless nanoparticles instantly wrapped around his whole body, and a brand new Iron Man suit appeared on his body. Miss May, these things are called source beasts. You must pay attention to them. They cannot be killed anywhere except the crystal weakness on their chests. Knowing that Meihua 13 could not know about the chat group, Wu Yochi quickly told her. Then, under the gaze of everyone, about a dozen source beasts appeared. It's not easy to deal with. There are actually more than a dozen source beasts, but fortunately there is only one third level source beast, for second level, and the rest are first level. Uchiha Madara said as he looked at the source beasts. If no one in the chat group came to help, I'm afraid that with their almost immortal characteristics, plus a third level source beast, they can directly sweep the entire world. The upper limit of the strength of this world is the second level, so even the leader of the shadow assassin is about the middle of the second level. Wu Yochi can now reach the late second level. Although a world has a cultivation level limit, it can allow the existence of one level higher than the world level limit to descend. If the strength is higher, there will be only two results, either you can't enter this world, or the world will be blown up by powerful energy. Wendy, the two of us will first eliminate the opponent's strongest, and the rest of us will hold back the other source beasts first. Uchiha Madara commanded. As a person who has participated in many ninja world wars, he has extremely rich combat experience. Even if he is not facing a human now, it does not affect his command experience. Understood, the wind is coming. Wendy took out a longbow from somewhere and released magic casually. As the god of wind, he had made many weapons, but he gave them all to others. His own weapon was originally the wings of the sky, which was a longbow, but later became the sky harp, which was enshrined in the cathedral of Mondstadt. Today's weapons are just made by himself and temporarily requisitioned. Susanu. Uchiha Madara also directly used a big move, opened Susanoo, and turned into a giant several tens of meters high. The two attacked the third level source beast together, and divided the battlefield very tacitly, so that the opponent would not affect Wu Yochi and others. Seeing this, the others also found an opponent to fight. Chapter 24 It's hard to handle. There are too many enemies for us to take care of. Several origin beasts want to escape. Wu Yochi looked at his group and was a little overwhelmed. After all, there were more enemies than him and the others. As for myself and others, although they can barely equal the opponent in terms of high-end combat power, the opponent still has many first-level ones. The strength of the Plum Blossom 13 on my side is only around the late first level, and it is already somewhat dangerous at this time. At this time, several figures appeared on the battlefield, and Wu Yochi still had time to look over. Director Jiang, Old Beggar, Wang Feng, Mao Xiaomi, and Da Chuan are here. Come and help us quickly. Wu Yochi was overjoyed when he saw this. These are the bosses hidden on Xiaoji Island, the strongest it's still Director Jiang and the old beggar Ming Minghua. Wu Yochi, what's going on? Director Jiang saw the people fighting and asked Wu Yochi quickly. She could feel a dangerous aura, especially the three people fighting not far away, which made her feel even more frightened. You guys, stop watching the show. These monsters have come from other worlds and want to destroy our world. I will explain the details to you later. Help us deal with them quickly. Wu Yochi waved his magic knife. Qian Ren explained to several people. I did feel a disgusting aura. It seems that I have to take action, old man. The old beggar, Lian Minghua, licked his nostrils and said seriously. Wow, Xiaomi, let's go help too. Meow, crazy brother, I got it. For the sake of peace on Chicken Island, I'm here too. Wang Feng and Mao Xiaomi joined the battlefield together, and at the same time summoned their respective cat and dog subordinates. 
Hidachuan also joined the battlefield, and used his indestructible boy body to fight head-on with the opponent in an instant. Pay attention, their weak point is on the crystal stone on their chest. Apart from this, they cannot be killed by other methods. Wu Yochi said quickly when he saw this. Boy, why are you so strong now? I feel like you are almost the same as me. While fighting, the old beggar did not forget to talk to Wu Yochi. The old beggar Wan Minghua is not bragging. As the leader of the largest gang in Xuanwu Kingdom, and in a country that favors martial arts, it shows how strong Wan Minghua is. He once took out a martial arts secret book and could make Wu Yochi become invulnerable to all poisons. Uncle, I have found my own strength. Wu Yochi said with a smile. No wonder the thousand blades of the demonic sword is in your hand, but I feel like you are still that stupid. Wan Minghua nodded. He knew Wu Yochi's identity, not to mention the famous demonic sword. Thousand blades. But I'm still curious. Now that his strength is back, his memory will also come back. Qi, the strongest assassin in the Xuanwu kingdom, was a guy who killed people without blinking an eye, but he was not as stupid as Wu Liuqi today. Please stop complaining about me and resolve the battle quickly. I know you are more than capable. Boy, it seems you know a lot of things. Death Minghua became serious after hearing this. What the hell are these things? The good little chicken island has been so badly damaged. If Wu Yochi doesn't give me an explanation later, then I will definitely give him a fine. Director Zhang Seal is still there, so he only she was able to worry on the sidelines, but now all her strength has been sealed. Xiao Jiang, how about I help you unlock the seal? Lan Minghua looked at Director Jiang aside and said with a lewd smile. After living on Xiaoji Island for so long, he was familiar with basically every reputable person, so he knew Director Zhang's identity after some investigation. Go away, how could I fall in love with a sloppy old beggar like you? Director Zhang roared when he saw this, and couldn't help but growl at the other party. Oh, forget it, Wu Liuqi, come here. Seeing the stalemate among the people, Director Zhang finally made up her mind as a person with a strong sense of justice. Ah, uh, what? Upon hearing this, Wu Yochi turned and looked in the direction of Director Jiang. Hmm. Suddenly a soft touch touched his mouth, and then he saw Director Jiang's old face. The two people's lips closed as soon as they touched, and then Director Jiang Shuangxia blushed and formed a seal with his hands. The White Lotus Blooms As Director Jiang used White Lotus Bloom, endless brilliance circulated, and his appearance changed into what he looked like when he was young. I'll go, Director Jiang, let me know next time you zoom in. Wu Liuqi was not surprised, but he didn't expect it to come so suddenly. When? Raising his knife to block the source beast's grab, Wu Liuqi couldn't help but said angrily, I'll go, you want to sneak attack me? Roar! The source beast roared angrily, and as it waved its claws, endless black energy filled the air, as if there were evil spirits entangled in it. The second-level source beasts have a certain amount of wisdom. They are not a race without intelligence, but only the third-level source beasts can speak. At this time, with the addition of Director Jiang, the battle situation suddenly became even. Eight second-level strength battles caused great damage to the battlefield. Plum Blossom 13, who was fighting a source beast not far away, was secretly shocked when she saw this. She didn't expect that there would be such a crouching tiger, hidden dragon in this small chicken island. Although she was surprised that Wu Liuqi's strength had become so strong, what surprised her even more was the old beggar and Director Jiang. She didn't expect that the two of them were so secretive. Director Jiang is slightly weaker, but he can still fight with second-level source beasts, and the old beggar looks on par with his master. Sky Eye While fighting, Mei Hua Shirsan used the secret technique of Sky Eye taught by her master. This is a magical power similar to video live broadcast, which allows her to communicate with her master who is far away in the sky, and the other party can also see the scene here. Master, please take a look here. Mei Hua Shirsan fought while broadcasting the live scene to Qing Feng. What is this? Qing Feng couldn't help but be surprised when she saw the source beast. Although this monster looks like a human, it is obviously not a human. 
Master, these monsters are called source beasts. As she said, she relayed what Wu Liuqi had said to her before to Qing Feng. I don't know the specific situation, but when I see them, my body will unconsciously feel disgusted. I know, how is your situation there now? Qing Feng asked again. Master, I didn't expect that Xiaoji Island is so hidden and has so many strong people. As she said, she set her sights on Wu Liuqi and others. Lan Minghua, Jiang Huilian, and Qi, I didn't expect them to be here. Qing Feng's eyes were solemn. Director Jiang didn't count, her strength was still a little behind Qing Feng, but Lan Minghua and Wu Liuqi had to be taken seriously by him. He naturally knew Lan Minghua's identity, but he had no confidence that he could beat the other party, who was an extremely skilled player. As for Wu Liuqi, he was once a shadow assassin, and his strength was a little behind him. But just looking at Wu Liuqi's current battle, he didn't expect that he was already on par with himself, which surprised Qing Feng. You said, Qi? Could Wu Liuqi be the former shadow assassin Qi? Mei Hua 13 was shocked when he heard this. He didn't expect Wu Liuqi to have such a big background, that he was the famous Xuanwu country's strongest assassin Qi. Wu Liuqi. I didn't expect that he actually changed his name. Qing Feng smiled when he heard this. Then he looked at Iron Man, and his surprise was even greater. This person looks like he is from the country of Stir, but I have never heard of him. Moreover, his strength is so strong. It seems that I have not been out of the world for a long time and I don't understand this world anymore. Chapter 25 Master There are a few I have never seen before, that kind of power. I want to know if we can reach that level through martial arts. Mei Hua Shirsan thought of the three Uchiha Madaras who were far away from here. She just saw that person in front of her and turned into a giant several tens of meters tall, which almost broke her three views. What do you mean? Qing Feng was stunned when she heard the words. From Mei Hua Shirsan's tone, she must have seen something incredible. The battlefield today is incredible enough. Is there anything more incredible than now? Qing Feng couldn't help thinking in her heart. Master, why don't you come here in person? Mei Hua Shirsan couldn't explain it clearly, so she had to say so. Wait for me, I'll be there soon. Qing Feng didn't hesitate and got up and went to Chicken Island. In fact, he had been near Chicken Island for a long time. With his strength, it wouldn't take much time to get here as quickly as possible. After closing the sky eye, Mei Hua Shirsan continued to fight with the source beast. Before, she had been fighting with the sky eye, which caused her to passively defend. Now she can finally fight to her heart's content. Oh my god, why is it so scary here? At this time, behind a huge rock not far from the battlefield, Ji De Bao was holding Xiao Fei and trembling. Xiao Fei, let's listen to Ah Qi and stay away from here. It's too scary. I'm so scared that my chicken legs are soft. Chi Ji Chi Ji. Xiao Fei was obviously worried about Wu Liuqi and wanted to rush over to help, but was held tightly by Ji De Bao. Xiao Fei, you don't want to die. Don't you see that Ah Chi has become so powerful now? We just dragged him down in the past. Ji De Bao pulled Xiao Fei and persuaded him hard. Chi Ji. Xiao Fei was stunned when he heard it and finally calmed down and no longer dared to go to the battlefield. I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Ji De Bao looked at the fierce battlefield and couldn't help wanting to go back, but he was held back by Xiao Fei after a few steps. Xiao Fei, what are you doing? We have to leave here quickly. Ji De Bao looked at Xiao Fei and said with a sad face. Chirp chirp. You want to see if they are okay in the end? Okay, okay, then we'll be here. Don't get close to them, understand? Ji De Bao said helplessly. At this time, a figure passed over Ji De Bao's head, making him look up. A man in a black gown appeared on the battlefield. The man had long white hair and looked to be in his twenties. He had an eye patch on his right eye and two swords hanging from his waist. It was Qing Feng who hurried over. Oh. This guy is here too. That's right. His apprentice is here. It's impossible that he doesn't know what happened. Lan Minghua, who was fighting, 
heard the sound and saw Qin Feng with an expressionless face. Why is this guy so difficult to deal with? In terms of strength, I can easily deal with it, but every time I hit a part, it will grow back immediately. The weak spot on the chest is too hard. It has been so long and only a little crack has appeared. Lan Minghua turned around and looked at the source beast in front of him. He couldn't help but have a headache. He used the skills again and slapped the crystal on the chest of the source beast with one palm, finally making the crack a little bigger. Master, you are here. Mei Hua Shursan saw Qing Feng and said hurriedly. Well, leave it to me. Qing Feng nodded, and then put both hands on the hilt of the sword. Mei Hua Shursan saw this and quickly stepped aside, leaving the battlefield to Qing Feng, and reminded, Master, the weakness of this monster is the crystal on the chest, otherwise it will not be able to kill the opponent. Qing Feng did not answer, but directly drew out the sword in his hand. With a flash of sword light, the source beast in front of him was split into two from the chest and was killed instantly. After dealing with this one, Qing Feng came directly to the next source beast, and cut down another source beast with a knife. After all, it was only a first level source beast, and it was no effort in front of Qing Feng, who was also a strong man in the second level. Because of the appearance of Qing Feng, the battlefield became relaxed, and Da Chuan and the cats and dogs also had a chance to breathe. Why is he here? After performing the secret technique of white lotus blooming, Director Jiang had to solve the battle as soon as possible, otherwise she would have to exit this state sooner or later, so she was always in a state of high concentration. At this time, she suddenly heard the scream of the source beast's death, and then she had time to take a look, and found that Qing Feng had come here. As one of the seven shadow assassins, Qing Feng must know him, not to mention that Chia is one of the shadow assassins, and she is also a martial artist, so she will pay attention to the information of shadow assassins. However, she didn't know the relationship between Mei Hua Shursan and Qing Feng, so she was a little surprised by Qing Feng's arrival, but since the other party came, the balance of the battlefield was finally broken. Who's here? Hmm. Qing Feng. It should be Miss Mei who called him over. Wu Yuqi was stunned when he heard the words, and then he saw Qing Feng. Because he was familiar with the plot, he knew the relationship between Qing Feng and Mei Hua Shursan, and also knew that the other party was once his colleague. After Qing Feng solved all the first level source beasts, he first found Lan Minghua and planned to solve the source beasts with him. After all, Lan Minghua was the strongest among the people present. When Lan Minghua was free, he could solve the battle faster. You are here, I can't hold on any longer, let's solve it together. Lan Minghua smiled at Qing Feng who came. Senior, you are joking. If you can't hold on, no one can stop this monster. Qing Feng smiled and responded. With Lan Mingwa's age and status in the martial arts world, Qing Feng deserves to call him a senior. After all, when Lan Mingwa was wandering in the martial arts world, Qing Feng had just learned to hold a sword. With Qing Feng's joining, the battle became easier all of a sudden. In addition, Lan Mingwa had no weapons before, so the damage to the source beast was limited. Although his palm skills are strong, they are all used to deal with people. It is really uncomfortable to deal with monsters like the source beast that are not afraid of being injured. With the combined efforts of the two, the battle was resolved in less than a minute, and then they went their separate ways to help others. Qing Feng found Wu Liuqi, and Lan Mingwa found Director Jiang. Poor Tony, because of his fighting style, these people regarded him as a stir countryman, so he was somewhat unwelcome. Since ancient times, Stir and Xuanwu have been fighting each other, which has also caused the people of the two countries to hate each other, and Stir always loses more than it wins, so the people of Xuanwu look down on them. Everyone present, except for Uchiha Madara and his group, all the others were from Xuanwu country, even Wu Liuqi was from Xuanwu country, so it was normal for these martial artists to dislike Tony. Tony was helpless seeing this. He had read the original plot and knew about these grievances, so he could only bear it silently for the time being, and wait for Wu Liuqi to help him when he was free. TSK TSK, our Uncle Tony is really miserable. Conan looked at Tony's miserable appearance, and Qing Feng and Lan Mingwa tacitly didn't help him first, and couldn't help laughing. Conan, how can you say that? Uncle Tony is so miserable, um ha ha ha. 
Xiao Yu wanted to persuade Conan, but seeing that Tony, who had always been so showy, was so miserable, she couldn't help laughing. Hey! Is this a battle? At this time, Hong Kai suddenly came online. He had been wandering in the universe, and this time he was finally able to take a break, so he rushed over to take a look as soon as possible. Hey, Kai, you're here. Saitama, who had been hiding, also appeared. Since helping Kai last time, Saitama and the others have had a good relationship and often chat in private. Yes, Senior Saitama. Kai responded after hearing this. Look, Ching Fong and Ah Chi have met. I guess he will be confused when he sees Ah Chi become so strong. At this time, Conan suddenly spoke up, and everyone's eyes turned to Wu Liuqi's battlefield again. Chapter 26 Chi, I didn't expect you to be alive. Ching Fong looked at Wu Liuqi and said calmly. Oh, you are Miss Mei's master, I remember your name is Ching Fong, right? Wu Liuqi didn't care much about the relationship between Ching Fong and himself. The only time they had met before was when Chia attacked him and Ching Fong helped him. Ching Fong was a little confused. This Wu Liuqi seemed to be a little wrong. Ha ha ha, I laughed to death. Look at Ching Feng's confused look. When I typed a question mark, it's not me who is wrong, it's you who is wrong. Conan in the live broadcast room looked at Ching Feng and laughed until he twitched. Oh, you are wondering why I am like this, right? I have lost my memory and don't remember that you are Ching Feng. Let's solve it quickly. Wu Liuqi explained, but this made Ching Feng feel like he was teased. What do you mean I have lost my memory and don't remember that you are Ching Feng? Since you have lost your memory, how do you know that I am Ching Feng? Not wanting to talk to this idiot, Ching Feng raised his sword with both hands, ready to solve the source beast with Wu Liuqi. Ching Feng fought while secretly observing the other party. Wu Liuqi didn't care. He was a big-headed person and didn't care that much, but Ching Feng had a bigger doubt in his heart. This guy named Wu Liuqi was definitely the original Qi. Although his personality and hairstyle were different from the one in his memory, his appearance and fighting methods were exactly the same. What's more? Ching Feng glanced at the magic knife Qianren in Wu Liuqi's hand. This knife would only exert its true power in Qi's hands. Not only that, the magic knife Qianren was what he instigated the other party to take. This was the treasure of the Shenduan kingdom, which Wu Liuqi got by killing the thousand-year evil spirit. Watching Wu Liuqi's battle, Qing Feng was secretly shocked. He didn't expect that this guy not only didn't die at the beginning, but also became so powerful. He felt that if he faced him, he might not be his opponent. In this somewhat weird atmosphere, the two of them solved the source beast in front of them together, but with Wu Liuqi's carefree personality, he didn't feel anything wrong. Both of them were masters of the second level, and it was easy to deal with a second level source beast. They quickly solved the battle. On the other side, Lan Minghua and Director Jiang almost finished the battle. Wu Liuqi didn't stop and rushed directly to Tony. After all, the other party came to help him. He cooperated with Tony to solve the last second level source beast. At this time, there was only one third level source beast left on the field. I feel that there are still several powerful auras over there, which makes me tremble. At this time, Lan Minghua suddenly said. No one on the scene was weak, and they could all feel that there was another battlefield on the other side. Everyone quickly joined together and then rushed to the battlefield of Uchiha Madara and others. Everyone who came here had a solemn look on their faces. They saw a giant several dozen meters tall on the battlefield that was really eye-catching, but the power exuded by the other two should not be underestimated. At this time, Uchiha Madara was using Susanoo, wielding a sword as big as a mountain. The opponent was also a black giant who was as strong as him, but his body was burning with black flames. The main force of this battle was still Uchiha Madara, and Wendy was suspected of being a soy sauce on the side. But even so, it was much stronger than the others. Every arrow shot out was accompanied by a strong wind through the body of the source beast. Roar, you are definitely not from this world, why do you come to stop us? The black giant roared. Although Wendy and the others could not kill him at present, it would not take long. Although their source beasts were almost immortal, 
they would also consume energy. When the energy was completely consumed, it could only return to the original space again and it would take a long time to recover again, which made it very unwilling. Who asked you to invade the world everywhere? And you set your sights on this place. If we don't leave you here, wouldn't we have come here in vain? Uchiha Madara sneered when he heard this. Okay, since you guys are so entangled, I'll show you the true form of our source beast. As he said that, he fell to the ground and turned into a huge black beast. The crystal on his chest moved to his forehead, and a pair of black bone wings appeared behind him. Damn, this guy is really difficult to deal with. If Wu Yochi doesn't treat me to more cider after this fight, I won't come to help next time. Wendy couldn't help but complain about Wu Yochi. Well, sorry, Wendy, we don't have cider here. Wu Yochi heard Wendy's complaints and shouted to him. Do you think I don't know? I asked you to treat me to cider from other places. Wendy looked at Wu Yochi and felt helpless about this big idiot. Stop talking nonsense, show your real strength quickly, I know you haven't used your real strength yet. Uchiha Madara shouted at Wendy after hearing this. He felt the pressure increase sharply now. He didn't expect that the other party hadn't used his real strength yet. I know, I know. Why are you so angry? Wendy put away his playful thoughts after hearing this and decided to show his real strength. As a burst of light emerged from Wendy's body, his appearance changed immediately. The original white and green clothes turned into a completely white color, and a pair of white wings appeared behind. At the same time, a round metal armor appeared on the chest. From the place where the armor leaked out, you can faintly see the symbol of the Wind God. P.S. You can see the second episode of the original God comics for the specific appearance. In addition, the Wendy in the hands of the Traveler cannot transform. I didn't expect that mine can, uh. However, the original clothes became less, especially the clothes on the belly disappeared, and the two long legs were even more bare, which made Director Jiang on the side roar. Why is your transformation like this? Can you pay attention to shame and don't blind the eyes of children? Uh, sorry, sorry, wait until I finish beating this monster. Wendy was stunned when he heard the words, and couldn't help sticking out his tongue embarrassedly. Then, flapping the pair of white wings behind him, he flew towards the huge source beast not far away, and at the same time, the original longbow in his hand turned into a harp. At this moment, Wendy can be called the wind god Barbados, which is his strongest form. His original appearance was a wind elf with a pair of small wings on his back, similar to a sunny doll. After he ascended the throne of the god of wind, he used his divine power to transform himself into the appearance of the boy who had fought side by side with him. Since he ascended the throne, this has been his powerful form. Huh, the wind is blowing. As Wendy gently stroked the harp, a beautiful sound of the harp came out, but it turned into various swords and spears to attack the source beast. He continued to stroke the strings again, and wind blades flew out, beating the source beast into a mess. The people who were still laughing in the live broadcast room couldn't help but look at Wendy. They didn't expect that this guy would be so fierce after the transformation, just like a cheat. This is when he has lost all his divine power now. If it was Wendy who first ascended the throne, it is not difficult to imagine how strong he is. It is estimated that it is similar to the time when Saitama killed the entire monster army with one punch, everyone thought so. Not only the people in the live broadcast room, but also Wu Yochi and Qing Feng and others were watching this century-long battle. This is a battle that broke their outlook on life. Oh my god, am I still not awake, Ah Chi? At this time, Ji Debeo also ran over with Xiaofei in his arms. Before, when Wu Yochi and the others were fighting, Ji Debeo could only hide far away with Xiaofei. Now that Wu Yochi and the others have finished fighting, they can finally come out and make themselves familiar. However, Wu Yochi was also attracted by the battle at this time, so he did not hear what Ji Debeo said. Ji Debeo did not care either. Like everyone else, he focused on watching the battle between the three people. Chapter 27 Roar The source beast was blocked by Uchiha Madara's Susanoo in front and harassed by Wendy's wind magic in the back, making it overwhelmed. Let's kill it in one go. Wendy said to Uchiha Madara. 
Okay, heaven's abyss. As he said that, Madara directly released his strongest skill in the Susanoo state, heaven's abyss. Look, what is that? Ji Debeo pointed to the sky where several people were fighting, and couldn't help but feel his chicken legs going weak. Everyone looked up when they heard the words, and they couldn't help but almost scared to death. They saw a huge meteorite falling from the sky and smashing towards the source beast below. Not good, if this meteorite falls, the entire chicken island will be completely razed to the ground. Lan Minghua said anxiously when he saw this, but unfortunately they were a little far away from Madara, and their voices couldn't be transmitted at all, not to mention that the sound on the battlefield was too noisy. Boss, if you hit this big move, our entire chicken island will be gone. Wu Yochi was anxious in the chat group, frantically tagging Uchiha Madara. Don't worry, just watch. Uchiha Madara didn't say much after hearing this, just let him watch, it seems that he is very confident that he will not destroy Chicken Island. Wu Yochi felt relieved after hearing this. Since Madara said so, there should be no problem. Maybe he has some confidence. Wu Yochi can only think so now. What should we do? With our strength, we can't stop it at all. Director Jiang said anxiously when he saw this. It's okay, Madara Sr. has confidence, just watch it. Wu Yochi could only comfort him like this. As soon as the voice fell, the incident suddenly took a turn, and Wendy took action. Madara, you really gave me a difficult problem. At this time, Wendy looked at the huge meteorite that was slowly falling, and couldn't help complaining to Madara. Although he said this, his hands did not hesitate. Wendy saw that the harp in his hand turned into a longbow again, and then the longbow was fully pulled, and the rich wind element gathered on it. Don't try to escape, poem of the wind god. The next second, a thousand winds gathered and shot out arrows, wrapping the source beast and the meteorite, creating a huge eye of the storm in front. Countless wind elements flowed, breaking the meteorite into countless fragments. At the same time, under the guidance of the wind, countless meteorites turned into stronger impact force and hit the source beast. Not only that, under the guidance of Wendy, the powerful impact force was all released in the eye of the storm, and all the power hit the source beast. Countless meteorite fragments and wind blades instantly crushed the source beast into powder, and even the hardest crystal on the source beast turned directly into powder and dissipated in the world. Is this the end? Everyone on Chicken Island stared blankly at the place where the source beast dissipated, and the shock in their hearts could not calm down for a long time. Okay, now that it's over, Wu Yochi, explain it to me, or I'll fine you for damaging the public property of Chicken Island. Director Jiang came to Wu Yochi's side and stretched out his hand to twist Wu Yochi's ear. Ah, it hurts, Director Jiang, Director Jiang, stop it, I'll tell everyone when I go back. Wu Yochi screamed in pain and begged for mercy. Humph, let's talk about this matter when we get back. Director Jiang let go of his hand after hearing this. At this time, Ban and Wendy also came back. They both cancelled their transformation state and walked towards the crowd. Everyone looked at Wendy and the others, with mixed feelings in their hearts. They didn't know where this big guy came from, and they felt a little uneasy. Thank you. Two seniors, let's go, let's go back and rest, I'll make beef awful for you personally. Wu Yochi came over and smiled at the two of them. You are so stingy, we have made so much effort, and you actually treat us to beef awful. Wendy looked disgusted when she heard this. No need, we just take what we need. Ban still looked cold, but it was true. They came to help not only because they were in the same group, but also to earn points. Soon after, everyone gathered at Wu Yuchi's house. This is how it happened. Now you all know it. At this time, Wu Yuchi finally explained the ins and outs of all the things. However, he hid the true origins of Tony and the other two, saying that they also came from outside the world and happened to know him. Because the source beast is hated by all worlds, it happened to help solve it. At this time, Wu Yuchi had turned off the live broadcast. After all, everyone wanted to see the passionate battle and was not interested in listening to his story, so he turned off the live broadcast. At this time, everyone knew the situation. They didn't expect that the matter was so dangerous. 
If they didn't show up in time and find the source beast, then the people in their world would definitely be swallowed by the source beast in the end, and the consequences would be unimaginable. Thinking of this, everyone looked at Wendy and the other two who were drinking on the side, and their hearts were full of gratitude. As for why they believed Wu Yochi's words, it was because they had their own judgment. The source beast would emit a feeling that made the creatures of the world disgusted, which was mentioned in Wu Yochi's words. And they had felt before that after encountering the source beast, their bodies would unconsciously react with disgust. As a warrior, if you can't control every organ of your body, it means that you haven't practiced to the home. It is obvious that the people present are not ordinary people. And their bodies reacted, which can't be deceived, so they all believed Wu Yuchi's statement. At this time, Wendy and his friends were drinking wine. Because there was no favorite apple wine, Wendy could only drink the wine here, but it felt good. The wine here is okay, but my favorite is still apple wine. The best wine I have ever drunk is still dandelion wine. I will invite you to the continent of Tevat later, and we will go to the Dawn Winery to drink together. Wendy drank wine and chattered, saying that he would invite everyone to drink. In fact, Wendy is just a street singer. Every time he sings, he doesn't have many mora. And because of his appearance, the tavern thinks he is a miner, so they don't sell him wine. For this reason, Wendy specially practiced a unique skill, that is, he developed a unique skill of drinking while playing the piano with his mouth biting the wine glass. When doing the work of a bard, he would call on the audience to change from throwing money to feeding. If you like his music, go to the tavern to buy some good wine to treat him to a glass. If they go with Tony and the others, I believe the tavern will definitely sell them wine, and maybe they can even go to the Dawn Winery to get some. He has been coveting the wine in the Dawn Winery for a long time, but unfortunately Deluc never sells wine to him. He doesn't even let him eat there. What a stingy guy. What's the big deal? If you want to drink, I'll give you a few wine cellars later. There are red wine, white wine, beer, rice wine, and medicinal wine. Tony smiled and promised directly. As a rich man, there are all kinds of high-end wines. Then. Then. Let's say. It's. Settled. I'll. Go. And ask. For it later. Wendy's eyes lit up when she heard this, but her tongue was tied up after drinking. The few of them drank and chatted, but it was basically Tony and Wendy who chatted, and Ban just drank a little wine silently. Anyway, they were not in a hurry to go back, so they planned to go back after eating and drinking to experience the customs of the other world. However, Wendy's alcohol tolerance was really not good, and soon his tongue was tied. He was obviously an alcoholic, but his alcohol tolerance was not very good. I'll tell you. Later. I'll call Morix. That. Old man. And then. Let's. Have a drink together. I haven't seen him. For a long time, and I heard that he. Resigned. From the. God. Position. Wendy said, and soon fell down. Chapter, 28. Forget it, let's stay for one night before leaving. If you have something else to do, you can leave early. Tony was helpless and could only ask for Madara's opinion. In that case, I will go back first. After all, I have a lot of things to do there. Now the relationship between the villages is a little tense again. I have to go back to take charge of the overall situation. Madara nodded and explained to Tony. Tony nodded, and he could understand Madara, and then Madara teleported back directly. Not long after, everyone left. Ching Fong looked at Wu Liuqi with complicated eyes. He had planned to find Wu Liuqi to seize the magic sword Qianren, but he didn't expect that the other party would be so strong. Not only that, the other party also has such a powerful friend. Although he is not from this world, it also affects him. It seems that his future plans have to be changed. Fortunately, Wu Liuqi is not so cunning now, and even has some idiotic attributes, otherwise he will definitely retaliate against himself. Thinking of this, Qing Fong looked at Mei Hua Shirsan who was following him, thinking about something in his heart. The next morning, at the door of Wu Liuqi de Bao J Hair Salon. 
Oh, I had a good sleep, it's so comfortable. Wendy walked out of the salon and stretched comfortably. What are you talking about? With your alcohol tolerance, you still have the nerve to love drinking so much. You are really a bad person with a big addiction. Tony walked behind and looked at Wendy helplessly. Last night, Tony and G. DeBeo discussed until midnight. He was very interested in G. DeBeo's versatile gaiba egg. Wu Yochi had used it to turn into many things. For this invention, many of the designs made Tony's eyes light up. Oh, okay, don't worry about these details. How about I invite you to Mondstadt and we can have a good drink again? Wendy waved her hand and smiled. Forget about drinking, but I am quite interested in your world. Tony said with interest. Okay, then it's decided. Let's set off now. Wendy said hurriedly when she saw this. You're leaving now, aren't you staying one more day? Wu Yochi came over and said. Come over next time when you're free, Ah Chi, do you want to come over to our place to play? Wendy invited him. No, I still have to deal with some things here. Although Wu Yochi wanted to go over to play, he decided to wait until next time because he had to deal with the aftermath of Chicken Island. That's it, we're leaving, goodbye in the chat group. Wendy stopped inviting him and said goodbye to Wu Yochi together with Tony, and then the two of them teleported to the continent of Tevat. Not long after, two figures appeared in the whispering forest outside Mon City. Welcome to the continent of Tevat, this is the whispering forest outside Mon City, I teleported from here that day. Wendy looked at the familiar forest and felt very relaxed. Let's go, let's go to Mon City to take a look. I've only seen it in your destiny space, and I haven't been here yet. After all, it's the city you built. Tony nodded and said. Let's go, let's go. I've only been away for a day and I'm missing my cider. Wendy said as she led Tony directly towards Mondstadt. I don't know if it's because the group owner is awesome or the chat group is awesome. We traveled through the world at will, but were not discovered by the old woman Tianli. The traveler brothers and sisters were just passing by here, and were discovered and brought here by Tianli. Along the way, Wendy was telling Tony about the Tevat continent, mixed with complaints about Tianli. Tony knew what was going on here, so he had some understanding of it, and he also knew that this guy was a fearless person. Not only that, this idol wind god also had some bad tastes, such as once replacing the ice queen scepter with a hill climber's stick. By the way, can you still make a god's eye now? I want to study it when I have time. Tony suddenly asked. Well, although my heart of god was taken away by the lady executive of the Fatui, after joining the chat group, I learned how to use the power of faith. Now I can accumulate god's power without the heart of god. It's no problem to give you an eye of God to play with. Wendy said, taking off her eye of God and handing it to Tony. Don't think I don't know that this is a glass bead. Why do I need it? Tony said disdainfully. Oh, don't worry, I have upgraded it. Now it is a genuine eye of God. Wendy smiled awkwardly, knowing that Tony knew that he had cheated before, but this time he really didn't lie. After hearing this, Tony took over Wendy's eye of God. He didn't need to make any effort to feel the power of the wind element inside. After seeing Tony put it away, Wendy took out another eye of God from somewhere and hung it around his waist again. Seeing Tony looking at him, he said, this time, this is the real glass bead. Tony. The two walked and talked, and passed by some camps of hill people. They didn't want to meddle in other people's business and kill them. Tony is not from this world, so he has no interest in this. Wendy, as the god of wind, handed over the hill people outside the territory of Mondstadt to the Knights of Favonius to deal with. Since he handed Mondstadt over to humans to develop, he had to let them solve the problem themselves. This was not because he was lazy. After a long time, the two finally arrived outside Mondstadt. Tony looked at this city-state that symbolizes freedom and felt like he was back home. After all, he was an American who symbolized freedom and democracy. The two of them simply registered at the city gate and then walked into Mondstadt. Let's go, I'll take you to eat some Mondstadt specialties. Wendy looked at the residents coming and going and smiled at Tony. Do you have money? 
Tony looked up and down at the other party and didn't think he could afford to hire him. After all, the gods of Tevat were notoriously poor. A wind god who doesn't do his job is because he is poor. Although he sings everywhere, he can only make ends meet. A rock lord who walks around doesn't bring money. Although he makes money, he bargains for things, but someone pays the bill. I'm talking about you, Dada. Hey, I forgot about this. How about I go to sing, just in time to take you to experience what a bard is. Wendy felt that he had a good idea and couldn't help clapping his hands. Forget it, I have a way. Tony's forehead was throbbing with veins, and he almost couldn't help but beat up this unreliable wind god. Hey. What can you do? Didn't you pay back all your diamonds to Achi? And diamonds are not needed here. Wendy was puzzled when he heard it. Don't you know that the points in the group can be exchanged for currencies in various worlds? Tony couldn't help but ask back. Hey. There is also this. Let me see. He opened his chat group and found the interface for exchanging currencies. Okay, in this case, I have completed the task this time and I have several thousand points, which can be exchanged for some more. I will treat you. Wendy waved his hand and said directly like a rich man. It's up to you, I don't care. Tony knew that the other party had earned a lot of points, definitely more than himself. He only had a thousand points, and most of them were from Wendy and Ban. And if he exchanged Mora for Mora and couldn't spend it all, he wouldn't be able to use it when he went back, so he didn't be polite to him. Wendy looked at the exchange rate and found it was quite good. One point could be exchanged for 10,000 Mora, so she simply exchanged for 1 million Mora and made herself a millionaire. Let's go, I'll treat you to dinner. We won't drink in the morning. Let's eat some Mon specialties and pick the expensive ones. Wendy patted her chest and said. With money in the pocket, there is no panic in the heart. After being a poor guy for so long, I can finally be extravagant. As she said that, she took the lead and walked in front. Tony shook his head and followed. Chapter, 29 After having a good meal, the two came out of the Deer Hunter restaurant. Is there any place you want to go? I can take you there. I have nothing to do anyway. After finishing the meal, Wendy introduced to Tony. I plan to go to the library of the Knights of Favonius. Can you help me? Tony thought about it and decided to go to the library to expand his knowledge and learn more. After all, he is a scientist. For this reason, Tony also specially exchanged for a photographic memory ability in the chat group. He almost spent all his points. With this ability, he can better learn the knowledge of various worlds and develop new technologies for himself. This is simple. My name Wendy is still useful in the nights. When we recaptured Teverin, it was thanks to me and the Traveler, so I also have some dealings with the current knights. Wendy nodded and agreed directly. Under Wendy's leadership, the two came all the way to the headquarters of the Knights of Favonius. The two knights at the door did not stop them. Although Tony was a stranger, he knew Wendy, and no one would cause trouble in the nights. Hey, Lisa, good morning. Wendy saw Lisa in the library and greeted her with a smile. It's Wendy, why don't you go out to sing and come here? Lisa was sorting books. When she heard Wendy talking, she looked up at Wendy. I have a friend here, his name is Tony, who wants to come to the library to read books. I'm here to tell you, the librarian. Wendy said with a smile, and brought Tony over. Hello, beautiful lady. Tony walked over slowly and smiled at Lisa. Oh, he's a handsome guy. In that case, just do whatever you want, don't follow Wendy all day long and do nothing. Lisa smiled and pointed to the direction of the bookshelf. Thank you, Miss Lisa, I wonder if I can buy you a drink after get off work. Tony's playboy attributes came out again, and he couldn't help but invite her. Huh, although I really want to go, I'm really busy recently, so I'm sorry. Lisa smiled and declined. That's a pity. In that case, I won't bother you. Tony shook his head, said hello, and walked towards the bookshelf. This guy. Wendy watched Tony leave, and couldn't help but hold her forehead helplessly. That's it, Tony, I'll leave first. 
If you want to find me later, just send me a private message. Wendy walked quickly to Tony and said. No problem, go and have fun by yourself, I want to finish reading these books quickly. Tony quickly entered the state of work and study, and no longer paid attention to Wendy. Wendy. Okay, I'm leaving, Lisa, see you later, and say hello to the head of the Chin group for me. Wendy waved to Lisa and ran over directly. As a ray of free wind, this place is really not suitable for him. This guy. Looking at Wendy running away, and then looking at Tony studying, Lisa shook her head helplessly and continued to work. By the way, I haven't seen Tony since I left Wu Yuchi's live broadcast room yesterday. What has this guy been doing? After a while, Tony's old rival Conan came online in the chat group. Looking at Tony's dim avatar, he felt lonely like snow in life. Well you are talking about him. He has come to Tevat with me and is studying in Mond Library. Wendy took a bite of the apple and responded to Conan while strolling on the street. Hey. He actually went to your world. Conan was surprised when he heard it. Ah yes, why, Conan wants to come too. Wendy finished eating the apple in her hand and replied slowly. No, I have recently followed the advice of the group leader and am practicing the way of death. Now it has begun to show results. You see, I have reached the second level. Conan declined when he heard it. The way of death. What is this? Wendy was stunned and felt that it was quite powerful. Oh, the group leader said that I have the characteristic of killing people wherever I go, and thought that I am suitable for practicing the way of death, so he specially made a set of exercises for me. It really worked twice with half the effort when I practiced. This kind of exercises is to cultivate passive abilities. It will stimulate my death-following ability to the extreme, and then I can control it at any time. Conan replied happily, he felt like he had found the direction of his life. This. Wendy was speechless, it really suits him. Thinking of Conan's talent of death-following, even he, the wind god, couldn't help but shudder. Everyone, I got the super ancient technology from 30 million years ago from the chat group before, and now I have completed a replica of the magic stick. Does anyone want to try it? At this time, Daegu, who had not appeared for a long time, came online and broke a bombshell right away. It turned out that this guy had secretly learned the super ancient technology of their world without knowing it. That was an era when there were countless giants of light, and many of them were artificially created. If Daigu really understood everything, then he would directly sell Ultraman to all the worlds. No one expected that Tony had said he wanted to study this before, but Daigu quietly created the god light stick. However, Daigu is the human body of Tiga after all, so it is understandable that he is more familiar with light particles than Tony. I, 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 Uncle Daigu, please give me a magic stick, I want to kick the lord and tear the devil apart. Xiao Yu was secretly peeking at the screen, and suddenly jumped out when she saw this. Originally, everyone was a little interested, but Xiao Yu had already spoken, and everyone was not interested in competing with a little girl anyway, Daegu would make a new one in the future. Yes, but you have to pay attention, this magic stick can only be used once a day, after use it will automatically absorb the light particles wandering in the air to recover. Currently there is only one Tiga composite form, and it cannot switch forms Daegu didn't care, just explained to Xiao Yu. It's okay, thank you Uncle Daegu, and the other uncles in the group. There is nothing good in my world, only the Lord's talisman and those masks are a bit interesting, I can get a few of them back. Xiao Yu was grateful when she heard this, and she didn't forget the other people in the group. She also knew that everyone gave it to her because she was a child. Although she was a child, she didn't know anything. On the contrary, she was very smart. So she promised to make some spells or masks for everyone. After all, these are the devil's things. If they are kept, they may be stolen by Dao Long and his people to harm the world. It is much better to put them in other worlds. They can't make any waves. Not only that, there are many big guys in the group. Maybe they can analyze it and make it into mass-produced things like the magic stick. Everyone smiled when they heard it, but they didn't care too much. By the way, Daegu, how much power can your magic stick exert? Tony also came online at this time. As a scientist, 
He was also curious about the structure of the magic stick, but since Xiaoyu got it, he would not rob the child's things. He just asked Daegu with some doubts. I'm not sure about this, but it should be between the peak of the second level and the early stage of the third level. Except for the ability to change form and other forms, everything else will be there, but it can only last for three minutes. Daegu answered Tony's question and reminded Xiaoyu. Uncle Daegu, I understand. I'll go down first. Xiaoyu responded to the words, and then hurriedly went offline. What an impatient person. Daegu shook his head and laughed when he saw this. Chapter, 30 Daegu, let's go and have a discussion later. I feel like there's still a lot to learn. Tony contacted Daegu when he saw this. No problem, welcome to come. Anyway, I don't have anything else to do except planting flowers or conducting experiments. Daegu agreed. Seeing that there was nothing else to do, everyone went offline. In the library, Tony looked at the time and found that it was already afternoon, so he went out directly. Miss Lisa, see you later. Tony greeted Lisa and walked out of the Knights of Favonius. Da da da, Klee finally came out. Passing by the door of a room, he suddenly heard the voice of a little lowly from inside. The next second, a door opened, and a person wearing a red miniskirt, a red hood on her head, and a dark red leather backpack with a very eye-catching pendant on it walked out. Oh. This is Klee, right? That room is the legendary confinement room. This frequent visitor to the confinement room is called the Spark Knight. Tony stroked the slightly prickly stubble on his chin and smiled at Klee beside him. Hey, uncle, why has Klee never seen you before? Klee found Tony looking at her and couldn't help but walked up to ask. Oh, I'm Wendy's friend. I've been reading in the library today and just came out. You must be Klee. Wendy told me about you. Tony looked at Klee and smiled. You are Wendy's friend, uncle. Oh, Aunt Lisa is here too. I'll leave first. Suddenly hearing that Lisa was also here, Klee seemed to have thought of something and hurried away. In the nights, Klee, who is fearless, is only afraid of two people, one is the leader Jean, and the other is Lisa. Every time Klee makes a mistake, Jean sends her to the confinement room. But when she meets Aunt Lisa, she will be given a lot of delicious food by her, just to prevent Klee from making trouble. For this reason, she would forget her purpose every time she met Lisa. Although Aunt Lisa was very kind to her, she was also very distressed. Watching Klee's hurriedly leaving back, Tony shook his head, sent a message to Wendy, and walked directly outside the nights. Hey, why are you coming out now? I thought you didn't eat tonight. Wendy looked at Tony and said. Let's go. I haven't eaten for a day. Let's have a good drink tonight. Tony shook his head and said to Wendy. Drink? Okay, okay, let's go, let's go to the Dawn Tavern. I don't know if the look is here. If he is, we can drink the wine he personally mixed. Wendy's eyes lit up when she heard this, and she quickly pulled Tony towards the Dawn Tavern. The two came to the door of the Dawn Tavern. Wendy looked at Tony and said shyly, that. Tony, you go order the bar later. When I go there, they will only provide me with non-alcoholic drinks. Ha, huh, it's okay, leave it to me. Tony was stunned when he heard this, then he thought of this matter and smiled and agreed. The two came to the Dawn Tavern. Tony went up and ordered a glass of apple wine for Wendy and a glass of dandelion wine for himself. He also ordered some food and returned to his seat. Wendy had always heard that this was the best wine he had ever drunk, and he wanted to try it. As a wealthy man, he had drunk all kinds of wine in the world, but he had never drunk wine from another world. Soon, two glasses of wine were brought up. Tony took a sip and felt that it was completely different from other wines. This is dandelion wine. Although this wine tastes good, it always lacks a little taste of freedom. Wendy looked at the wine glass in Tony's hand. As an old alcoholic, she knew what kind of wine it was with a slight movement of her nose. The taste of freedom? What does that mean? Tony was stunned when he heard it, and asked Wendy. It's a feeling. Dandelions are plants that yearn for freedom. 
they will use the power of the wind to spread their seeds in all directions. So although I feel that this wine tastes the best, it is not my favorite. Wendy took a sip of cider and explained slowly. Tony. This is the romance of the bard, he doesn't understand. Hey, isn't this Kaya? You are here too. Wendy suddenly looked in a certain direction and waved to say hello. Wendy. How can you, a street singer, have money to drink, and I am curious why they can sell you alcoholic drinks? Kaya heard Wendy talking, and slowly walked over and teased. The person who came was a young man with a dark face, wearing a black eye patch on his right eye. Tony looked at Kaya's familiar black eye patch, thinking that if he shaved his head and changed into a black suit, he would definitely be another black boiled egg. Oh. There's a new person, is this your friend? Kaya and the waiter took a glass of wine, took a sip and looked at Tony and said. As the captain of the knights, he was very concerned about any outsiders. Suddenly seeing Tony's unfamiliar face, he wanted to inquire about his background. By the way, this is Tony, my friend, not a suspicious person, I met him during my travels. And this one, this is the famous Captain Kaya of the Knights of Favonius. Wendy looked at the two and introduced them, with a warning to Kaya in her words. After all, he was a friend she brought with her, and he couldn't be caught by the other party as an unknown person. I think you are very suspicious. Kaya looked at Wendy and complained, but still stretched out his hand to Tony and said, Hello, my name is Kaya. Hello, Tony Stark, just call me Tony. Tony smiled and also extended his hand to shake. After greeting the two, Kaya walked away directly. As the captain of the knights, he seemed to be very busy with official duties, but only those who knew him knew that this guy was lazy all day long. Every time he encountered work, as long as it was not very important, he would slack off as much as possible. This time, he finally made it to the end of the get-off work time and immediately came to the Dawn Tavern to drink. Your world is still good, unlike our place, which is either attacked by terrorists or invaded by aliens all day long. Tony looked at the people in the tavern toasting and drinking, and couldn't help but envy. What you see is just the appearance. It's not that simple. Although Mondstadt is called the Free City, it will encounter many things. For example, the Fatui under the Ice Emperor are causing trouble on the continent all day long. Now even Morix has made a deal with the Ice Emperor, cooperating with them to perform a play in giving away his heart of God. Wendy looked around and suddenly sighed. That's right. Now is a time of trouble. Tony nodded. Hey. That's the look. Let's go and ask him to mix us a drink. It's been a long time since I drank the wine he mixed himself. Wendy's eyes suddenly lit up and she found Grandpa Deluc who appeared in the Dawn Tavern. Deluc, that guy, doesn't often appear in his own tavern. As the owner of the largest winery in Mondstadt, and the richest young master in Mondstadt, he is also the top bartender in Mondstadt, and he is also secretly working as a Dark Knight hero. Deluc is a really busy man. It is not easy to drink the wine he personally mixes. Not only do you need to be rich, but you also need to have some friendship with him. The most important thing is that you don't know when you will be able to meet him. Obviously, Wendy is not going to let the look go easily this time. Wendy often goes to the Dawn Winery to eat and drink for free. This has almost become an instinct. Every time he is too poor to eat, he will go to the Dawn Winery to eat and drink for free. Even Deluc is troubled by this. Chapter, 31 Deluc, you are here for me. Hurry up and make us two glasses of wine you mixed yourself. Wendy brought Tony to Deluc and said. Wendy. Why are you here? Deluc frowned at Wendy in front of him, feeling helpless. Why did he run into this drunkard again? Hurry up, hurry up, I brought my friends here this time. Even if you don't do it for my sake, you should do it for my friend's sake, right? Wendy laughed. Hello, my name is Tony Stark. Tony looked at Deluc and greeted him. I'm the boss here, Deluc. Deluc nodded. Because he came here with Wendy, he didn't want to see them, but he responded out of politeness. Hey, our grandpa Deluc, how come you have time to come here? At this time, Kia came over and teased Deluc. My own tavern, 
why can't I come? Diluc looked at Kia expressionlessly. He felt helpless about this brother who was adopted by his father and was nominally his brother, because he often went against him. Since everyone is here, give us a glass of the wine you mixed yourself. Kia seemed to be unable to see the other party's expression, but spoke to himself. Diluc did not answer him, but just picked up the cocktail shaker beside him and started mixing the cocktails by himself. Look, he really loves this brother very much. I don't have as much face as him. Wendy saw this and secretly said to Tony. If you say that again, you won't have a share. Diluc turned his head and looked at Wendy, saying threatening words in his calm voice. Ah, ha. Ha, let's drink, drink. Wendy smiled awkwardly and drank the last sip of cider in her hand. After a long time, everyone finally waited for the wine that Diluc mixed himself. Wendy saw this and quickly took it and drank it directly. Ha, huh, I have to say that the wine mixed by our grandpa Diluc is still delicious. Make me another glass. Next time I meet old man Zhongli, I will give him the best wine in our Mondstadt. Wendy hadn't finished drinking yet, and wanted to ask for another glass, and even asked for it in the name of the Rock King. Unfortunately, Diluc didn't know that Zhongli was the Rock King. Remember to pay the bill later. If you don't have money, don't think about coming to drink next time. Diluc ignored him and directly reminded him not to forget to pay the bill later. You underestimated me, right? I tell you, I brought enough money this time. Wendy was like a cat whose tail was stepped on. Hearing this, he jumped anxiously. The few people drank and chatted slowly, and time soon came to late at night. That's it for today. Let's drink again next time when we are free. See you next time. Tony supported Wendy, who was about to pass out, and said hello to Deluc and others and left. The two of them found a hotel and planned to stay here tonight. The next morning, Tony and Wendy walked on the streets of Mon City together. Tony didn't plan to go to the library today. He read everything he could read yesterday. Because there were many travel notes or stories, he didn't read any of these books, but just picked some that were useful to him, so one day was almost enough. Nothing to do today, just relax and go back to his own world. Now his world has just experienced the plot of Avengers 1. Because of his joining, many things have changed. He did not choose to destroy Loki's plan, because he knew that the Avengers needed this first battle to unite. But he also made sufficient preparations and closed the portal created by Loki in advance to minimize the losses. Because he had just experienced this war, there was not much happening at the moment, and he could relax well. Where do you want to go today? Wendy looked at Tony and said. Just stroll around the city. Of course, it would be better if a beautiful woman accompanied me. Tony looked at Wendy and smiled. Hey, I am the wind god respected by all the people and I am accompanying you personally, but you are still not satisfied. Wendy was so angry that she jumped up and down. Huh, let's go, let's go outside Mon City and go to Starfall Lake. Tony didn't care about Wendy, and went outside Mon City, put on the Iron Man suit directly, and flew toward Starfall Lake. Hey, wait for me. Wendy saw this and spread his wings and flew over. Boom. The two came to Starfall Lake, and just as they landed on the ground, they heard a huge explosion. What happened? Tony heard the voice and asked in confusion. I don't know, let's go and take a look. Wendy felt that the voice seemed familiar, so she suggested going over to take a look. The two came directly to the lake and saw a dead fish floating on the water with its belly turned upside down, and there was still some smoke from the explosion of gunpowder in the air. Sure enough, that little guy is out again. Wendy saw this, and several black lines appeared on his head. This is. Kelly, right? I saw her coming out of the confinement room yesterday. Tony also understood what happened. Wait, it won't be long before Captain Jean brings people to catch her back. Wendy looked at Kelly not far away and said. Hey, brother Wendy, why are you here too? At this time, Kelly also noticed Wendy and Tony present, and greeted Wendy happily. Stepping on her short legs, Clee ran to the two of them. Hey. And the uncle I met yesterday, Clee remembers you, you are brother Wendy's friend. 
Klee looked up at Tony, obviously still remembering the uncle. Hello, Klee, my name is Tony. Tony looked at Klee, as if he saw his future daughter with Pepper in the fate space, both of them were so cute. Uncle Tony, Brother Wendy, do you want to see Klee's latest bomb? It's very powerful. As he said, he raised the bouncing bomb in his hand to show the two of them. No. No, you still play by yourself, but be careful that Captain Cheen will catch you back later. Wendy looked at the bomb in Klee's hand and couldn't help but take a step back and said. Klee, take a look at this one of yours. Tony looked at the bomb in Klee's hand and raised his right hand to aim at the Starfall Lake. Swish. As a laser passed by, the entire lake was split open for a moment, and at the same time, the various shell-launched ports on his body opened, and fireworks were set off towards the sky. Because he liked this cute little girl very much, he was also willing to play with her for a while, just in time for nothing. Oh wow, Uncle Tony, do you like bombs too? That's amazing, Klee can't throw so many bombs at once, and I have to throw them out by myself. Seeing this, Klee's two big eyes were full of stars, as if she had met someone who liked bombs in addition to her mother. Do you want me to teach you? I have many different bombs, and I can teach you everything I know. Tony smiled and said. Really? Really? Uncle, can you really teach Klee everything? Klee jumped up excitedly when she heard this, and couldn't help but confirm again. No problem, we can go back and teach you slowly. Tony nodded and smiled. Yeah, that's great. That. Tony, are you sure you want to teach her everything? Aren't you afraid that Captain Jean will hunt you down then? Wendy asked tremblingly, as if she had seen the future of Klee firing at full power. What's the big deal? I'm not from here anyway. I'll find you when the time comes. You brought me in anyway. Tony smiled when he heard this. Oh my god, you're too cunning. Wendy finally understood what this guy meant. Don't worry, the equipment here is limited, and many sophisticated bombs can't be made. Moreover, they all need to use the power of the fire element, so there are not many bombs that can be made. Seeing Wendy's listless look, Tony explained to him. Then I'm relieved. Wendy was relieved when he heard this. Chapter, 32 Several people quickly left Xinglua Lake and arrived in Mondstadt City not long after. Let's go, Kelly will take you to my laboratory. Kelly said, looking at the two of them. The two followed Kelly all the way to the Knights, and when they found Kelly, they ran directly to the solitary room. So this is where she made bombs. That's right. She is a frequent visitor here. Wendy said leisurely as she looked at the solitary room in front of her. Kelly, have you been arrested by Captain Chin again? It's only been less than half a day, right? The guard at the door saw Kelly and thought she was caught by Captain Chin, so Captain Chin asked her to come here by herself. Well, the tone was full of surprise. Humph, Kelly was not caught this time. Kelly went in by herself. I want to go in and create a greater bomb. Hearing this, Kelly put his hands on his hips and said coaxingly, as if this was worth it. Something to be proud of. Ah. Uh. The guard had nothing to say, but did not stop her. After all, it was more reassuring to stay in the confinement room than to let her out. Uncle Tony, come in with Kelly quickly. Kelly is going to give Captain Chin a big surprise this time. Opening the door of the solitary room, Kelly waved to Tony. When Tony saw this, he walked over, explained to the guarding knights, and went in directly. This time. There won't be a bigger problem. I feel a little bad. I'd better go and inform Captain Chin. The guard became more and more frightened as he thought about it, and he hurried to find Chin. Are you? Abandoning me? Forget it, I'd better go play with myself. Wendy looked at the two people who ran to make bombs. This was also a professional counterpart, but she didn't know if Chin would go crazy in the future. Tony followed Kelly into the solitary room, which almost became her exclusive studio. Although Kelly disliked the solitary room, it was undeniable that every time she had a new idea, it appeared in the solitary room. Tony has also studied the elemental power of the Tevat continent before, and has read many books in the library. 
The theoretical knowledge is still sufficient, and the rest depends on practice. And this time making bombs with Kelly was an experiment. He has a lot of advanced knowledge and technology, and Kelly also has her own technology, and is proficient in using fire elements and other materials to make bombs. Her bouncing bombs had completely changed the entire landscape of Star Reaching Cliff. Okay, let's get started, Jarvis, pay attention to recording the experimental data. Tony said, while ordering the artificial intelligence Jarvis to record the process of the experiment. Okay, sir, experimental recording is in progress. Uncle Tony, what is this noise? Is anyone else here? Kelly wondered when she heard the voices of Tony and Jarvis. This is my good friend. His name is Jarvis. He can help me complete many important experiments and he lives here. He said, pointing to his Iron Man suit. It's amazing. Kelly also has a good friend. His name is Duduk. His mother made it for Kelly before she left. It's a pity that it can't speak. Kelly said with envy after hearing this, and hung the doll on her backpack. He took it out and showed it to Tony. This is simple. Later, Uncle Tony can help you transform Dudaku so that it can talk to you and help you make bombs together. Tony said with a smile. This was left to her by Kelly's mother. It was the most important treasure to her and one of her best friends. Every time she made a bomb by herself in the solitary confinement room, Dudaku was always there to accompany Kelly. Really? Uncle Tony, can you let Duduk talk? Kelly said in surprise when she heard this. No problem, but when the time comes, Kelly will need to leave Duduk to her uncle for a day. I will transform it and give it to you. Tony said with a smile. Then. That's it. When the time comes, Kelly will temporarily hand over the Duduk to her uncle, but uncle must not damage the Duduk, otherwise Kelly will be angry even if it is her uncle. Lee was quite reluctant to hear this, but in order to make Duduk talk, she still reluctantly handed it to Tony, but she did not forget to make a small threat. Don't worry, I will ask Wendy to send it to you when the time comes. Tony smiled. In fact, if there were not enough equipment here, he could directly create a Duduk artificial intelligence here, but currently there is no equipment available, so he can only wait until he returns to his own world. However, Duduk's artificial intelligence does not need to be as complicated as Jarvis. After all, there is no network in this world, as long as it can help Kelly conduct experimental manufacturing. The two people, one large and one small, stayed in the confinement room until the afternoon. In order to better understand the bombs in this world, Tony almost didn't stop at all and worked all day long. In one day, the two of them created many new bombs, and many of them were inspired by Kelly. Tony also learned more about how to use fire elements and other minerals to create bombs. Thanks to this, he also drew inferences and thought of how to use the power of other elements to make bombs, such as deep sea bombs, freezing bombs, crystal bombs, thunderstorm bombs, etc. However, he currently does not have the power of these elements, he just has an idea. Okay Kelly, it's getting late and I have to leave see you later when you have time. Tony looked at the sun that was about to set and said to Kelly. Okay Uncle Tony, we have made a lot of new bombs this time. Captain Cheen will definitely be very surprised. Kelly put down the bomb in her hand after hearing this and looked at Tony and said excitedly. I don't think she will be surprised, maybe she will be frightened. Tony smiled bitterly, hoping that Captain Cheen would not kill me, no, he would not hunt down Wendy. By the way, Uncle Tony, I will give Duduko to you first, don't forget it. Kelly said, reluctantly handing Duduko to Tony. After a day of cooperation, Kelly also recognized Tony in her heart. Before, she did it for Wendy's sake, but now she really recognized Tony. In Kelly's heart, those who like bombs as much as she does and can make bombs together are all good friends of Kelly. Don't worry, you will see a brand new Duduko soon, I will let Wendy bring it to you. Tony took Duduko and promised. Uncle Tony, won't you come to play with Kelly next time? Kelly asked in confusion. Yes, there are still many things for uncle to do. When uncle is done, he will come to Kelly. Tony looked at Kelly and said slowly. Is that so? Then Clee will wait for her uncle. Clee had no choice but to do so, 
but she promised to wait for Tony to come and play. Then the two of them simply cleaned up the confinement room and pushed the door open. Ha! Huh. Why are there so many people? After pushing open the door of the confinement room, Tony was stunned by the people outside the door. He didn't expect that there would be so many people waiting. Wendy, Cheen, Lisa, Kaya, Amber and others all came. Clee, did you do something again? I already know about the Starfall Lake. Captain Cheen spoke first. Captain Cheen, Clee has prepared a big surprise for you this time. This time, Clee's new bomb is definitely the best. Clee said excitedly, not noticing the bulging blue veins on Cheen's forehead. This sir, you are the friend brought by Wendy. Cheen looked at Tony and said without rushing to teach Clee a lesson. Yes, Captain Jean, my name is Tony Stark. I came to Mondstadt for fun this time. I am planning to leave now. Tony looked at Jean and smiled. Sir, do you know how much trouble you have brought us? Now Clee's problem is even bigger. Jean said helplessly. It's okay, I believe that Captain Jean will handle it. Clee is just too lonely. Maybe this is the only way to make everyone pay attention to her. Tony explained slowly. That's right. Jean looked at Klee with complicated eyes. This is a poor child. Although everyone in the Knights loves her very much, everyone has their own work, and few people can play with her often, so she wants to attract everyone's attention in this way. Thinking of this, Jean did not punish Klee for the first time in her life, but slowly walked to Klee and touched her head. Chapter, 33 Let's go. I need you to pass something to Klee later. Tony and Wendy walked on the street after coming out of the nights. No problem. You are welcome to come and play again in the future. Wendy smiled and said. Tony waved his hand and teleported directly to the Marvel world. Welcome home, sir. Tony returned to his home on the top floor of Stark Tower, and Jarvis' voice rang out. At this time, the stars were shining outside, and it was just when night fell. Tony had a busy day today, and he could finally have a good rest this time. After a phone call with Pepper, and after dinner, he asked Jarvis to prepare the things needed to transform Toot tomorrow, and Tony went to rest directly. The next morning, Tony started working directly after washing and having breakfast. He came to his studio and thought about what he wanted to make for Toot. First of all, he had to have the same artificial intelligence as Jarvis, and he had to be familiar with the manufacture of various explosives, and he had to input all the knowledge on the continent of Tevat. Not only that, this time he also planned to input the knowledge of elemental power he had learned, so that Klee would have more room for operation in the future. After deciding on all the preparations, Tony began to work. Without destroying the appearance of the Dudu, he had to put so many things in, and he also had to consider the issue of energy supply. All of these required the use of nanotechnology and elemental power, and he would use elemental power as energy supply. A day later, Tony finally completed all the transformations. It was originally just a simple doll pendant, but it was filled with countless nanoparticles, which could almost be transformed into various tools that could be used, allowing Klee's bomb business to reach a higher level. After finally getting everything done, Tony put down the tools in his hand and breathed a sigh of relief. Finally, the long-lost chat group was opened again, and everyone was chatting fiercely on it. Yo, our Tony is finally online. Conan saw Tony's avatar light up and said quickly. I have been busy recently, and I finally have time to go online. Tony looked at the familiar people and relaxed for the first time in his heart. Wendy, come out for a moment and give this thing to Klee. Then he tagged Wendy and called him out. Hey. Tony, you're online. You haven't been online since you left yesterday. I thought you died suddenly. Wendy was called out directly. Stop talking nonsense. I'll give you the thing. Go and give it to Klee. Tony sent a red envelope to Wendy, specifying that only Wendy could receive it. Ding, Wendy received your red envelope. Okay. I'll go now. Wendy went offline after receiving the red envelope. What did you make for him? Why do you want him to pass it on? Conan asked in confusion. I just made a toy for Klee and asked him to give it to her. Tony replied. 
I didn't expect you to do such a thankless thing. Have you been possessed by someone? Conan was surprised. Get lost, I just saw her and thought of my future daughter, so I wanted to feel the feeling of raising a daughter in advance. Conan. On the other side, Wendy, after receiving the deduco sent by Tony, went directly to the knights. After asking where Klee was, she found Klee directly and handed the things to her. Hey. Brother Wendy, are you here to give deduco to Klee? Klee saw Wendy coming and said happily. She was a little listless all day today, not only because Deduko was not around, but also because she missed the time when she made bombs with Tony yesterday, which made her not in the mood to fry fish today. Thanks to this, Chin saw that Klee was so honest today, and felt that it was quite effective for her not to punish her yesterday. After all, it is better to guide children in this way. It's a pity that she might not think so tomorrow, and she will probably hunt Wendy all over Mondstadt at that time. Deduko is still the same as before, it seems that there is no change. Klee looked at the Deduko in her hand, feeling that there was no change, and was a little confused. I don't know much about this. Tony didn't tell me how to activate it when he gave it to me. How about I ask him for you? Wendy was also a little confused when she heard this. Before Wendy went to the chat group to find Tony, she saw the red light in Klee's hand blooming, and a strong fire elemental power appeared. The next second, Deduko's eyes suddenly emitted a burst of light, and a virtual projection appeared. Hello, little Klee, Uncle Tony will introduce you to the new function of Deduko. Tony's projection image appeared in the air and began to talk to himself. Hey. Tony is quite good at playing. I didn't expect you to use the power of elements to activate it, and he personally showed up to explain it. Wendy was surprised to see this. She didn't expect Tony to be so attentive. Deduko, let's start making bombs. Klee was familiar with the specific process and gave orders in the same way. Okay, Sister Klee. A soft little girl's voice came, and Klee's eyes lit up. That's great, Klee is finally a sister. Klee was very excited, and then she put Deduko directly on her workbench. Seeing Klee start to get busy, Wendy left directly, thinking that she probably couldn't stay in Mondstadt for the next two days. Let's go, I'll come back to Mondstadt in a few days. I might as well go to Liyue to play with the Emperor. Wendy thought about it and decided that she couldn't stay in Mondstadt for the time being, so she fled to Liyue Harbor overnight. He he he, Deduko, this time we are going to give Captain Chin a big surprise. She will definitely like my latest bomb. This time it should be very powerful. Looking at the newly upgraded bouncing bomb in her hand, a dangerous smile appeared on Klee's small face. Sister Klee, are you sure Captain Chin won't be angry? Deduko analyzed Klee's past record very calmly and expressed his doubts to Klee. As an artificial intelligence, it doesn't know Klee's brain circuit very well, but its owner is Klee, and it will execute whatever Klee asks it to do without hesitation. Oh. Really? But frying fish is so fun, it's okay, when Captain Chin sees such a powerful bomb, she will be very happy. Klee said indifferently. I hope so. Dudu was speechless. It was just an ordinary artificial intelligence, and the decision-making power was not in its hands. The next morning, Kelly put all her things into her backpack. In order to communicate better with Dudu, she did not put Dudu on the backpack, but made a lanyard for Dudu and wore it directly on her chest. Let's go, Dudu, this time we have to do a good job. After carrying her backpack and tidying up her skirt, Kelly waved her hand and set off directly. Passing by the door of Chin's office, she was discovered by Chin. Kelly, where are you going? Chin was handling the incident, and suddenly looked up and saw Kelly passing by, and subconsciously called Kelly. Captain Chin, I want to take Dudu out to play. Kelly was shocked when she saw this, and she didn't dare to tell Chin directly, but pushed Dudu out. Don't come on, your Dudu has been with you all the time, and you still want to use this excuse to deceive me. Chin was angry and amused when she heard this. Really, really, if you don't believe me, look, this is the Dodoko that Uncle Tony upgraded for me. He raised his two little hands and picked up the Dodoko to show Chin. Chapter, 34 Captain Chin, 
I am the artificial intelligence Dudaku, created by Mr. Tony specifically for Sister Klee, and can help her complete various tasks. Dudaku's eyes lit up and said to Chin. Artificial intelligence. What is this? But thank you Mr. Tony, he is also thoughtful. Now I finally have a friend who can always accompany Klee to talk. Chin was very happy to see this, and Klee was finally not so lonely. Okay, this time, for the sake of Dudaku and Mr. Tony, I will let you go out and play for a while, but don't cause trouble for me, understand? Chin did not stop her, but still warned Klee. I know, Captain Chin, I'm going to play now. As soon as Chin finished speaking, Klee ran directly to the door of the knights, and her voice came from a distance. I don't know why, I always feel a little uneasy, it should be okay. Chin shook her head, stopped thinking about it, and turned back to the office. It's still the Starfall Lake, still that familiar place. Hey, Duduko, let's get started. Klee took out a lot of bombs, or shells, from her backpack. The next second, the nanoparticles on Duduko's body surged and turned directly into a small red Iron Man suit, covering Klee's body. Nanoparticles are a very light material, even if they cover Klee's body, you can hardly feel any weight. Because there was no shell loaded before, Klee needs to load it herself now. Not only that, you can also release powerful magic directly through Klee's Eye of God, and release it in the form of Klee bombs. In the past, Klee could only throw it by hand, but this time she can directly launch it, and the power is almost doubled. This suit also has the ability to fly. Oh, this is Duduko's suit mode, Klee likes it so much, Duduko, are you there? Klee looked at her own suit in surprise and touched it all over her body. Because Klee didn't know how to make the Iron Man suit, Tony added an automatic repair function when making this suit. If you are injured in battle, you can directly absorb external materials for automatic repair. With the artificial intelligence control of Dudu, you can repair it exactly. Sister Kelly, Dudu is at your service. Dudu can detect the surrounding situation at any time during the battle and analyze the battlefield situation for you at any time. Dudu's voice sounded in Kelly's ears. Okay, Dudu, let's start experimenting with new bombs. Kelly said excitedly. She stretched her arm forward, and the nanoparticles surged, forming a cannon barrel in an instant. The next second, the energy of the fire element surged, and a cannonball flew out and hit the Starfall Lake in an instant. The bomb that Kelly made this time, because of the technology of Tony's transformation, can be made into the size of a finger, and the power is even greater than the original. With the control of Dudu, you can directly complete various delicate tasks, and it can be turned into various tools. Time returned to Kelly again, and a small cannonball flew out and instantly fell into the Starfall Lake. The next second, a huge wave appeared, and the water of the entire Starfall Lake was almost lifted up. Then, countless fish were blown away, and fish rained down from the sky instantly. Ah, this power is great, Klee likes this new bomb too much. Dudu Ku, let's test our new bouncing bomb. Boom. In just one morning, the water level of the entire Starfall Lake dropped by almost one meter, and at the same time, the Starfall Lake expanded by almost double. This time, it was just like the original Zhaixing Cliff incident. Klee changed the terrain of Zhaixing Cliff directly, and the broken corner of Zhaixing Cliff can still be seen now. And this time, the Starfall Lake expanded by almost double, and almost all the fish in the lake died. According to the residents of Mondstadt, they heard countless rumbling sounds that day, and even the earth could feel a slight tremor. At this time, a certain wind god who was heading to Liyue Harbor, felt the ground trembling slightly under his feet, and heard a faint sound from afar, and couldn't help but speed up his pace. No, I was only planning to stay in Liyue for a week, but this time it seems that I will stay for a month. Wendy wiped the non-existent cold sweat on his forehead, and his feet moved faster. Huh, Klee's new bomb was successfully tested. Now Klee can better help the brothers and sisters of the knights to deal with those annoying hillbillies in the future. Now Captain Jean will never lock Klee in the small dark room again. Klee flew in the air with her hands on her hips, looked at her masterpiece and nodded slightly, very satisfied with the power of this bomb. That. Sister Klee, I don't think Captain Jean will be angry this time. 
Duduku's voice reminded at the right time. Why, Duduku, look at how powerful the bomb we made is. Captain Jean will definitely be very happy when he knows it. Klee was puzzled when she heard it. Because. Captain Jean is less than a thousand meters away from you, rushing here. And according to the micro-expression analysis stored in my database, the probability of Captain Jean getting angry is 100%, and the probability of you being locked up in a small dark room is 100%. Deduko's analysis came, and Klee's excitement was directly extinguished. Klee just. Just. Klee slowly landed, and looked at Jean, who was leading a group of knights, rushing over quickly, and she was about to cry. Kelly. Jean looked at Kelly not far away, and the anger in her heart almost burst out. It's only been a morning since we last met, and she has caused such a big mess, and it seems to be more terrifying than before. Captain Cheen. Kelly took off her Iron Man suit, and she almost cried when she saw Cheen's expression. Kelly. You. Did all this? Cheen looked at the lake around her, and she could hardly believe her eyes, and even her voice was trembling slightly. Amber, Noel, and others behind her also widened their eyes, thinking that they were worthy of being the Spark Knights of Mondstadt, which was really terrifying. Kelly, what did you do? Where is the Starfall Lake here? Amber looked at the almost vaporized Starfall Lake, and was shocked beyond words. Sister Amber, Kelly just wanted to give Captain Chin a surprise, but Duduku said that Captain Chin was very angry and wanted to lock Kelly in a small dark room. What should we do now? Kelly came to Amber and looked at Amber and said carefully. What did Dudu say? Amber was puzzled and looked at the Dudu on Klee's chest. Hello, respected Scout Knight Amber sister, I am the artificial intelligence Dudu. At this time, Dudu's eyes lit up and said to Amber. Hey. Dudu can talk. Amber and Noel's eyes were attracted by Dudu, and they couldn't help but look over. Dudu. Chin's voice came, and then she directly picked up Klee. Let's talk about Dudu later, Klee, go to the confinement room first. After saying that, she took Klee back without saying anything. Amber and Noel behind them shrugged at each other and had no choice but to follow Chin back. By the way, Amber, I want Wendy to be wanted throughout the city. Bring him to me after you find him. After walking a few steps, Chin suddenly thought of something and gritted her teeth at Amber. Okay. Okay. Captain Chin. Amber shrank his neck when he heard it, and quickly agreed. He could only pray to Wendy silently in his heart. Achu, Achu. At this time, in a forest not far from Liyue Harbor, a wind god sneezed several times in a row. What's going on? Am I catching a cold? Wendy no longer cared about other things and continued to travel. Chapter, 35 Hey! This is Liyue Harbor. I haven't been here for more than a thousand years. I didn't expect it to change so much. Not long after, Wendy finally arrived at Liyue Harbor. Looking at the prosperous scene here, he was amazed. I don't know where the old man is. Let's find a place to drink first. Wendy looked around and didn't know where to find Zhongli, so he had to play here first. By the way, the traveler should still be in Liyue now. I wonder if there is a chance to meet him. Wendy walked on the bustling streets of Liyue, watching all kinds of people coming and going. Liyue is a city with extremely developed commerce, because the Rock King Emperor is the patron saint of Liyue, and he is also called the God of Contract, the God of Commerce, etc. In addition, the Mora currency named after his god name Morix circulates throughout the continent, so Liyue Harbor can be said to be the most developed city in the entire continent. Well, why not go to Wanmin Hall? I've always heard that there are two major cuisines in Liyue Harbor, the moon and glass cuisines of Xinyuexuan and Luliding. But if Xiangling is in Wanmin Hall, then we can go directly to Wanmin Hall. Thinking of Zhongli's evaluation of Liyue cuisine in the destiny space, Wendy felt that it could be used as a reference for himself. He asked a passerby how to get to Wanmin Hall and went directly to Wanmin Hall to have a look. After a long time, Wendy finally arrived at Wanmin Hall, but did not find Xiangling here, but since he was here, he would eat here directly. Not long after, Wendy, who was full of alcohol, 
walked out of Wanmin Hall with a burp. It should be said that the dishes in Wanmin Hall are quite delicious, and the most important thing is that the price is affordable. Sure enough, that old man is picky about taste. Wendy looked at the busy streets, but didn't know what to do after dinner. I have to hide here for at least a month, I can't always wander around alone. Why don't we go find Morix? I heard that he is now a guest of the Hall of Rebirth. Forget it, I'm too lazy to find him. That guy is too boring. Wendy originally planned to find Zhongli, but after thinking about it, he decided not to. Although he hadn't seen him for more than a thousand years, there was no need to rush. I don't know how the wine in Liyue Port is. I have to taste it this time. Thinking of the wine in Liyue Port, Wendy couldn't help but want to try it again. Although Wanmin Hall also has some wine, it is not all the wine in Liyue Port, and they are all low-end wines. Today, the god of wind is rich and is no longer the bard who sells singing for a day to drink. The last book said, at that time, Liyue was invaded by a big demon in the sea and evil Qi was entrenched in the mountains. The Emperor of Rock King summoned all the immortals to return the world to a bright and clear world. Legend has it that when the Emperor went to war, he once said. When passing by a storyteller, I suddenly saw an acquaintance who was still talking just now. How come I ran into him now? Is the old man so idle? Fortunately, he doesn't have the heart of God anymore, otherwise I would have been beaten up if I had just walked over. Wendy muttered, but still walked over. Old man, why are you so idle now? You still have time to drink tea and listen to books here. Looking at the young man in front of him who was sitting upright, with calm eyes, drinking tea slowly, Wendy walked over to him and sat down and smiled. Ha! Huh. Barbados, how come you, a drunkard, came to Liu at port? Zhongli was also very surprised to see Wendy. Although the two hadn't seen each other for more than a thousand years, he still recognized him at a glance. Ah! Uh. Well, it's not that I haven't seen you for a long time, so I thought of coming to you to catch up. Wendy said hesitantly after hearing this. In fact, if he wasn't afraid of being wanted by Qin, he probably wouldn't have thought of coming here, unless he wanted to travel around the continent one day and pass by here. I don't think so. Although I have stepped down from the throne, do you think you can deceive me? Zhongli took a sip of tea slowly and said unhurriedly. No, I just thought I haven't seen you for a long time, so I came to treat you to a drink. As he said that, he took out a bottle of wine and poured it directly into the cup where Zhongli had finished drinking tea. He would never tell the knights that he was wanted by the knights. As the god of wind, he was wanted by people who believed in him. How embarrassing it would be to say it out. Whatever you want. Zhongli did not take the glass of wine, but just said it indifferently. Speaking of which, the last time we had a party was more than a thousand years ago. At that time, the seven of us often drank together in your Liyue. In a blink of an eye, there were only two of us left. Wendy listened to the storyteller talking about the deeds of the Rock King, and his thoughts drifted directly to more than a thousand years ago. Since you first came to my place to deliver wine, the other gods would come together from time to time and regard my Liyue harbor as a gathering place. Zhongli thought about the past and couldn't help but take a sip of wine. Yeah, think about the old friends back then, now you are the only one left. Wendy rarely stopped laughing, and her tone was quite heavy. The two chatted intermittently, and before they knew it, it was already afternoon. Let's go, find a place, let's have another drink together. Zhongli stood up and walked out while talking. Hey, old man, is the traveler here too? Call him over too. Wendy thought about the traveler who had adventured with her at the beginning, and couldn't help asking. He, he's here. Zhongli was about to speak when he suddenly saw a young man walking towards him, with an emergency food beside him. Traveler, traveler, come quickly, isn't that old man Zhongli? Hey. It seems that the person next to him is Wendy, how come this guy who doesn't do his job came to Liyue? Paimon was strolling with Kong, and suddenly saw the two people in front of him, and hurriedly said to Kong. Yo, traveler, little Paimon, long time no see. Wendy saw the two people and greeted them with a smile. Singer, why did you come to Liyue Port? Did the people of Mondstadt finally can't stand your singing and drive you out? 
Paimon looked at Wendy coming, flew in the air with his hands on his hips, and said arrogantly. Little Paimon, I am the best bard in the whole continent. They like my songs so much, why would they drive me away? I just came to see an old friend. Wendy retorted after hearing this. We are just planning to have a gathering. Do you want to come? Zhongli ignored the two people who were bickering and invited Kong. Okay, Pai Meng and I have nothing to do anyway, so let's go and have some fun together. Kong was stunned when he heard this. He obviously didn't expect these two idle people to be so leisurely and elegant, so he agreed directly. Let's go, let's go. I'll treat you today. I tell you, I'm different now. I promise to make you look at me with new eyes. Wendy said directly, patting her chest to prove that she is not a poor god. Hey. The street singer actually has money to treat us. This is the first time I've seen it. Then I won't be polite to you. Pei Ming's eyes lit up when he heard this, as if he met Wendy for the first time. Several people started a discussion about whether to go to Xinyuexuan or Liuli Pavilion, and finally decided to go to the nearest Xinyuexuan. The group went straight to the nearest Xinyuexuan and ordered a table of dishes directly. Pai Meng was even more impolite and directly chose the expensive ones. Chapter 36 After everyone finished eating, it was already evening, and then they said hello and went their separate ways. The chat group was still as lively as ever. Although there were not many people, it felt like there were hundreds of people. Everyone, something bad has happened. The Holy Lord has been resurrected ahead of time, and it has become stronger than before. Xiaoyu's voice suddenly appeared in the chat group. What's wrong, Xiaoyu, take your time. Long time water group Dragon King Conan came online and asked hurriedly. It's like this. When I joined the chat group before, the Holy Lord had already obtained many talismans. After I knew the original plot, I originally took advantage of the fact that I knew the plot in advance, and got the remaining talismans in advance with Uncle Long. As a result, I don't know what happened to the Holy Lord, and he suddenly got all the remaining talismans, and also had the abilities of all the masks that shouldn't have appeared now. Xiaoyu hurriedly explained everything, but everyone was shocked. Don't worry, the primary purpose now is to first know the reason for all this, and then we can formulate an action plan. De Gu also appeared at this time, comforting Xiaoyu. That's right. Did you find anything wrong before? Conan reminded. It seems that there is nothing wrong. Oh, by the way, if I have to say it, the action of getting the talisman later was too simple. Even though I knew everything in advance, it shouldn't be like this. Xiaoyu thought about it and expressed her doubts. According to the character of the Lord, unless we bring the talisman into District 13, it will temporarily give up taking the talisman. But in the next few times, the Lord's men retreated directly when they met us, and I took Uncle Long to the Lord's location before, but it was not there. We'd better consult the group leader for this matter. Conan thought about it and decided to look for Shurchen directly. I already know that the matter is actually related to Wu Liuqi's world last time. Shurchen stopped diving and came out to tell everyone about it. Ah, it's related to my world. Wu Liuqi also went online after hearing this, and was surprised. Last time, although Wendy and Ban defeated the third level source beast, they broke the space in the end. One of the crystal fragments of the source beast fell into the space crack and accidentally came to Xiaoyu's world, and was also obtained by the Holy Lord. Shi Chen explained slowly. So the Holy Lord can use the power of the source beast crystal? Xiaoyu asked in confusion. Yes, the Holy Lord absorbed the power of the source beast crystal and can absorb the origin of the world. The origin of your world has become a physical entity. They are the Holy Lord's talisman and the demon mask. Because the Holy Lord is the master of the talisman, and he has talismans around him, he can directly absorb the power of other talismans remotely. And because he absorbed the power of the Black Shadow Legion mask before, he can also absorb the power of other masks of the same origin, so he has become the Holy Lord now. Shurchen explained the changes of the Holy Lord from beginning to end, so that everyone finally knew the source. The original power of the Holy Lord belongs to the third level. Now that he has the power of all the demon masks, he has successfully broken through the limit of the world and can reach the fourth level. 
If he absorbs the power of the other seven demons, he will directly reach the peak of the fourth level, and even have the hope of breaking through the threshold of the fifth level. So you need to be careful not to let the Holy Lord absorb the power of other demons. Shi Chen continued to warn. Ah, please help me, or I will be completely gone. Xiao Yu said with a sad face. Since it is related to me, then I will go again. Ban suddenly appeared and said. By the way, where is Wendy? Ban suddenly thought of another Wendy. Why didn't he show up when he was planning to go there? He, he was having a party with old friends and was drunk. Shi Chen's eyes saw through countless worlds and knew what happened to Wendy directly. In this case, Ban no longer hesitated, but he couldn't beat the Holy Lord by himself. It's a pity that Xiaoyu's world can only have the power of the fourth level at most, and my world seems to be unable to go there. Saitama wanted to go there, but after understanding the power that the world can withstand, he knew that he couldn't go there, and could only look at everyone helplessly. I'll go there, my strength is just right. Degu suddenly said at this time. And. There is also me, although my strength is relatively weak, I should still be able to help a little. At this time, a voice that was almost forgotten by everyone came, and everyone saw that it was Rem who entered the group with Xiaoyu. Rem is usually a workaholic, and she is relatively introverted in the chat group, so she doesn't talk to them often, so that everyone almost forgets her. Sister Rem, are you coming too? That's great. Xiaoyu saw that Rem was also planning to come, and she was very happy in her heart, because the other party came in with her, and they were also girls, so the two had some private exchanges. But. I don't know if it's enough for only a few of us. Rem hesitated when she heard the words. It was not that she was afraid, but she was afraid that she and her group could not defeat the Holy Lord. Tony had been creating the artificial intelligence for Dodoko, and now he is sleeping Wendy got drunk. And now she is sleeping Kai is on a mission Saitama is too strong to be defeated Conan is too weak and only has passive abilities, so he is useless against the Holy Lord. Shuchen analyzed the current situation for everyone. Why not just leave it like this? I think it should be enough. Degu said after hearing this. He was quite confident in his strength, but he was afraid of accidents. But when he faced the monsters alone, was there any time when he was 100% sure of success? Forget it, I'll go. Shurchen thought about it. He hadn't appeared in many chapters. This time he finally had something to do. Why not go for a stroll, otherwise the readers would almost forget that he was the protagonist of this novel. But group leader, aren't you stronger? Saitama can't go, how can you go? Degu was stunned after hearing this, and asked everyone's doubts. It's okay, I can directly separate a little bit of the mental power in the chat group, which is enough to suppress the strength to the peak of the fourth level, so that I can go directly to Xiaoyu's world. Shi Chen smiled and explained after hearing this. Great, with the help of the group leader, this time it will be foolproof. Xiaoyu said excitedly. Let's go, Xiaoyu, find a place where there is no one, and we will go directly there. Shi Chen looked at Xiaoyu and said. No problem, I'm here now. Uncle Long and Dad are following Officer Black to track down the Holy Lord. Now there are only me and True in the store, but now we're going to clean the room inside. Xiao Yu said hurriedly. Let's go, everyone, just go directly there. Okay, let's go. Everyone responded at the same time and clicked the teleport. The next second, a portal appeared in front of them, and the other side was Xiao Yu's world. Ha, huh, I also need to move my body, otherwise I'm almost an old man. Shi Chen smiled, and then found Xiaoyu's world through the chat group, splitting out a trace of mental power, and then turned into a physical clone and appeared directly in front of Xiaoyu. Chapter, 37 Soon, four figures appeared in front of Xiaoyu, Shi Chen, Daegu, Madara and Rem. Shi Chen, dressed in modern clothes, with sharp eyebrows and starry eyes, and elegant manners, Daegu, dressed in casual clothes with a smile in his eyes. Madara was still dressed the same as when he went to the world of Wuliyuki last time, and Rem was dressed in a maid outfit. Welcome everyone to my world, group leader, what should we do next? Since Shi Chen appeared here, Xiaoyu directly followed Shi Chen's arrangements. 
At this time, Shuchin turned into a young man dressed in modern clothes, with sharp eyebrows and starry eyes, and he was awe-inspiring without anger, but also with a little affinity. Let me see where the Holy Lord is now, and then I will go there. After all, it is not the original spiritual power, but only a very small trace of his spiritual power. If you want to find a person in this world, you must slowly sense it. The Holy Lord seems to have gone to Asia, where he used to be the palace, and he is going there to release his former subordinates. Xiao Yu reminded when she saw this. I know. Shuchin nodded, and his huge spiritual power covered the sky and the earth, and he directly found the location of the Holy Lord, not only that, but also Jackie Chan and his group. Let's go, I have found the other party. Shuchin looked into the distance and nodded slightly, saying to everyone. But how do we get there? Ban suddenly asked. Seeing this, everyone looked at Shuchin. Shuchin looked around, grabbed a bird at random, and the endless immortal power surged, instantly evolving a bird into a giant bird with a wingspan of ten meters, like a ferocious beast from the prehistoric times. Let's go, we will go slowly. As he said, Shuchin took the lead and walked on the back of the big bird. Although the others were shocked, they did not delay any more and quickly followed him. Wow, cool, big brother, do you usually travel like this? Will it be a bit of a waste of birds? Xiaoyu walked around excitedly on the back of the giant bird, and couldn't help looking at Shuchin and asked. It's okay. I seldom go out. I may not go out once in a million years. Shuchin couldn't help but have a few black lines on his forehead when he heard Xiaoyu's words, but he still explained. Let's go. You don't have to worry about being blown away. This little guy has the ability to block and dissolve wind. Let's go slowly. Jackie Chan and the others will not be in danger. Shu Chen smiled and said to the few people who were looking around out of curiosity. The giant bird spread its wings and took off instantly, but the people did not feel any turbulence, and there was no strong wind, only a little breeze. Boss, boss, will you help when the time comes? Xiao Yu walked up to Shu Chen and asked. I will try my best to let you solve it by yourselves. If there is really an unforeseen situation, I will take action at that time. And, you can call me boss, otherwise it will feel a bit awkward to be heard by others calling me boss. Shuchin thought for a while and said. Oh, I know. Xiaoyu nodded and stopped disturbing Shuchin. Hello, let's meet officially. I'm Xiaoyu. Thank you uncles and sisters for coming to help me. Xiaoyu came to the others and said to them. It's okay. We are all members of the same group. It's only right to help each other. Degu smiled when he heard this. This is my responsibility. It's okay to come and help. Madara also nodded. Xiaoyu, we finally meet. Rem smiled at Xiaoyu. There were only two girls in the group, so they were more concerned about each other. Although Rem was not strong enough this time, she still chose to come and help Xiaoyu. Sister Rem, this is our first offline meeting. Xiaoyu smiled at Rem. Yes, Xiaoyu. Since I have nothing to do now, I'll start a live broadcast for everyone. Shuchin said to the idle people. Ding, the group leader Shuchin started the live broadcast, and all group members can enter to watch. Conan, Wu Yochi, and Saitama in the live broadcast room saw this and clicked in instantly. Even Kai, who was on a mission, took the time to open the live broadcast. What's going on? Why did the group leader start a live broadcast? Tony and Wendy also appeared at this time, looking at the people in the live broadcast room, and they didn't understand what happened. After all, the time flow rate of each world is different. At this time, they have reached the second day and the two have rested well. Just opened the chat group, and found Shuchin who started the live broadcast. Soon Conan explained to them what happened in Xiaoyu's world, letting them know what happened when they were sleeping. Oh, it's all my fault. If I had been more careful last time, this wouldn't have happened. Wendy was a little annoyed when she heard it. Group leader, do you want me to go there too? Wendy thought about whether she should go there to help, after all, she was also responsible for this matter. No, I'm here this time, so you don't have to worry about Xiaoyu's world. 
you can just watch their performance carefully, after all, they are not two strong guys. Shurchin refused when he heard it, but with me here, he really didn't need anyone else, although this sounded a bit Versailles. Okay, since we still have some time, I will tell you about the world upgrade issue I mentioned last time. Shurchin thought about it, and suddenly remembered what he had mentioned last time in the world of Orb, so he thought he should explain it. When everyone heard this, they immediately sat up straight and listened carefully to Shi Chen's explanation. This was related to the improvement of their own world, and it could also allow them to move to a higher level. The so-called world levels are the small thousand world, the middle thousand world and the great thousand world in ordinary novels. And above the great thousand world is the chaotic world with the existence of chaos. There are no ordinary creatures in the chaos, only we, the chaos demon god, exist. And the prehistoric world I am in is the top level world created from chaos. It can be promoted to the top level world because of some special existences. The highest level in the small thousand world can only reach the third level peak. The weakest in the middle thousand world can only have a fourth level existence, while the top ones can be promoted to quasi sages. The same is true in the great thousand world. Low-level Great Thousand Worlds can be promoted to saints. However, this is only the name of this world. In the whole world, it is called Hunyuan Wajiluo Jinxian. The highest one can be promoted to the Heavenly Tao realm, and can even become a Heavenly Tao saint. A power more powerful than the Heavenly Tao realm. As for the realm I am in, it can only be promoted in chaos. You just need to understand it. It turns out that there are so many divisions in the world, but many worlds also have universes, and there are other worlds in the universe, and there are also divisions into multiverses. What are the reasons for these? Tony thought about his own world, with countless planets. And race. Not only his strength, but also the world of Ultraman. Listening to Tony's question, Churchin slowly explained, every world has a world center. It may not be the strongest in the world now, but it must have had its glory in the past. This world center may be just a planet, or a the universe, everything added up, can be collectively called a thousand worlds and a great thousand worlds. The Xiaoqian world basically only has one world or planet, and you will never be able to break through this limitation. Just like a two-dimensional character, you will never be able to break through the limitations of dimensions, from the second dimension to the third dimension. High-level worlds are different. They themselves include various dimensions. However, only by truly reaching the realm of Daoyuo Jingxian can one break through the limitations of dimensions and jump from the second dimension to the third dimension at will. As the saying goes, jump out of the three realms, not in the five elements. It's the great Luo Jingxian, because they have the ability to break the dimensional restrictions. Chapter 38 Now that we've talked about world levels, let's talk about world promotion. After a pause, Shi Chen said slowly. World promotion will give feedback to the world's creatures. There are only two ways to promote the world. One is that the world will be automatically promoted after countless years of accumulation. This method of world promotion has the most benefits, but it is also the most difficult. The second method is artificial promotion. Although the benefits of world feedback are less in the end, it is relatively easy. You only need to know how to artificially promote world promotion. In this way, you who promote world promotion will get great benefits. Using human power to move the world. Madara listened to Shir Shir's explanation with a myriad of thoughts in his mind. The prerequisite for manpower to promote the advancement of the world is that the entire world needs to be unified and be at the extreme level that the world can reach. In this way, you can sacrifice to the sky and ask higher level beings to send down heavenly punishment to promote the advancement of the world. All small thousand worlds and middle thousand worlds have owners, and they are the driving force to help you advance to the world. However, even if you have the standards for advancement to the world, whether they will help you advance to the world depends on whether the other party wants to advance. It turns out that the world still has a master, and the promotion of the world requires the permission of its master. So isn't the promotion of the world a good thing? Why would some people disagree? Conan was stunned when he heard this, and then he had even greater doubts. Looking at Conan's doubts, Churchin explained, because world promotion is very risky. 
if you are not careful, the whole world will be destroyed. And everyone has a different number of worlds and different levels. Every time a world is lost, it will have a negative impact on them. It's a big loss, so in order to avoid accidents, many people don't want their world to be promoted. Then it won't be very difficult for us to be promoted in the future world, and there will even be no hope of promotion. Madara said excitedly when he heard this. Madara's first dream now is to achieve peace in his own world. This was the dream he once had with Hashirama. Madara's own second dream is to become stronger and transcend the world. If it were other people, it would be full of difficulties, but if it were you, it would be easy. Because of the existence of the chat group, we have a connection, and I can directly follow this connection to capture the promotion of your world. At that time, you will directly cut off the connection between your world and your superiors and become a vassal of my world, and the other party will not find your world. But even if they find your world, they will not dare to cause trouble if I am here. As the supreme of the Great Tao Realm, I still have this level of confidence. Even if I am a being in the Great Tao Realm, no one will offend a being who is also in the Great Tao Realm just for the sake of a mere world. In that case, that's really great. Fortunately, we have a group leader. Madara said happily after hearing this. His biggest worry was solved, and he could practice well. Your world is easy to say, but our world is not. There are so many countries in the world now, and it is impossible to achieve unification. Xiaoyu looked at Madara with envy. It's not that troublesome. After defeating the Holy Lord, you can directly use the history book of time to change history. Because the Holy Lord has reached the fourth level now, even the history book of time cannot affect it. Although this thing can change everything in your world, but once it reaches the fourth level, it cannot be changed. It is itself a fourth level treasure and cannot change people or things that are also at the fourth level. Shi Chen reminded him when he saw this. Yeah, I actually forgot about this. Xiao Yu said in surprise when he heard this. There is such an artifact in his world. As long as you leave a stroke on it, you can directly realize everything. It records all the past history. Actually, if you had gotten a history book from the beginning, you wouldn't have been in so much trouble. Madara reminded him when he saw this. I have always forgotten about this matter, and the history book is in Australia. It has a kind of curse protection on it. Without dad's magic, I can't get close. Xiaoyu said angrily after hearing this. Since we haven't reached our destination yet, let's read this book. As he said that, Shurchen stretched out his hand and then submerged into an unknown space. The next second, a huge, ancient book appeared in Shurchen's hands. Shurchen put the history book in front of him and flipped through the contents. No one was surprised when they saw this. As long as the group leader wants something, it must appear in hand. Several people were also quite curious about this artifact, and quickly gathered around Shi Chen and looked at the history book. This is the history book of time. This is the first time I have seen it. It seems that there are records of the Holy Lord once ruling the world. Xiao Yu looked at the history book of time curiously and was amazed in her heart. Now there is a way to increase your strength the fastest and without any side effects. Do you want to try it? Shi Chen said, looking at Xiao Yu in front of him. You mean? Use this history book of time. Xiao Yu was very smart and understood the meaning of time directly. Yes, although it cannot be changed after the Holy Master advances to the fourth level, it can allow you to directly reach the peak of the third level. But after all, this is a treasure of Xiao Yu's world. It can only affect Xiao Yu, but not you. Shi Chen looked at Xiao Yu and others and explained. That's such a pity. This is a very useful artifact. Xiao Yu felt quite regretful when he heard this. If he used the history book to reach the third level peak, then only Rem would be the weakest person present. She and Rem have a good relationship, so she hopes Rem can also become powerful, but the book of time cannot affect Rem, so she can only be full of regrets. It's okay, Xiao Yu, I am also making progress slowly now, and I will soon be promoted to the third level. Then I won't hold you back. Rem smiled and comforted Xiao Yu. No, Sister Rem won't hold you back. We all like the gentle Sister Rem. Xiao Yu shook her head and looked at Rem seriously. 
Rem shook her head, her heart full of warmth. Although Shi Chen can change the characteristics of the Book of Time, give it a strengthening, so that it can change other worlds that appear here, and let Rem directly use the Book of Time to change the history here. However, changing the Book of Time in this way is not good for this world. The Book of Time is one of the manifestations of the origin of this world, and it is also the most important thing. If it is changed, this world will be incomplete. Okay, Xiaoyu, you can now tell me which path you want to take. Although the magic in your world is relatively weak, it is the strongest ability in this world. You can consider it. Shi Chen looked at Xiaoyu and gave his own suggestions. Well. Forget it, group leader, I still don't like the magic of my father. I prefer the fighting of Uncle Long, and I am also learning martial arts with Uncle Long now. Xiaoyu thought about it and still refused the plan to become a mage. I know that I have ADHD and I am adventurous, otherwise I would not think of going on adventures with Uncle Long. Well, I knew you would say that. I have thought of a direction for you to become stronger. Shi Chen smiled when he heard it. He knew that Xiaoyu's character would not become an honest standing mage, but a person who can fight in close combat. In that case, let's do it this way. Then, Shi Chen wrote Xiaoyu's history in the History Book of Years. Chapter 39 A flash of light passed by, and Xiaoyu, who was originally wearing a white long-sleeved shirt and an orange hoodie, had a big transformation and became a little girl in black tights. Although she was still small, she was already quite heroic. Wow, cool, I feel full of strength in my body now, and there are many more memories in my memory. Xiaoyu tried to move her hands and feet, and a strong gust of wind came, which directly disrupted the airflow in front of her, and almost made the giant bird fall directly. This is a martial arts school in a very powerful world. They can cultivate the qi in their bodies by strengthening their bodies, and they can release various powerful moves through qi. Shi Chen looked at Xiaoyu and smiled and said. No wonder I feel that I have such a strong power, and. I seem to be able to fly. As she said that, Xiaoyu directly left her feet and flew side by side with the bird. So powerful. Ban was quite envious. He couldn't fly yet. He could only fly when he controlled the power of the six paths. But Xiaoyu can fly now, and her strength is also top-notch among the third-level ones. This is a step to heaven. This ability called flying is amazing. Xiaoyu flew around in surprise, just like a child who got a new toy. Okay, Xiaoyu, come down. Save your energy to deal with the Holy Lord later. Shi Chen smiled and called Xiaoyu down. Xiaoyu flew over after hearing this and stayed quietly beside him. I really envy Xiaoyu. She has directly become the peak of the third level. It's a pity that I have just cultivated to the second level. Conan looked at Xiaoyu in the live broadcast room, and his envy was about to overflow the screen. This is quite interesting, but I don't know if it is powerful in actual combat. Wendy looked at Xiaoyu and felt quite interesting. Shi Chen looked at Xiaoyu and pointed directly, and a piece of information appeared in Xiaoyu's mind. This is the cultivation method for you. This system is mainly used to cultivate the physical body. The stronger the physical body, the stronger the qi, so you are more suitable for the method of physical body sanctification than others. Shi Chen thought of when he first entered the chat group, he sent a copy of 8-9 Mysterious Art to all group members, but few people could get started. Many people were not suitable for practicing this, so he directly created a knowledge base, allowing everyone to choose a method for free. But now it is different. Xiaoyu is very suitable for this system, and is also suitable for practicing the method of physical body sanctification. Physical body sanctification does not mean to cultivate the body into a muscular man, but to cultivate strength to all parts of the body's muscles, but it will not become a muscular man, so it will not affect the body shape. Although this world is a modern world, there is no shortage of energy used for cultivation, which is enough for Xiaoyu's future cultivation. Xiaoyu, your world can only accommodate others to break through to the third level. The Holy Lord is an accidental product. It has the interference of external forces, and only its existence with extremely strong evil power can break through to the fourth level. You are different. If you want to break through to the fourth level, 
you can only upgrade the world level in the future, or go to a higher level world to break through. Shuchen told Xiaoyu about the way she would go in the future, so that she could be mentally prepared. It's okay, group leader, I don't need so many things at the moment, I can slowly improve my strength, and I will soon promote the world upgrade later, and then it will be fine. Xiaoyu didn't care when she heard it. She was already very surprised that she could be so strong at the moment. This is directly the end of many people's lives. Okay, it seems that we are going to reach our destination. Shuchen nodded, and suddenly saw the scene in the distance, knowing that everyone had finally arrived at the destination of this trip. Officer, there is a UFO approaching. At this time, Officer Black brought his men and discussed with Jackie Chan's father how to deal with the Holy Lord. The Holy Lord is now too powerful, and many of his father's magics are useless against it. Apart from anything else, the current Holy Lord directly absorbed the power contained in the spell into his body, and the original spell turned directly into a pile of powder. Outsiders could not get the power of the spell through conventional methods. At this time, one of Blake's men, looking at the approaching bird, hurriedly reported to Blake. There seems to be someone on it, huh? Jackie Chan, is that your niece Xiaoyu? Blake looked at the bird with a telescope and suddenly found a familiar figure. Where? Jackie Chan looked at Blake after hearing this, and was puzzled. Didn't he ask True to watch Xiaoyu at home? How could she appear here? Seeing Jackie Chan looking over, Blake handed the telescope to Jackie Chan, motioned him to look up, and waved to everyone to cancel the alert state. Hey! Xiaoyu! How could she come here, and she was sitting on such a big bird, and who was next to her, why have I never seen her before? Jackie Chan looked at the people above, and was surprised, even ignoring small details such as how Xiaoyu changed her clothes. Uncle Long! I've brought help. Xiaoyu stood on the giant bird and shouted to Jackie Chan. As she said that, she jumped down from a height of dozens of meters without waiting for the giant bird to land, almost scaring Jackie Chan to death. Xiaoyu! Jackie Chan was almost scared to death when he saw this, and hurriedly ran toward Xiaoyu, trying to catch her. Just when Xiaoyu fell less than 10 meters above the ground, her falling body suddenly stopped, and then slowly landed in front of Jackie Chan. Xiaoyu! What's wrong with you? Didn't the talisman get taken away by the Holy Lord? Jackie Chan was shocked when he saw this. He thought Xiaoyu had a chicken talisman in her hand, Otherwise how could he explain that she could float in the air? Of course it's not a talisman, Uncle Long. I'm very strong now, and I can fly. This is what I just learned. Xiaoyu said proudly, which made Jackie Chan stunned. Oh, by the way, Uncle Long, a few of my friends are here. They are very strong. This time they are here to help us deal with the Holy Lord. Xiaoyu remembered something, looked at the people who were slowly coming over, and hurriedly introduced them to Jackie Chan. Uncle Long, this is our boss, you can call him. Xiaoyu looked at Shuchen and didn't know how to introduce him for a while, because she felt that no matter how she introduced him, it would be impolite to the group leader. Hello, Mr. Cheng, my last name is Shu, the time. Shuchen smiled and took the initiative to extend his right hand and shook hands with Jackie Chan. If this was known by a group of chaos bosses, I'm afraid they would be so shocked that they would explode and die on the spot. You are such a powerful top boss, but you actually lowered your status countless times and shook hands with an ordinary person. In all high-level worlds, the real strong will not lower their status to talk to an ant, let alone shake hands. But Shu Chen is different. He himself came from the modern era. Although the time he lived in the modern era is not as long as the time he lived in the prehistoric world, it has a great impact on him. So he can treat the weak with a different mentality, otherwise he would not think about helping these group members. At this time, Jackie Chan looked at the man in front of him. Although he was just a martial artist, he still felt a kind of strength in the other party. Unlike the Saint Lord who was so sharp, Shurchen gave him a feeling of restraint. Oh, hello, Mr. Shur. I am Jackie Chan, Xiaoyu's uncle, please take care of Xiaoyu. Although many things were not clear, it did not prevent them from saying hello to each other. Chapter, 40 
After a brief introduction to Jackie Chan and the others, everyone looked in the direction of the Holy Lord. Dad, is there any way to deal with the Holy Lord? Jackie Chan came to his father and looked at the various potions that his father was fiddling with, and couldn't help asking. This situation has never been recorded in history. The Holy Lord has now integrated all the energy in the talismans into himself, and it has also obtained other evil powers, becoming more powerful than what is recorded in the ancient books. Dad quickly flipped through the contents of the ancient books, but his heart became more and more nervous. At this time, the Holy Lord had opened the hell space that sealed his dragon sons and grandsons. This is not the space where the seven demons are sealed, but now the Holy Lord has reached the fourth level, and even without the panka box, he can directly release the other seven demons. In the history of this world, the eight demons of the Holy Lord once ruled the world, and finally eight gods appeared and sealed the eight demons together. And these eight gods are the eight immortals in Chinese legends. They left after sealing the eight demons. The only item that can open the sealed demon space is the Panka treasure box. However, with the current strength of the Holy Lord, he can directly open the passage to the demon space. Dad, just leave it to us. You don't need to worry about the Holy Lord. Xiao Yu came to his father and comforted him. Xiao Yu, don't bother Dad. I want to find a way to defeat the Holy Lord as soon as possible. Dad said without raising his head. Jackie Chan, go and hold the Holy Lord for Dad first. Don't let the Holy Lord release those monsters. Dad looked at the dragon-shaped monster that was about to come out and quickly commanded Jackie Chan to stop it. But, Dad, how can I stop him now? Jackie Chan cried. If he had a talisman, he could stop the Holy Lord, but now he is just a mortal who knows martial arts. How can he fight such a monster? Okay, all of you get out of the way. Leave it to us next. Ban was not interested in watching anymore. He tightened his clothes and pushed Jackie Chan away directly. We will deal with the Holy Lord. We came here for this purpose. Daegu also stepped forward and said with a smile. Ah. What are you doing? You can't defeat the Holy Lord like this. You have to use magic to defeat magic. Dad looked at several people and hurriedly stopped them. Dad, leave it to us with confidence. What happens next will definitely surprise you. Xiao Yu came to Dad and smiled at him. Go. Madara rushed over first and used the shadow clone technique as soon as he came up. In an instant, many Uchiha Madaras appeared on the battlefield, which simply shattered everyone's worldview. This, this, this. What on earth is this? Jackie Chan and his group almost popped their eyes out. It was really more eye-catching than the Holy Lord. Oh. What is this? But it doesn't matter. It's just an ant that can clone itself. The Holy Lord felt the evil spirit and turned around to find more than a dozen Madaras rushing towards him. Although he had never seen this before, he did not feel that there was a threat to himself. With a wave of his hand, countless black shadows appeared which were the often appearing ninja black shadow core. There are a total of ten sets of demon masks, each of which can summon countless terrifying black shadow core. In addition to being immortal, they also have various powerful characteristics. Humph, if you fight yourself, I may not be able to beat you, but do you think you can defeat me with just these cannon fodder? Madara felt as if he was ignored, which made him feel very angry. Fire Style, Flame Dragon Song Technique the next second, several huge fire dragons attacked and instantly destroyed all the attacking black shadow core. Well, it seems that I underestimated you. Seeing that the other party was not bluffing, the Holy Lord summoned all the remaining black shadow core. Including the previous ninja core, the remaining are the thorn blade core, night bat core, troll core, samurai core, alien core, shadow devouring core, hunting pincers core, mantis core, and snake core. After the Holy Lord possessed the power of all the Black Shadow Corps, the strength of all the Black Shadow Corps soldiers was strengthened, as if they had become a whole. Mr. Madara, I'll help you. Xiao Yu did not hesitate and directly performed the air dance technique and flew towards the Black Shadow Corps. With Xiao Yu's current strength, even if the Holy Lord was punched by her, it would hurt for a long time. 
not to mention these Black Shadow Corps, each of them was punched by her one by one. Although the current Black Shadow Corps is an enhanced version, their characteristics have not changed. Others are fine, but the Shadow Devouring Corps is very embarrassing. The Shadow Devouring Corps is a very weak Black Shadow Corps in the early stage and very strong in the later stage. They need to devour human shadows to grow. This kind of devoured shadow is actually something like a soul. After being devoured, humans will fall into a coma. Unfortunately, now neither Madara nor Xiaoyu can eat their shadows. Xiaoyu is protected by Qi, and Madara has chakra in his body. Because they have powerful energy in their bodies, these very weak shadow devourers can't eat their shadows at all. And their strength does not allow these shadow devourers to eat their shadows. Xiaoyu and the man called Madara have an invisible qi. Dad adjusted his glasses and said his reasoning. Qi. Is it a kind of magic? Jackie Chan often stays with Dad, so he knows a little about Dad's magic. No, it's a kind of qi I've never seen before. Dad shook his head, and he didn't know. Although Dad didn't know what it was, he was so knowledgeable that he could still infer that there was a special qi flowing through their bodies. I'm going over there too, boss. Rem looked at the time and planned to go on stage. The next second, her body began to transform into a ghost, a horn appeared on her forehead, and a meteor hammer appeared in her hand. Although these black shadow core were not too strong for them, ants could kill elephants, so many black shadow core came together, which also made Rem feel stretched. Everyone, get ready. Officer Blake saw this and ordered his men to raise their weapons, intending to help Xiaoyu and the others. Stop, your weapons are useless, you have to use magic to defeat magic. Dad hurried forward to stop them. But Dad, they didn't use magic either. Blake signaled his men to temporarily put down their weapons, looking at Dad in confusion. What do you know? Although they don't seem to have magic, their attacks all carry a special energy. This energy can make them more effective against the Black Shadow Core, and it is also very useful against the Holy Lord. Seeing this, the old man explained, but his eyes were still looking at the direction of the battle. A bunch of trash, if the dark energy in them was not useful to me, and could not help me deal with some small things, I would have thrown them all into the Dark Kingdom. The Holy Lord looked at the Black Shadow Core that was gradually being dealt with, and couldn't help but said angrily in his heart. The next second, he interrupted the spell of summoning the evil dragon and went on the field himself. The Holy Lord jumped directly and came to the center of the battlefield in an instant. The strong airflow directly shook everyone away. Who of you wants to die first? Looking at the three people in the field, the Holy Lord released an astonishing killing intent in his scarlet eyes. Chapter, 41 With the Holy Lord coming on the field in person, no one present could withstand its attack, after all, there was a huge difference in level. Dragon Explosion The Holy Lord roared, and a powerful stream of flames spurted out of his mouth, instantly hitting Achiha Madara. Substitution Technique Madara was shocked when he saw this, and quickly used the substitution technique, but the next second, before he could see the situation around him clearly, he was directly knocked out by a heavy punch from the Holy Lord. Let me go on the field. Dagu looked at it and decided that it would be better for him to go on the field, otherwise they would all be solved. However, there was one thing that bothered him. After all, he could only transform for three minutes. If he couldn't solve it in three minutes, it would be troublesome, and then he could only let the group leader take action. It's okay, go ahead. The time you transform here depends only on your own energy. After so much practice, your energy is enough to support you in a long battle. Seeing the Gu's hesitation, Churchen smiled and said. Okay, in that case, I'll go. Time waits for no one. The Gu no longer has any worries and directly takes out the magic stick. Tiga. With a flash of light, an Ultraman about the same size as the Holy Lord appeared. The Gu has his own considerations for not growing bigger. The Holy Lord himself has the power of the rabbit spell and the cow spell. If he grows bigger, it will be difficult to hit the opponent, and the opponent can easily dodge his attack and hit him at the same time. Only when the body size is the same, is it the best way to fight. 
This, this, this. What is this? Such a strong light. Jackie Chan was almost blinded when he saw Tiga. Not only that, this light also carries a strong energy, which makes people feel at ease. Dad looked at Tiga. Although he didn't know where it came from, he could feel the breath emanating from it, just like his former teacher, the great wizard, who made people feel at ease. Sir, do you feel that this is a little familiar? At this time, a subordinate next to Blake looked at Blake and hesitated slightly. What do you want to say? Blake asked in confusion. That. I don't know if it's my illusion, I always feel that this person is like Ultraman in the special effects film. The subordinate scratched his head and said a little embarrassedly. Huh? Are you sure? Blake was a little dumbfounded. Why are his subordinates so unreliable? Sir, actually. I also feel that this is a bit like Ultraman. My son has always liked to watch this. At this time, another subordinate said, but it made Blake even more confused. Is this really Ultraman? Blake looked at Tiga not far away, and then looked at Shurchin standing not far away, and felt that his worldview collapsed a little. Tisk. Looking at the Holy Lord in front of him, Tiga directly took the starting position for the battle. The annoying light makes me want to smash you to pieces. The Holy Lord looked at Tiga in front of him and squinted his eyes slightly. Tiga's light made him feel very uncomfortable. TSK. Tiga shouted and rushed over directly. The Holy Lord was also unwilling to be outdone. The energy of the bull talisman flowed through his body and competed with Tiga. Boom. The two fought for the first time and instantly fought each other. Tiga felt helpless. His composite form could only tie with the Holy Lord. But if he switched to the power form, although his strength could overwhelm the opponent, his speed would also be reduced. The Holy Lord was different. He had the power of the bull talisman and the speed of the rabbit talisman, which made him not afraid of strength and speed. Huh, I have the strongest power and the fastest speed, and I have an immortal dog and a healing horse. You can't beat me at all. The Holy Lord looked at Tiga in front of him and taunted. Tiga ignored him, but shot a light arrow in his hand at the Holy Lord, leaving a scorch mark on the Holy Lord. But soon, the power of the horse talisman in his body surged, and the wound was healed instantly. It's useless, kid, you can't beat me. The Holy Lord looked at Tiga and smiled. Look, I'll turn you into a monkey. As he said that, Rays of light shot out from the hands of the Holy Lord and attacked Tiga directly. Tiga saw this and quickly used the Ultra Barrier to block the attack. Seeing that Tiga actually blocked his attack, the Holy Lord directly used the invisibility of the snake spell and quickly approached Tiga. Tiga saw that the Holy Lord disappeared and quickly became alert, but he couldn't find the direction of the Holy Lord at all. The next second, a blast was heard and Tiga was blown away directly. Tiga quickly got up from the ground and was carefully on guard, but unfortunately he was approached by the Holy Lord again and kicked away directly. Standing up again, Tiga tried to calm himself down. Calm down, calm down, I have to carefully feel the trajectory of the other party's actions. In Tiga's body, the goose slowly relaxed, and the light energy in his body slowly dissipated, gradually forming a force field composed of light particles in the outside world. The next second, the invisible Holy Lord rushed over quickly. Tiga dodged and avoided the attack of the Holy Lord. At the same time, he grabbed the Holy Lord's arm with his backhand and threw him to the ground with an over-the-shoulder throw. Because these light particles appeared in the field that only Tiga could see, no matter how the Holy Lord moved, he would definitely attract light particles, so Tiga could directly predict the opponent's attack. Good boy, you actually escaped. The Holy Lord didn't care, stood up and patted his body, thinking that Tiga just happened to escape. He used the snake spell to become invisible again, and rushed towards Tiga in an instant. Tiga turned again, dodged the attack, and his body turned into a red power form, and grabbed the Holy Lord again, and smashed him hard on the ground. Damn it, I will tear you into pieces. The Holy Lord knew that his invisibility was useless against Tiga, so he had to cancel the invisibility state. As the Holy Lord's angry voice sounded, countless black air emerged from his body, instantly surrounding himself. 
The next second, a brand new Holy Lord appeared in front of everyone. I saw a muscular man with a huge pliers on his left hand, a sharp claw on his right hand, wearing armor, a pair of bat-like wings spread out behind him. A samurai sword on his back, his feet turned into snake-like soft bodies, and a holy lord with a height of dozens of meters appeared. This is the holy lord who has all the characteristics of the demon mask. It is his most powerful state at present. At the same time, the whole world was quickly covered by black fog, and the whole world turned dark, with black lightning running everywhere in the sky. He he he, you are the first person who has the honor of seeing my strongest form. As a reward, I will slowly torture you to death. The Holy Lord opened his mouth like a slit-mouthed woman, revealing a mouth full of ferocious fangs. Seeing this, Tiga's body also grew larger at the same time, and at the same time turned back to the composite form, which was his original size. Seeing that Tiga's body also grew larger at the same time, the Holy Lord was slightly surprised, but he didn't feel troubled. The wings behind him fluttered, and he flew in front of Tiga in an instant. The giant pliers on his left hand directly clamped Tiga's neck, making Tiga unable to break free. Ah! Uh. Tiga used both hands to force, but could only barely break the giant pliers a little bit. The next second, the long claws on the Holy Lord's right hand were raised, and after Tiga broke free from the control of the giant pliers, a claw slashed Tiga's body, and Tiga was instantly knocked out. Boom boom! As Tiga fell to the ground, the ground shook violently. Before Tiga could get up, the Holy Lord flew over again, his right hand turned back to his original palm, and at the same time grabbed the samurai sword behind him. The giant pincers in his left hand also changed, turning into a forelimb like a mantis. Let me deal with you. The Holy Lord swung the double swords in his hands and instantly chopped at Tiga. At the critical moment, the crystal on Tiga's forehead shone, and instantly turned into a purple speed form, instantly dodging the Holy Lord's fatal blow. Ding dong, ding dong. Hearing the sound, Tiga lowered his head and looked at the timer on his chest, and his heart couldn't help but become anxious. The energy in his body was rapidly consumed, and now it was time for the timer to alarm. Oh. From the look of you, you are running out of energy, right? The Holy Lord looked at Tiga's appearance, felt that Tiga was in a bad state, and knew that the other party was about to die. I haven't tortured you enough yet, you mustn't die so soon. As he said that, the Holy Lord rushed towards Tiga again. Chapter, 42 Seeing Tiga being beaten so miserably, Shuchin felt that he could help him a little, but of course he would not do it directly. Suddenly thinking of something interesting, Shuchin cast a spell directly, projecting the battle between Tiga and the Holy Lord to the whole world, so that the whole world could see them. This. Mr. Sure, what kind of magic is this? Jackie Chan looked at the scene in the sky and couldn't help asking Shurchen. He and others can see the battlefield here, so there is no need to go to such great lengths to make a projection. This is a little gadget I made, which can show their battle to people all over the world, and I hope it can help Tiga. Shuchin looked at Tiga who was still being beaten, and said to Jackie Chan. How to do it? Officer Black also came over at this time. He knew that this was their last hope. If Tiga was defeated, then mankind would fall into the era of the Holy Lord's rule again. You can speak here for people all over the world to hear. I hope you can let people all over the world cheer for Tiga. Only when humans cheer from the heart can the light of human soul bloom and make Tiga stronger. Shuchin explained to several people. If that's the case, then let's do it. Blake heard this. Although he didn't know if it would work, this was the only way at the moment, and he could only listen to Shuchin. Blake came to the outside of their battlefield, looked at the people fighting in the battlefield, and said solemnly, Everyone in the world, I am the Special Agent Police Chief Blake of the 13th District of the United States. Now we humans have entered a real life and death moment. I hope you can listen carefully to what I say next. After brewing for a while, Blake continued, The terrifying monster you see now is the monster that once ruled the world in ancient times. At that time, we humans were just slaves under their hands. Until eight gods appeared later, they sealed the eight demons in hell. And now, this monster has appeared again and wants to rule the world. 
he has also absorbed the energy of other monsters, making it even more terrifying. The giant fighting this monster is Ultraman that everyone has seen in special effects. If Ultraman also fails, then we humans really have no hope. Here, I hope everyone will send blessings to Ultraman Tiga, and everyone will cheer for him. It must be said that Shurchen has considered it very thoughtfully. This projection can realize real-time translation, allowing everyone to hear the language they know. Mainly afraid of nitpicking. At this time, almost everyone in the world can see the horrific scene in the sky, and now the world is covered by black clouds, so everyone has to believe this truth. At the same time, countless TV stations are also broadcasting this scene. Many historians have found clues about the Holy Lord from various ancient books, and all stand up to testify to the truth of this matter. I remember that this is indeed the Ultraman I saw when I was a child, although I have never seen this Ultraman. I also remember that it is indeed Ultraman. It turns out that there are Ultraman in this world. Doesn't that mean there are monsters too? At this time, the whole world is discussing it, but Tiga's situation is getting worse. He is almost beaten without the power to fight back, and the timer on his chest is also flashing rapidly. Ding dong, ding dong. The sound of the timer flashing rapidly is almost connected. Stand up, Tiga. Come on, Tiga, don't give up. Our hope depends on you, Ultraman. At this moment of global life and death, all human beings work together to cheer for Tiga wholeheartedly. I seem to feel the feeling. Again, this is. In Tiga's body, Dagu almost felt that his body was about to fall apart, but suddenly a familiar feeling came over him, making him seem to regain some strength. Mr. Sher, will this work? Black came to Shurchen worriedly, looking at Tiga who was fighting in the field, and said with some concern. It's okay, a miracle will happen. Shurchen did not answer directly, but gave an ambiguous answer. This. Seeing this, Black did not know what to do, and could only look at Tiga worriedly, hoping that a miracle would really happen. At this time, Xiaoyu and others had also returned from the battlefield. Because of the giant battle between Tiga and the Holy Lord, there was no place for them to fight, so they could only come together to cheer for Tiga. Seeing Tiga being defeated again, people all over the world looked at the projection screen with worry, but they felt that there was really no hope in their hearts. Tiga, come on. At a certain moment, a child's voice came from nowhere, shouting to Tiga far away in the sky. Although Tiga couldn't hear it, he still tried his best to cheer for Tiga. Come on, Tiga. You must win, Ultraman Tiga. Then, the cheers that came one after another resounded throughout the world, almost reaching Tiga's ears. The next second, countless golden light particles appeared, gradually gathered into a golden torrent, and golden light beams came from all corners of the world, and then all the light was transmitted to Tiga at the scene. This is a familiar power, the power of the human heart, light. Dagu stretched out his hand forward, and countless rays of light gathered on him, and then Tiga's whole body shone with light. What is going on? Why do I feel a sense of fear? The Holy Lord looked at Tiga, whose whole body was shining with light, and was in doubt. He was about to completely solve the opponent in one breath. The next second, the endless dazzling light dissipated, and a Tiga with a golden light shining all over his body appeared in the field, and the timer on his chest also returned to a perfect state. Shining. Tiga. Looking at Tiga appearing in the field, Blake and others were shocked. They didn't expect that a miracle would really happen. Look, there will really be a miracle. Shurchen looked at Tiga, who was shining in the field, and said to Blake and others with a smile. Wow, cool, Uncle Dagu's shining form is so impressive. Xiaoyu looked at shining Tiga and flew around excitedly, as if it was herself. I didn't expect that we could see shining Tiga again. It's really unexpected. Conan in the live broadcast room looked at shining Tiga and was also quite excited. I didn't expect that Senior Tiga's shining form would be so cool. Kai also came out. Looking at Tiga's shining form, he thought about his own transformation, which was so low. The real battle is just about to begin. Madara muttered to himself as he looked at the shining Tiga. 
Okay, let's watch Shining Tiga's performance next. I believe he can definitely defeat the Holy Lord. Looking at Tiga's light, Shirchen seemed to see the first time he saw Shining Tiga in his previous life. It must be said that Tiga was able to defeat Katangia at the time, and he also contributed a lot. TSK. Tiga, who stood up again, faced this terrifying opponent again. This time, he was definitely stronger than ever. The power of the shining form made him fearless of any darkness. It's just that the body will glow. Watch me smash you again. The Holy Lord roared and rushed towards Shining Tiga again. Chapter, 43 Seeing the attack of the Holy Lord, Shining Tiga directly used his ultimate defense skill, Shining Ring Shield. In the state of Shining Ring Shield, Shining Tiga's whole body was wrapped in golden light, and his defense power was increased several times. Fancy, look at me tear you apart. The Holy Lord raised his claws and instantly slashed Shining Tiga's body, but what shocked it was that the opponent was not abnormal at all. Shining Tiga grabbed the Holy Lord's claws casually, and at the same time raised his other palm high, instantly breaking the opponent's claws. The Holy Lord screamed in pain and broke free from Shining Tiga's control. The power of the horse spell surged and instantly repaired the injured claws. You can't kill me because I have an immortal body. Looking at the powerful Shining Tiga, the Holy Lord pulled away and stared at the other party. Then give it a try. Dagu spoke for the first time, staring at the Holy Lord and said. Dragon Explosion The Holy Lord roared, and a huge pillar of fire attacked Shining Tiga. Ha! Who would have thought that Shining Tiga would directly reach out his right hand, instantly catch the opponent's attack, and then throw it aside? Impossible! The current form of the Holy Lord is the form after it has gathered all the power of the Demon Mask. The Dragon Blast used in this form is several times stronger than before, but it was still easily blocked by Shining Tiga, which made it a little upset. Shining Blast As Shining Tiga stretched out his arms, the powerful light energy gathered at the timer, and then switched to his right fist, releasing a golden spiral shock wave. Ah! Uh. In an instant, the golden spiral shock wave knocked the Holy Lord out, and hit his own palace hard, and fell down in an instant. Shining Destruction Shining Tiga followed closely, and the same golden spiral shock wave came from his feet, instantly kicking the Holy Lord out again. Damn it! The Holy Lord struggled to get up with blood on his face and full of pain. What? What's going on? Why has my repair ability become so slow? The Holy Lord noticed that the repair ability of the horse charm on his body suddenly became very slow, which made him feel incredible. In fact, the Holy Lord's repair power and immortality are only relative, because Shining Tiga is now stronger than him, and the golden light particles have the energy to suppress the opponent, which makes the Holy Lord a little panicked. Yes, the current Shining Tiga has the strength of the fourth level peak. Looking at Shining Tiga who almost beat the Holy Lord, Churchen nodded slightly. Is it so powerful? If Dagu improves again, will he reach the level of Saitama? Conan was stunned when he heard this, and looked at Shirchen in surprise. It's not that simple. Shirchen shook his head when he heard this, the gap between each level is a world of difference. Because the level of the chat group is the integration of the cultivation levels of the heavens and the worlds, the gap between each level can be said to be heaven and earth. For example, if an ordinary human is in the early stage of the first level, but the same martial arts master who is powerful enough to break gold and split stone is also in the early stage of the first level. Because they are all in the stage of mortals, no matter what, they can't jump out of this level. But a martial arts master can easily kill an ordinary person. I seem to understand a little. Conan nodded when he heard it. If this is just in a low-level world, there will definitely be a realm between them, but in the heavens and the worlds, it can only be divided into one realm. The so-called level division, except for the clear distinction between human level, immortal level, and entering the Tao. The other levels are a relatively vague level, which is the integration of the middle level of the heavens and the worlds taken by the chat group. After hearing Shirchen's explanation, everyone looked at Tiga and the Holy Lord in the field again. But. Damn it, I am the fire demon who rules the world, how could I fall here? 
the holy lord looked at the shining tiga in front of him, and was very angry. Come out, my ultimate black shadow army. The next second, countless black shadow armies appeared, and then quickly gathered together. The soldiers of the ten kinds of black shadow armies gathered into a huge aggregate, which looked very similar to the Holy Lord. As countless black shadow armies appeared, all the black shadow army soldiers entered this aggregate, making the opponent bigger and bigger, and gradually the height exceeded 100 meters before stopping. Ha ha ha, let's see how you can beat me now. I said, I am invincible. The Holy Lord looked at his masterpiece and smiled proudly at Shining Tiga. TSK. Shining Tiga looked at the black shadow aggregate in front of him, but he was not afraid. The light on his body was the best weapon to deal with it. Go, my little cutie. The Holy Lord pointed his finger and said to the black shadow aggregate. The monster roared, and then walked towards Shining Tiga with heavy steps. Special Timer Flash. Shining Tiga raised his arms, and then clenched his fists to gather the timer in front of his chest. Instantly, a huge colorful light appeared, turning into a colorful energy wave, and directly hit the black shadow aggregate in front of him. The next second, the powerful energy instantly penetrated the body of the black shadow aggregate, instantly beating the opponent into countless black afterimages, and then turned into countless flying ashes and disappeared. Humph, I didn't expect it to be so useless. The Lord snorted coldly when he saw this. The shadow army he created was defeated by the opponent in an instant, which made him very angry. Spreading his wings again, he attacked Shining Tiga with endless darkness. Let me kill you in one go, Lord. Dagu looked at the Holy Lord rushing towards him, and felt that he was exhausted, thinking about killing the opponent in one go. Although the data of all aspects of Tiga's body in the Shining form have increased by dozens of times, and the state is directly restored to full, he will also feel tired. Shining's Apelio Ray. Then Shining Tiga stretched out his hands and crossed them in front of his chest, slowly pulling them back, and at the same time countless shining light energies gathered in his arms, forming a series of colorful lights. Finally, his hands formed an L-shaped shape, which was the Zapelio Ray in the shining form. The destructive light formed by countless shining light particles flew out and instantly hit the Flying Lord. The light entered from the Holy Lord's chest, then passed through from his back, and shot directly into the sky. The next second, the Holy Lord's body fell straight to the ground, and then exploded into countless fragments, dissipating in the air. Shining Tiga looked at the place where the Holy Lord disappeared, and could no longer feel the Holy Lord's breath. At the same time, the kingdom originally summoned by the Holy Lord also turned into countless dust and fell on the ground in an instant. Nodding to everyone, Dagu lifted Tiga's transformation and turned into a light particle and flew out. Gradually, the light particle flew to Shurchen's side and turned into a human body, which was exactly what Dagu looked like. Fortunately, I have fulfilled my mission and successfully solved the Holy Lord. Dagu held his chest and said with a slight breath. Although the previous injuries have been recovered after the transformation into Shining Tiga, the fatigue has not disappeared. Well done. Dagu. Shuchen looked at Dagu and nodded slightly, and praised him gently. But, it's not over yet. Shuchen's eyes were full of stars, and he said something that shocked everyone. Everyone was shocked when they heard this, and turned around to look around, but they didn't find the trace of the Holy Lord. They knew the strength of the group leader. Since he said that it was not over yet, it really would not end, and it would not disappear just because they couldn't see it. Look, the dark clouds have not dissipated. At this time, Xiaoyu suddenly pointed to the sky and said in surprise. Everyone hurriedly looked at the sky when they heard this, and sure enough, it was still covered with dark clouds. It stands to reason that if the Holy Lord was defeated, the dark clouds it created should dissipate. The current situation can only prove that Shi Chen was right. Chapter, 44 As time went by, a black-red gas mass appeared on the battlefield, and at the same time, portals opened all over the world. There were seven in total. Then, demonic energy of different colors appeared from each portal, and gathered in the black-red gas mass on the battlefield. Ha ha ha. You are still far from defeating me. I am the strongest fire demon. The voice of the Holy Lord came, 
and everyone looked up at the sky. The original seven gases all gathered into the black-red gas in the middle. After all the gases gathered, they turned into a huge black gas. Then he practiced and turned into a giant dragon that covered the sky and the sun, but exuded black demonic energy. Then the dragon opened his scarlet eyes and looked at Shurchen and others below. I said, I am an immortal existence. The Holy Lord looked at the people below and said triumphantly. Boss, what's wrong with the Holy Lord? He seems to have become stronger than before. Everyone was puzzled and asked Shurchen. Before we arrived, the Holy Lord had already invaded the hell where the demons were sealed with his own magic energy. The seven portals that gushed out the magic energy were the gates to the hell that sealed the demons. It devoured all the other seven demons, opened the gate to hell, and emerged from there. Now this is the collection of all the demons. Looking at the Holy Lord who was constantly shouting in the sky, Churchin walked over slowly, and explained at the same time, the Holy Lord has now reached the level of half a step to the fifth level. Even if Dagu can still transform into Shining Tiga, it is not so easy to deal with, so let me do it. Oh my god, the boss is going to take action himself. This is the first time I have seen it with my own eyes. In the live broadcast room, Conan saw Shurchin preparing to take action and couldn't help but said excitedly. Who said it wasn't? This is the first time we have seen the boss take action with our own eyes. Ban was also shocked when he saw this. Xiaoyu, is your boss really that strong? I think the current Saint Lord seems to be more terrifying than before. Even Ultraman just now took a long time to deal with him. Jackie Chan quietly came to Xiaoyu and asked her. I haven't seen it with my own eyes, but with the boss's strength, it is very easy to deal with a Saint Lord. Xiaoyu heard it and said without hesitation. Is it really that powerful? Jackie Chan was puzzled when he heard it, but he could only choose to believe it, and then looked up in the direction of Shurchen. Oh. Another little bug came over. Are you here to surrender to me? But I won't accept it. I will tear you all to pieces one by one. The Saint Lord in the sky saw Shurchen slowly walking towards him, thinking that he was surrendering to him, and then showed a cruel smile. It looks quite like that. Should I catch the Zulom later and dig a pond at the door to raise dragons for fun? Shurchen looked at the roaring Saint Lord but his thoughts drifted to the prehistoric world. Seeing that Shurchen's attention was obviously not on him, the Holy Lord was instantly angry. He came to meet him, but he was still thinking about random things. Poor little bug, watch me crush you. The Holy Lord looked at Shurchen below and roared directly, and at the same time, a black flame spit out from his mouth and attacked Shurchen below. Oh. I almost forgot about this little guy. Let's go back after cleaning it up. After feeling the attack from the Holy Lord above, Shurchen raised his head and looked at the black flame attacking him. The next second, Shurchen's eyes flashed, and then the time in the area where he and the Holy Lord were located was directly stopped, and even the black dragon fire that had been attacking from below stopped in the air. What's going on? The battlefield seems to have suddenly become quiet. Jackie Chan looked at Shurchen's battlefield, feeling a little confused. It was the boss who stopped time. Look, the black dragon fire and the flying birds have stopped in the air. Daegu looked at the direction of Shurchen in amazement. Although I know that the group leader can control time, I will still be amazed when I see him playing with time. Time. Stop. Jackie Chan opened his mouth wide, feeling that he could not understand what they said. Is it the time stop that he understood? In order for us to see this battle, the boss only stopped the time of the battlefield where he was, otherwise the time of the whole world would be stopped. Madara looked at Shurchen and kept exclaiming in his heart. Speaking of which, can't the group leader only use the power of the fourth level? How can he stop time? In the live broadcast room, Conan looked at Shurchen's actions, suddenly thought of something, and asked hurriedly. Nothing, although the realm can only use the power of the fourth level peak, the laws that I have comprehended will not be affected, which is something that exists in any world. All things in the world are composed of time, space, five elements and other law elements, so the laws are not affected in any world, but they cannot be used too much, otherwise it will affect the world order. 
Shu Chen appeared in the live broadcast room and explained to everyone. Oh my god, didn't you go to Xiaoyu's world? Why are you still paying attention to the chat group? Conan saw Shu Chen appear and couldn't help asking. That's just a trace of my spiritual clone. The real body is in the prehistoric world. I am the spiritual clone of the real body, and the me in Xiaoyu's world is the clone of the spiritual clone. Shu Chen explained after hearing this. Is this nesting dolls? Conan was a little confused. Everyone stopped paying attention to the live broadcast room and continued to look at the center of the battlefield. After stopping the time on the battlefield, time pointed towards the Holy Lord. Soon the Holy Lord's body shrank sharply and turned back into its original stone sculpture appearance. At the same time, the dark clouds spreading across the world quickly dispersed, gradually letting in the sunshine. At this time, the Holy Lord's time stop had been lifted. Only then did he notice his changes. He couldn't help but look at Shi Chen and said fearfully, Who are you? Why have I become like this? You should be sealed like this from now on. You will have a chance to be resurrected later. Shi Chen looked at the Holy Master and said with a smile. After bringing the Holy Lord to Xiaoyu, Shi Chen handed over the Holy Lord and the previous history books to Xiaoyu. Xiaoyu, the Holy Lord of your world has reached the threshold of the fifth level. If you eliminate it, there will be darkness stronger than it in the future. Where there is light, there will be darkness, so the best way is just seal it, don't worry about it breaking the seal, and when the time comes, it will help you in the future. I know, boss, I will put it in dad's antique shop, and you can talk to me about it in the future. Xiaoyu heard this and took the Holy Lord and the history book looked at the stone carving of the Holy Lord and said with a smile. As for the history of time, I have banned it. No one can use it except you. You can reset history and make this world advance as soon as possible. But I want to remind you that the history of time cannot be used too much, otherwise it will cause chaos in time and space in your world. Shi Chen warned solemnly while looking at the history book in Xiaoyu's hand. Don't worry, boss, I won't use it unless it's an emergency. Seeing Shi Chen's solemnity, Xiaoyu quickly promised. Okay, everything is over here, let's go back, and leave the rest to Xiaoyu. Shi Chen looked at everyone and said that everyone can go back. Then let's go. After this battle, I feel that my light energy has become more powerful. Daegu looked at Shi Chen and smiled. Everyone smiled when they heard this. Fighting is the best way to grow. Everyone has grown more or less, and it's time to go back. Chapter, 45 Soon, everyone returned to their own worlds and chatted in the chat group. Thank you, big guys. I'm going to deal with the aftermath with Uncle Long and the others, so I'll log off first. Xiaoyu came to the live broadcast room and said hello to everyone. Why bother so much? Just write it in the history book. All history has been rewritten. Why bother so much? Conan looked at Xiaoyu and reminded her. Yes, I forgot about this. Xiaoyu was stunned when she heard this, and then she remembered that she still had this artifact, and she herself planned to reset history and unify her world, so that she could be promoted to the world level in the future. I'll go now, and I'll be the first one to be promoted to the world. Xiaoyu said, and then she hurriedly logged off. They were on the plane going home at this time. They took out the history book next to them, and Xiaoyu thought about how to write it. You actually have this thing. A surprised voice came from the side, making Xiaoyu turn her head and look over. Why, can't I? Xiaoyu smiled when she heard this, and deliberately shook it in front of the Holy Lord. The Book of Time, what are you going to rewrite with it? The Holy Lord didn't care, just looked at Xiaoyu curiously. Ever since he felt the powerlessness of Shi Chen that made him unable to resist, the Holy Lord has become much more honest, not to mention that he is still sealed now. Although the Holy Lord now has a strength close to the fifth level, he can't use it at all. His body can't be destroyed, but he can't escape the seal. He can only sit here and talk. Despite this, the Holy Lord is not desperate. He heard Shi Chen say that he would be released one day, so he can only wait with peace of mind. No one knows the power of this seal better than him. 
Even the eight immortals who sealed the eight demons at the beginning borrowed various props to seal them. Now he is many times stronger than before, but he was still easily sealed by the other party. This makes him know that no one in the world can save him, so he has no intention of escaping. Do you know? There is a wider world outside our world. And the big guy who sealed you before is from the outside world. Even in all the outside worlds, he is the most powerful one. Xiao Yu did not answer the Holy Lord directly, but told it about the outside world. The Holy Lord was silent after hearing this. It had long guessed that those people were not from this world, because it had never seen those people before, and it was impossible for them to appear out of thin air. Although it is difficult for people to accept, it is not impossible to understand. After all, there are worlds such as Hell and the Dark Kingdom in this world. If there is another world, it is not impossible to accept. However, it sneered at what Xiao Yu said that Shi Chen is the most powerful existence in all the worlds. How could a real strong person care about a little bug like her? Seeing that the Holy Lord was silent, Xiao Yu did not care, but continued, What I have to do now is to use the history book of years to change the original history and achieve world unification, and then I can prepare for world promotion. World promotion the Holy Lord was puzzled after hearing this. Xiao Yu knew it didn't understand, and since she had nothing to do, she explained it to it, which opened the eyes of the Holy Lord. Seeing that the Holy Lord was still in shock, she simply thought about how to write next. First of all, this world must be able to coexist with technology, magic, and martial arts. These can all be achieved. After all, this is what our world has, but how to add the Holy Lord's affairs. At this time, it suddenly occurred to me that the Holy Lord's current strength is not affected by the Book of Time, so no matter how I write, the Holy Lord will still remember the original history. But in the changed history, only the history I wrote will be recorded. After thinking about it, Xiao Yu wrote directly in the Book of Time, in ancient times, there were eight demons ruling the world. The strongest of them, the Holy Lord of Fire, later devoured other demons and unified the world. Five heroes appeared afterwards. They defeated and sealed the Holy Lord, and then left. Under Xiao Yu's pen, this world has undergone a full range of magic changes. Four of the five strong men left this world, and the remaining one is here to help humans practice magic and martial arts. And technology is the result of self-research and development by humans who cannot practice magic and martial arts. In this way, the development route of the entire world has emerged, a world where martial arts, magic, and technology coexist. And I, in her writing, became the descendant of the strong man who left behind, so it is logical to become the world's strongest man, isn't it too much? Later, because China had the hero who left behind, it gradually became the world's strongest country, and then ruled the world by the way. Because Xiao Yu is a Chinese, it is not too much for her country to unify the world, isn't it? Then Xiao Yu added various details one by one, and then put down the pen. TSK TSK, you wrote it in great detail. The Holy Lord looked at Xiao Yu writing a full page, and couldn't help but teasing. The Book of Time is very large, as tall as a person, so it is not easy for Xiao Yu to fill a whole page. Xiao Yu ignored the Holy Lord, but waited quietly for the Book of Time to start. Soon, a ray of light came out from the history book of time and gradually spread to the entire world. Finally, I don't know how long it took, maybe just a moment. After Xiao Yu opened her eyes, she found herself in a room. The room was very large, with a lot of training equipment, as well as various photos and trophies of her own. She picked one up and looked at it, the XXTH World No. 1 Martial Arts Tournament Champion, the champion was Xiao Yu. Xiao Yu knew that this was the rule she wrote down. After the emergence of extraordinary factors such as martial arts and magic, the world will hold the world no. One martial arts tournament and the world no. One magic tournament every four years. This is the highest honor for all martial artists and magicians, and she is the most recent champion. Because Xiao Yu spread her own cultivation system, the overall strength of the world is very strong now, at least the individual strength is much stronger than before. There are countless second level ones, and although the third level ones are rare, there are also some. 
Jackie Chan and Dad are third-level martial artists and third-level magicians. You woke up. At this time, a voice came from the side, causing Xiaoyu to turn around and look, it was the Holy Lord. At this time, the Holy Lord was hanging on the wall. He said this when he saw Xiaoyu wake up. How is it? My modified world is still pretty good, right? Xiaoyu said proudly. The Holy Lord ignored her and closed his eyes. Xiaoyu didn't care either. She was ready to leave the room and see the outside world. At this time, a system prompt sounded. Ding, welcome new members others practice martial arts, I practice immortality, twin spider emperors, and the supreme of the underworld to join the chat group. Hey. There are new members joining. I'll go and see. Seeing this, Xiaoyu didn't care about anything else and went straight into the chat group. Others practice martial arts, I practice immortality, where is this, why does the old Taoist appear here? The supreme of the underworld, since I got tired of chasing, I have learned to find it once since a headwind hit, I have been able to resist the wind from all directions and sail. Who are you? This person seems to be very high-end. Although I don't know what it means, it seems very powerful. Conan was stunned when he heard the words, and he was a little confused about this new member. Chapter, 46 Newcomers, this is a chat group that connects all the worlds. When you join the group, you will receive a message in your mind. You can check it now. Just think about exiting the chat group. If you want to come in again, the method is the same. Tony looked at the few people and felt that he still had to explain that everyone did not check the information before entering the group. The newcomers heard this and quickly exited the chat group and recalled the information in their minds. Pluto, I already know it. I didn't expect that there are other worlds besides the seven parallel universes. Everyone didn't expect that this person didn't question it, and his name was such a domineering name, Pluto. I looked at the level again. Wow, a sixth level boss. In fact, the real strong ones accept this kind of thing the fastest. Because they are strong in their own world, they don't believe that someone can talk to him in his mind without him noticing. Zhang Sanfeng, is this the place of immortals? Although I have never seen real immortals, I think it is just like this. Bibi Dong, besides Dolua Continent. There are other worlds besides the God Realm. At this time, Bibi Dong seemed to be the little girl, not the queen who later ruled the spirit hall. Except for Hades who was at the sixth level, the other two were not so powerful. Bibi Dong and Zhang Sanfeng were both at the peak of the second level, and Bibi Dong had not yet become a title Dolua, so she was not even at the third level. Zhang Sanfeng. I seem to have heard of this name somewhere. Tony looked at Zhang Sanfeng, thinking about a famous Chinese novel he had read, and had a guess in his mind. Ding, group manager Tony Stark uploaded the legend of the Condor heroes, and the destiny space has been generated, and the group points are awarded 1000 points. Is this the destiny of the old Taoist? Then I'll go and take a look. Thank you. Friend. Zhang Sanfeng saw his destiny space appear, thanked Tony, and quickly entered his destiny space. It seems that you don't know the others, so I'll do it. Shi Chen looked at everyone and found that except Tony, no one else knew the origins of the other two, so he spoke. Ding, group leader Shi Chen uploaded Doloa Continent and Super Beast Armor All, and the destiny space has been generated, and the group points are awarded 2000 points. Thank you, group leader, let's take a look at our respective destinies. Bibi Dong and Hades thanked him and quickly entered their respective destiny spaces. Soon, several people appeared in the chat group. It turns out that these things happen to my apprentice. The old Taoist must find a way to solve this tragedy. Zhang Sanfeng saw the experiences of his apprentices and felt a little sad. Kiang Sunji. Please, seniors, can you help me? Bibi Dong had not experienced that incident at this time, so she saw what her teacher Kiang Sunji did, and couldn't help asking for help from everyone. It's okay. You can show us your destiny space and our destiny space at the same time. Then we can understand the situation and help you later. Conan saw that the young lady's tone was a little wrong, and hurriedly comforted her. Don't worry, although this is the first time we meet, since we can meet here, 
I will recognize your strength for the time being and send the army of the underworld to help you solve all the troubles. Hades also finished looking at his own destiny space. Except that he didn't expect that they were almost overturned by the ghost king in the end, he didn't care about anything else, and he also knew the current situation of his daughter. Hades is a person who extremely advocates the respect of the strong. He has a strong sense of class and a natural leadership, but he is not a bad person, just a different concept. Moreover, he really loves his daughter Chen Yu. For Chen Yu, he can release Xue Huang and others from the Xianming black hole. After several people finished looking at their own destiny space, they looked at the destiny space of others and opened the permissions of their own destiny space. After everyone finished looking at the destiny space, they were all thinking about their own things. Sister Bibi Dong is so pitiful. Let's find a way to help her. Xiao Yu is also a girl, and she hates Bibi Dong's experience. That's right, let me help Bibi Dong. I will smash Kiang Sunji into pieces. Rem was also very angry when she saw this. This was the third female member in the group besides them, so she was very concerned about her. At this time, Rem's body had already turned into a ghost because of her anger, which made Ram on the side very confused. Rem, what's wrong with you? Ram didn't understand it at all. Rem has become so strange recently, and she disappeared for a whole day yesterday. Oh, I'm fine, sister. Rem was shocked when she saw this, and quickly exited the chat group, waving her hand to her sister Ram and said. Rem's matter was just a small episode, and everyone was still discussing about Bibi Dong. The real strong will not treat others in this way. If Kiang Sunji was my subordinate, I would solve it directly, otherwise I would lose the face of my underworld. Hades also spoke. Let's listen to the group leader. Maybe there will be some good ideas. We can't just kill them directly. Conan looked at everyone, thought about it and pushed Shurchen out. Everyone was stunned when they heard this, so they decided to listen to the leader's speech. Your world is too distorted. Humans rely on hunting soul beasts to improve their strength. This is tantamount to killing the goose that lays the golden eggs. This is how the tragedy of Tang San's mother and Xiao Wu's mother happened. I will pass on a new type of cultivation method to Bibi Dong, so that she can take revenge with her own hands. Shi Chen saw everyone looking at him and couldn't help but speak. Thank you, group leader. Bibi Dong will seriously carry out the group leader's orders. Seeing this, Bibi Dong hurriedly thanked Shi Chen. No need to do this. I will leave a clone behind. I wish you complete the unification of Dolua continent. Shi Chen shook his head and said. As he said that, Shi Chen directly passed on a set of cultivation techniques to Bibi Dong. This technique is different from your Dolua world, which needs to absorb soul rings to continue. It actually cultivates the human body itself. From the beginning of the Wheel Sea Realm, you open up the Bitter Sea, cultivate the Life Spring, build the Divine Bridge, reach the other shore, etc. Until you cultivate to become a great emperor. I will give you the techniques for the next realm later. You are still too far away from this realm, and in terms of the Dolua world, it is not enough to support you to become a great emperor. At most, you can only reach the great power realm. I checked the physique of the people in your world, and it is quite suitable for practicing this system. Not only that, soul beasts can also practice. When the time comes, soul beasts can also practice. You have to treat them equally. In addition, if you practice this system, you need to slowly transform the previous Dolua techniques into new ones, which will take a long time. So next, I will directly help you transform the Dolua system in your body into a brand new practice system. Thank you, group leader, I will practice seriously, and then I will spread this technique throughout the Dolua continent. Bibi Dong looked at Shi Chen gratefully as if she had found a treasure. By the way, group leader, what is the name of this cultivation system? Bibi Dong suddenly remembered that she didn't know the name of this cultivation system, so she asked Shi Chen hurriedly. The method only described how to practice and the specific realm division, but did not mention any cultivation system. Well, just call it, the heaven covering method. Shi Chen was silent for a while, thought about it and said. The heaven covering method, okay, I know. Bibi Dong nodded when she heard it, 
thinking that the name was so domineering, covering the sky, covering the sky with one hand. Then Shi Chen directly found Bibi Dong in the spirit hall through the heavens and the worlds, and directly helped her change the cultivation system, and her strength was roughly equivalent to her current strength. Chapter, 47 Bibi Dong, you can start a live broadcast when the time comes, so we can see your world. Conan said when he saw Bibi Dong. Okay, but if I cultivate to the point where I can kill Kiang Sunji, I don't know how long it will take. I asked the group leader to help me kill Kiang Sunji. Bibi Dong is now 17 or 18 years old. She has read the original work and knows that she will fall in love with the master in the future. After Kiang Sunji knows about it, he will defile her and want her to stay in the spirit hall forever. After Bibi Dong completes her cultivation, it may be too late, so she directly asks Shirchen to help her. Bibi Dong and the master have known each other for a long time, but they have not yet developed into lovers, but there is some trend. Now that she is familiar with the original work, she has let go of her slight affection for the master, and she is destined to be from a different world with him in the future. I'll send my clone over there. If you want to completely subvert the cultivation system of the entire Dolua continent, there will definitely be countless soul masters who will come forward to stop you. The new cultivation system can benefit ordinary civilians and will definitely divide the interests of the upper-level soul masters, so they will definitely take action. Shi Chen thought further. After all, it is not so easy to subvert a cultivation system, and there will definitely be many obstacles. However, in the face of real strength, all conspiracies and tricks are nothing. Thank you, group leader, I will start the live broadcast now. Bibi Dong said happily after hearing this. Ding, group member Bibi Dong starts the live broadcast, all group members can enter and watch. In an instant, everyone rushed into the live broadcast room and saw a beautiful woman. Today, Bibi Dong is the saint of the spirit hall. She has a noble status in the spirit hall. Although she is not the future pope, she also has great power. Wow, Sister Bibi Dong is so beautiful. After Xiaoyu came in, she saw Bibi Dong sitting cross-legged in the room and couldn't help but exclaimed. Xiaoyu has always appeared as a tomboy, so she was amazed to see Bibi Dong's ladylike image. She could never do it herself. In that case, I'll go over there. Shi Chen looked at it, and then he also split a spiritual clone and came directly to Bibi Dong's room in the Dolua world. Master. Seeing Shi Chen appear, Bibi Dong hurriedly stood up and saluted. It doesn't matter. After solving Kiang Sunji, we will go directly to the Shingdo Great Forest and start preaching with soul beasts. Shi Chen looked at Bibi Dong and smiled. Why should we start with soul beasts? The spirit hall is now the strongest compared to other countries. Isn't it better to start preaching here? Bibi Dong asked in confusion. No, in the entire world of soul masters today, the spirit hall has benefited the most from this, so it is impossible for them to choose a new cultivation system. If the new heaven covering method is to be spread, the spirit hall's position as the number one on the continent will definitely be shaken. Soul beasts are different. They have always been hunted by humans. If a new cultivation system appears, they can cultivate to a stronger level, and they don't have to rely on a long time to grow like before. The most important thing is that no one will come to hunt them in the future, and the so-called soul rings are useless to humans. Shi Chen explained the idea of the whole system to Bibi Dong, so that Bibi Dong could also sort out the current situation. After I help you solve Kiang Sunji, let's go directly. Shi Chen looked at it and stretched out his hand to grab it. In an instant, a figure appeared in his hand. When Bibi Dong saw it clearly, she found that it was Kiang Sanji. What? What's going on? Bibi Dong. What are you going to do? Kiang Sanji appeared in Shi Chen's hand before he could react. At this time, he suddenly saw his apprentice Bibi Dong, and hurriedly asked Bibi Dong. After being caught by Shi Chen, he tried to use his soul power several times, but found that he could not use a trace of soul power. You know, he is a top-level title Doluo. Even his father, Qian Daolu, who is a level 99 extreme Doluo, could not catch him so easily. So when facing Shi Chen, he instantly felt fear. Master, 
This is the last time I call you master. Bibi Dong looked at her former master, but she had a greater hatred in her heart. The other party, as her master, would do such a thing to her, which made her want to kill him anyway. Bibi Dong, what are you doing? Who is this person? Xian Xuanji felt the unparalleled oppression, which reminded him of the legendary god. Perhaps only god could achieve this kind of strength, but it made him even more puzzled. There has been no god in Dolua continent for 20,000 years. How could it be possible to appear directly in the Wuhuan Hall and in Bibi Dong's room? Well, let you die knowingly. Looking at the terrified Kiang Sunji, Bibi Dong said expressionlessly. If you knew that I would be with you Xiao Jiang in the future, you would definitely keep me in the spirit hall at all costs. I already know my future, and I already know what you will do to me in the future. So in order for me not to see you, a disgusting person, in the future, please die peacefully. Kiang Sunji had long had improper thoughts about his apprentice, and the Yu Xiao Jiang incident was just one of the fuses. So when he heard what Bibi Dong said, he couldn't help but be shocked. Bibi Dong, you are crazy, you are just the saint of the spirit hall, and I am the pope of the spirit hall. If you kill me, my father will definitely not let you go. Ignoring Kiang Sunji's roar and threats, Bibi Dong directly beheaded Kiang Sunji with a knife. Considering that the other party had taught her before, she did not choose to torture him. Now Bibi Dong is not the future Pope of the Spirit Hall, who will be second to none. Her heart is not so dark, so she can't do that kind of torture. Let's go, let's go directly to the Shingdo Great Forest. In the future, I will establish the Zhutian Temple here. You will be the saint of the Zhutian Temple for the time being. After I leave, you will directly serve as the leader. Shi Chen looked at Kiang Sanji's body, waved him back to his room, and then looked at Bibi Dong and said. Bibi Dong, everything is up to you. Bibi Dong nodded and looked at Shi Chen respectfully. Shi Chen nodded, and then took Bibi Dong directly to the Shingdo Great Forest. I don't know how long it took, and an angry voice came from the spirit hall. Who on earth killed my son? I will tear you into pieces. Qian Daolu finally found the dead Qian Xuanji, and his angry voice spread throughout the headquarters of the spirit hall. Great priest, in addition to the death of the leader, the Saint Bibi Dong has also disappeared. At this time, a titled Dolua appeared and bowed slightly to Qian Daolu respectfully. This matter is of great importance. I am afraid that the disappearance of the saint is related to the murder of the Pope. Before the matter is clarified, I will temporarily serve as the Pope of the Spirit Hall. Qian Daolu did not doubt that Bibi Dong would kill Qian Xuanji. After all, Bibi Dong was Qian Xuanji's disciple, and secondly, Bibi Dong did not have that strength. Now his guess is that someone killed Qian Xuanji and kidnapped the Saint Bibi Dong. In addition to the pain of losing his son, it is more of a provocation to the authority of the Spirit Hall. In his heart, the interests of the spirit hall are above everything else, and even his own son has to stand aside. Otherwise, in the original novel, after Bibi Dong killed Qian Xuanji, because Bibi Dong had the potential to achieve godhood. Qian Daolu gave up his intention to kill Bibi Dong and instead devoted himself to assisting Bibi Dong in managing the spirit hall. Chapter, 48 Shi Chen and Bibi Dong were walking in the Star Do Forest. They wanted to go directly to the center of the forest, where the overlord of the Star Do Forest lived. There are many powerful soul beasts sleeping in the Star Forest, but the only ones that often appear are Xiao Wu and her mother, plus the Azure Bull Python and the Titan Giant Ape. Some other hundred thousand year soul beasts are basically in a state of slumber. It's so beautiful here. I really want to come here and play. Xiao Yu couldn't help but sigh while looking at the pictures in the live broadcast room. Yeah, it's a pity that technology in our world is developing too fast, and there aren't many virgin forests like this anymore. Tony sighed when he saw this. I once passed by a planet that was completely covered with virgin forests. It looked really beautiful in the universe. Kai also came out. It was rare that he didn't go to save the world. Sir, we are almost approaching the center of the Star Do Forest. Bibi Dong saw that there were fewer and fewer soul beasts around him, and knew that the two of them were almost at the center of the Star Do Forest. 
the soul beasts here have their own territories, so low-level soul beasts have their own territories. No beast dared to step in at will. It doesn't matter, let's go like this. Shurchin nodded, keeping his pace unchanged, and continued walking towards Star Lake, where the Azure Bull Python and Titan Giant Ape lived. The two of them soon came to a lake, which was the Star Lake at the core of the Star Forest. At this time, a huge figure ran from a distance and landed directly in front of the two of them. It was the Titan Ape. Little monkey, call your big brother. Shurchin looked at the Titan Ape and ignored its roar, but asked him to call out the Azure Bull Python. The Titan Giant Ape ignored them and wanted to drive them away. Boy, stop. At this time, a deep voice came from the lake, and then a huge cow head gradually emerged from the water. Immediately afterwards, a huge soul beast with the head of a bull and the body of a python appeared on the entire lake. It was the Azure Bull Python, the great Ming in Xiao Wu's mouth. Human, this is not the place you should be, get out of here. The voice of the Azure Bull Python came, making the surrounding trees rustle. Little snake, I don't like to look up at others, so please lower your head. Shi Chen smiled, and then stretched out his hand to grab it. A huge palm appeared in the air, and the huge body of the Azure Bull Python followed. Caught in hand. Immediately afterwards, he was transformed into a small snake as big as a palm, no, or more like an earthworm. This turn of events not only confused the Titan Ape, but also the Azure Bull Python itself. Seeing himself being caught in the opponent's hand, there was still disbelief in his eyes. The next second, the Titan Ape became angry and raised a fist the size of a small mountain to hit Shi Chen. Stop it, dick. The Azure Bull Python was horrified when he saw this, and quickly stopped the Titan Ape. Seeing the boss speaking, the Titan Giant Ape stopped. Who is your excellency? There has never been a person like you in the Dolua continent. There was deep fear in the eyes of the Azure Bull Python. Did you come down from the God Realm? The Azure Bull Python asked cautiously, as if afraid of irritating Shi Chen. Seeing this, Shi Chen knew that he had the effect of killing the chicken to scare the monkeys. If it hadn't been for what he did just now, I'm afraid they wouldn't have taken him seriously. The leader of the group is so awesome. He can scare them with just one move. Conan watched with great joy in the live broadcast room. These little animals are quite good, but it's a pity that the world level is too low, otherwise they can grow well. Pluto also stood up, looking at the Azure Bull Python and Titan Giant Ape in the live broadcast room and commented. The scene returned to the time side again, looking at the frightened Azure Bull Python, not intending to scare it anymore. Don't worry, I'm not here to arrest you, nor am I from the God Realm, but from outside the world. Outside the world. The Azure Bull Python was stunned when he heard this, as if he didn't understand. I'm here to teach you a brand new training system that can be practiced by both humans and soul beasts. After training, the growth limit will be stronger, and humans will no longer need to hunt soul beasts to break through, and you soul beasts will it is no longer necessary to rely on the accumulation of time to become stronger. Shi Chen simply explained to the Azure Bull Python. What? Are you telling the truth? The Azure Bull Python was greatly shocked when he heard this. If this is true, then the situation of the soul beast in the future will be better, instead of shrinking in this forest forever. Middle. Okay, I'm going to bring the others here, and then we'll teach you new cultivation methods together. As he said that, Shi Chen stretched out his hand to explore, and then two figures, one large and one small, appeared, which was the already transformed figure. Xiao Wu's mother, and Xiao Wu who has not yet transformed. What? What's going on? Xiao Wu's mother was playing with Xiao Wu, but unexpectedly she appeared here. The Azure Bull Python's pupils shrank when it saw this, but it didn't even notice that the other party had already brought Xiao Wu and her daughter. De Ming, Er Ming, what's wrong with you? Xiao Wu's mother quickly became alert when she saw Er Ming, who dared not move, and De Ming, who had turned into a little snake. That. That. Senior, this is an adult from outside the world. He came here to teach us. Tian Qing Yobua looked at Xiao Wu's mother. She was indeed a little embarrassed by her current appearance, 
but she still explained the purpose of the hour. To Xiao Wu's mother. The Ming and Er Ming call them Sister Xiao Wu, so there shouldn't be anything wrong with calling their mother senior. After all, they don't even have a name. If what you said is true, then we soul beasts will definitely support you. But I want to ask you, why do you want to help us? Xiao Wu's mother looked at Shi Chen, her tone was quite fearful. Even before she transformed, she had never felt this way, and being able to casually turn Daiming into such a small size was a method she had never seen before, so she had to be cautious. It's not like helping you. Shi Chen smiled, then looked at Bibi Dong who had no sense of existence on the side and said. This is a junior I just met. You should know her name. She is Bibi Dong, the contemporary saint of the spirit hall. After a pause, seeing the solemn eyes of several beasts, Shirchen understood. With the continuous expansion of the spirit hall, more and more soul beasts are hunted, so their relationship with the spirit hall is getting worse and worse. It's still good at this time. When Xiao Wu's mother is killed by Bibi Dong in the future and Xiao Wu is sacrificed, then they will really feel hatred. Now Bibi Dong has left the spirit hall and is here to teach a new cultivation system with my mission. I am also here to help this young man, and this new system is called the Heaven Covering Method. Afterwards, Shi Chen taught the Heaven Covering Method to all the soul beasts, and then said. Starting tomorrow, I will temporarily stay in the Star Do Great Forest to preach. You go and notify all the soul beasts with wisdom, and all of them can come to listen. In addition, if a human soul master comes, if they don't take the initiative, you must not hurt them. Shi Chen gave all the soul beasts an order. He planned to spend some time, anyway, he had nothing to do, and this was just one of his clones. Yes, sir. All the soul beasts heard it and hurriedly said respectfully. That. Sir, can you change me back? It's not easy for me to intimidate other soul beasts in my current state. After all, most of the other soul beasts are not very intelligent. If they are in chaos at that time, it will affect you, right? Seeing that everyone was about to leave, the sky blue bull python hurriedly stopped Shi Chen and said embarrassedly. I would have forgotten it if you hadn't said it. It's my fault. Shi Chen smiled when he saw this, and then threw Daiming into the star lake. Daiming gradually changed back to his original appearance in midair. Thank you, sir. Daiming hurriedly thanked. Shi Chen nodded, then found a place by the lake, waved his hand, and a simple thatched house appeared, and he sat cross-legged in it. Bibi Dong saw this, also said hello to everyone and closed the live broadcast, and also found a place to sit cross-legged and practice. Chapter, 49 The soul beasts saw Shirchen practicing, and they also separated and went to inform the soul beasts of the entire Shindo Great Forest. There was no conversation all night. The next morning, Shi Chen opened his eyes on time as the sun just rose. My lord, would you like to have some breakfast? The head of the sky blue bull python floated out of the water and looked at Shi Chen respectfully. Okay, the last time I ate was a million years ago, just to satisfy my appetite. Shi Chen thought about it and nodded, agreeing to the sky blue bull python's proposal. Although this is just a spiritual clone, it can also taste the food, otherwise his original body will never touch such ordinary food. A million years ago. Who is this person? The sky blue bull python was shocked when he heard this, and muttered to himself, but still ordered Erming to prepare food. Soon, Erming caught a chicken that was 10,000 years old. He heard that humans like to eat chickens, so he caught one for Shirchen. Not only that, he also found a lot of spiritual fruits. That. Sir, we have never eaten human food here, why don't we let Bibi Dong help us cook it? The Azure Bull Python looked at Shi Chen and asked carefully. No need to be so cautious, I don't like killing people that much, or I haven't killed as many creatures as you. Shi Chen smiled and said. Daiming smiled, obviously not believing what Shi Chen said. Let me do it, since I turned into a human, I often learn the human way of life, and I can also cook some dishes. At this time, Xiao Wu's mother came over and said while holding Xiao Wu. After a long time, after Shi Chen and Bibi Dong finished eating, they began to preach. 
At this time, the periphery of Xinghu was already crowded with soul beasts of various levels. The most central ones were naturally several overlords of more than 100,000 years, and the ones outside were more than 10,000 years, followed by thousands of years, and so on. Although the soul beasts were in turmoil because of the suppression of several 100,000 year soul beasts, they did not dare to act rashly. Shi Chen came to the soul beasts and began to preach. He was talking about the heaven covering method, and today he was only talking about the cultivation of the first small realm. As Shi Chen continued to explain, the soul beasts that were originally a little agitated stopped moving and listened to Shi Chen's teachings quietly. Although Shi Chen was not in his original form here, he was not comparable to the gods of this world, so the content of his explanation made the soul beasts fascinated. Although Shi Chen himself had not practiced the heaven covering method, he could directly deduce the heaven covering method. Coupled with the realm of his clone, it was more than enough to explain it to the soul beasts. At this time, in the Star Do Great Forest, two figures were moving forward at a very fast speed. Old ghost, the saint girl can't appear in this ghost place, right? At this time, a man with a somewhat feminine appearance looked at the person next to him and said. Old Chrysanthemum, you ask me how I know, we just come here to take a look as ordered, I don't want to provoke those people in this Star Do Great Forest. Another man who looked a little gloomy responded. The two men were the two elders of the spirit hall who came to look for Bibi Dong, the two famous titled Dolua, Yu Guan and Gui Mei. Both of them were titled Dolua and possessed the martial soul fusion technique, so they often acted together. It's so unlucky, why were we assigned to this Shingdo Great Forest? If we run into that gorilla, it won't be so easy to retreat. Yu Guan also complained after hearing this. There's no way. Except for the people who stayed at the headquarters, the elder sent everyone out. We are titled Dolua and have the martial soul fusion technique, so we can only come to this Shingdo Great Forest, which is the safest. Gue Mei could only comfort herself after hearing this. Strange, why are there so few soul beasts today? Along the way, we have almost never seen soul beasts over a thousand years old, except for some ten-year and hundred-year soul beasts we met at the beginning, and this is already the central area of the Shingdo Great Forest close to the core. As the two walked along, Yu Guan looked at the rather quiet forest around him and gradually felt something was wrong. When Gue Mei heard this, he hadn't noticed it just now, but now he also realized that something was wrong here. The two looked at each other and stopped at the same time. Old ghost, what do you think? Yu Guan looked at the ghost beside him, wanting to ask his companion's opinion. We haven't encountered any danger yet, so we can only continue to check forward, otherwise we can't explain to the elder, but we must be careful later. Gue Mei thought about it and expressed his opinion. Okay, then we will continue to move forward. With our strength, unless several overlords in the depths of the forest appear at the same time, they will not be able to stop us, but we must pay attention to restraining our breath. Yu Guan thought about it and felt that it made sense, and he was quite confident in his strength, so he agreed to continue moving forward. Gue Mei nodded, and then the two continued to move forward to the depths of the Shingdo Great Forest. I really don't know where this senior came from. This kind of cultivation system is simply unheard of, but it is extremely powerful. If I had this heaven covering method from the beginning, then after practicing to this day, I am afraid that even the people in the god realm would not be afraid of me. Daiming looked at Shi Chen who was preaching and said to Xiao Wu's mother who was sitting cross legged on his head. Xiao Wu's mother was originally holding Xiao Wu and quietly listening to Shi Chen's preaching. When she heard Daiming's voice, she slowly opened her eyes. No matter why he did this, or where he came from, as long as it is beneficial to our soul beasts, it's fine, and. Xiao Wu's mother said, her eyes gradually moved down, looking at a little rabbit in her arms, it was Xiao Wu who was silently listening to Shi Chen's teachings. And. Daiming was stunned when he heard this, and looked at Xiao Wu's mother in confusion. And, Xiao Wu's personality is like mine, and she also wants to transform into a human form. If this is true, then even if she transforms in the future, she will not encounter too much danger. So that's why, it's because you told Xiao Wu's sister too many stories about the human world, which made her want to transform. If you ask me, isn't it good for us to continue to maintain the body of the soul beast? Why do we have to transform? 
Daiming complained a little. He and Er Ming have played with Xiao Wu since they were young, and the two soul beasts call Xiao Wu sister Xiao Wu, so they can't bear Xiao Wu to transform and venture into the human world alone. It's okay, Daiming. Isn't there a new cultivation system taught by that master? When the human world practices like this in the future, no one will need soul rings and soul bones anymore. In this way, after I transform, even if I need to practice slowly, I won't be afraid of the risk of being exposed. At this time, a gentleman's voice came, it was Xiao Wu who was held in his arms. Alas, you are right, Sister Xiao Wu. Daiming sighed lightly after hearing this, and said no more, just hoping that it will be like this in the future. At this time, two figures suddenly appeared in a place not far from Xinghu. This. This is. Yueguan and Guemei were so shocked by the overwhelming soul beasts that their eyes were about to pop out. Old. Old ghost, am I dazzled? Yueguan looked at Guemei beside him, and even stuttered when he spoke. No. Not only. It's you, even I feel a little dazzled. Guemei smiled bitterly and looked at Yueguan helplessly. Something big must have happened here. I have a feeling that the death of the Pope and the disappearance of the saint may be related to the changes in the Shingo Great Forest. Yu Guan looked at the quiet soul beasts not far away and had a guess in his mind. No matter what, we have to go over and check it out. Be sure to pay attention to safety. Gui Mei said to Yu Guan. Yeah. Yu Guan nodded, and then the two of them rushed forward together. Chapter 50 The two of them were moving forward thinking that they would be attacked by the soul beasts, but they didn't expect that the other party just glanced at them and stopped paying attention, which surprised them. At this time, a voice came from the direction of Xinghu Lake, which made the two of them feel moved and rushed forward. After the two arrived, they found that there was a figure sitting cross-legged by the lake, saying something. Looking again, they found that several overlords in the Xingdo Great Forest were sitting aside, listening to the man quietly. Old Ghost, do you think that is the saint? Yu Guan looked at a woman next to the young man and said to the ghost beside him. It is indeed the saint, it seems that we have found the right direction. The ghost nodded. Since you two are here, sit here for a while. At this time, the young man stopped preaching, and then a voice came to the ears of Yu Guan and the others. The next second, the two appeared directly beside Shichen. Yu Guan and Gui Mei were like seeing a ghost. He brought them to his side without them noticing. You know, they are titled Doluo. If this person has such strength, it would be effortless for him to kill them. Thinking of this, the two guessed that Pope Kiang Sunji was probably killed by this person, and Saint Bibi Dong was also abducted by this person. Saint, we finally found you. Yueguan and the two said to Bibi Dong at the same time. Then, the two faced Churchin, looking nervous and alert. Two elders, I have already withdrawn from the spirit hall. Bibi Dong shook her head and said. What? The two were shocked and looked at Bibi Dong in a panic. Two elders, you have a good relationship with me. I can give you a chance now. I invite you to join my heaven covering hall. Sooner or later, heaven covering method will become the mainstream of Dolua continent. Bibi Dong invited warmly, and at the same time roughly told the two about the benefits of heaven covering method. After hearing this, Yu Guan and the other two looked uncertain. In the original version, they were Bibi Dong's most loyal subordinates. However, Bibi Dong has not become the Pope yet, but has already left the spirit hall. Saint, please forgive us for not agreeing to you. We are all members of the spirit hall and will never betray the spirit hall. The two refused without much hesitation. Bibi Dong nodded after hearing this. She was not surprised. If she could make the two famous elders of the Spirit Hall leave the Spirit Hall and come to her with just a few words, she would think too much. It doesn't matter. If the two elders know the strength of the adults, they should change their minds. It is destined that the heaven covering method will replace the original system of Dolo. I will always have expectations for the two elders. Bibi Dong said with a smile. Thank you for your understanding, Saint. The two thanked Bibi Dong and planned to leave. Don't be in a hurry to leave listen to me first. 
At this time, a voice came, and it was Shirchen who spoke. He had not stopped Bibi Dong just now because he wanted to find a few people for her. Otherwise, it would take too long to gain a foothold in Dolua continent, and Yuiguan and the others were a good choice. When Shirchen spoke, the two felt that they could no longer move forward, and had no choice but to turn around and face Shirchen. Senior. The two bowed to Shirchen at the same time. Find a place to sit and listen. As for whether to leave or stay, you two can decide for yourselves. However, adding icing on the cake is good, but sending charcoal in the snow is more noteworthy. Shirchen nodded, reminded the two, and began to preach on his own. Yueguan and the others looked at each other after hearing the words, silently calculating in their hearts, and then found a place next to them and sat down quietly. As time passed, the sun had set in the west, and Shirchen's sermon was coming to an end. Not far from here, there were also some human soul masters faintly present. These people came here to hunt soul beasts to obtain soul ring breakthroughs, but they found that there were only some soul beasts of ten or one hundred years old, and even those of a thousand years were few and far between. Based on the principle that the more skilled, the more courageous, these people headed towards the core of the Shingo Great Forest. Unexpectedly, they met other people who were also hunting soul beasts, so they moved forward together and found Shirchen's sermon. However, these people did not have the courage and strength of Yuguan and the others, so they could only stay outside and listen quietly. As Shirchen's sermon came to an end, everyone was reluctant to leave. After Shirchen finished speaking the last word, he looked at all the people and soul beasts present and said, I am talking about a brand new cultivation system called the Heaven Covering Method. This method does not require hunting soul beasts to advance, and the growth limit is higher. You can practice it without talent. As long as you are willing to endure hardships, you can gradually achieve success. Today is the first day of my preaching here, and I will also talk about the cultivation method of the first realm. After that, I will explain a realm every three days, and everyone can come and watch. Looking at the people who were listening quietly, Shirchen continued, all those who come to listen to the teachings, no matter what kind of hatred, are not allowed to fight here, and are not allowed to hunt soul beasts at will. If you have younger generations in your family who cannot practice soul masters, you can ask them to come and listen to the teachings. After speaking, Shirchen waved his hand, and everyone appeared directly outside the Shingo Great Forest, frightening all the guards guarding the forest. This. This is a miracle. The people who were transmitted said as if they had just woken up from a dream. Great, I just heard myself practicing silently. Although it has not been completely transformed into a new system, this method is indeed feasible. Now my son can finally practice. A middle-aged man on the side was very excited. Although he was a soul saint, his son followed his mother and only awakened a useless martial soul, which made him unbearable for a time. Every time he went to hunt soul beasts, looking at his son's envious eyes, his heart was like a knife, and he wanted to give him his martial soul. Yes, a descendant of my family had a good relationship with me, but in the end his martial soul mutated and became a useless martial soul. This time I finally found a new way to practice for her. Another soul emperor also sighed when he heard this. The senior in the center of the Shingo Great Forest must be no ordinary person. Not only did those soul beasts dare not make trouble in front of him, but even the several overlords in the forest stayed by his side honestly. Another soul saint said when he saw this. Nonsense, do you think anyone can create a new cultivation system? Do you know who is next to that senior? That's the Azure Bull Python and the Titan Giant Ape. Sitting on the Azure Bull Python's head is a legendary beast. Although it has transformed, I only have that person sitting on its head. Even these overlords can only stay and listen honestly. Can that senior be an ordinary person? Another soul Dolua reprimanded after hearing this. Do you think that senior is the legendary? God. The soul saint who spoke first said carefully. Very likely, but these are not things we can understand. Let's go back and inform the younger generation at home. With the words of that senior, the soul beasts in the Star Do Great Forest will not dare to attack us, as long as we don't provoke them. Just watch, the Star Do Great Forest will soon be in chaos. The soul Dolua thought, but still warned everyone. 
Everyone was shocked when they heard the words, but they also felt it was natural, and then everyone dispersed. Chapter, 51 The next morning, all the soul beasts came here early to gather, just like yesterday. Shi Chen looked around and saw that many humans had appeared not far away. It was obvious that they all came with their families. Shi Chen didn't waste any words and continued yesterday's sermon. Although he was still talking about yesterday's realm, he explained it comprehensively from another aspect, which made everyone not feel bored at all, but listened with relish. As for Yuiguan and the other two, Shi Chen had let them go after the sermon yesterday. Today is destined not to be too quiet, but I don't know when the spirit hall will come. After a night of fermentation, the things in the Shingo Great Forest will definitely be known by the top sex and the two empires on the continent. And the Shingo Great Forest is located at the junction of the Tiendo Empire and the Xinglua Empire. What happened here will soon be known by the two empires, and they will not be able to react. It seems calm now, but it is just the calm before the storm. The two empires today are still in their prime, not as good as the era dominated by the Spirit Hall in the future. The Spirit Hall today is just competing with the two empires. Shuchin's sermons are still going on, and from time to time someone gets inspiration from it and then starts a new practice. Those who can practice the heaven covering method are almost all the younger generations of the family. After all, those who can bring it here are favored, and they can't become soul masters. And those who are soul masters, if you want them to immediately decide to give up soul masters and practice this new system, it takes a lot of perseverance. You know, if you want to change to a new practice system, it takes a certain amount of conversion time. During this period, they will be in a weak period. If they are found by enemies, then they are completely finished. Who can become a soul master and make a living on the mainland without a few enemies? This new cultivation system is really powerful. One of my nephews originally had a useless martial spirit, but after listening to the sermon of that adult, he successfully opened up the sea of suffering. And just now he found a junior soul master of the same generation in the family and defeated him directly. A soul dolua said to the people who came to listen to the sermon with him, with a tone full of amazement. Just a person who has just become a cultivator can defeat a junior soul master. This is the second threshold of entering the Dolua system. No way, it's really so powerful. The person next to him was shocked when he heard it. Yes, although I don't know how long it will take, but this new sky covering system will gradually replace the Dolua system. After all, a large part of the power of soul masters comes from soul rings, and soul beasts will always be killed one day. Soul Dolua sighed softly. This is the sadness of the entire continent but now it seems that the spring of Dolua continent has finally arrived. It seems that we should prepare early, so that we will not be eliminated by the new era. The person said to the soul Dolua with a feeling in his heart. That's right. Unfortunately, this senior hasn't announced the future cultivation yet. We can only wait quietly. However, being able to listen to the senior's explanation of this early stage repeatedly can lay a more solid foundation for our future cultivation. The few people chatted with each other, and did not forget to listen to Shurchin's preaching. This is the best way to practice for people like them who want to change the cultivation system. Time passed slowly, and soon the sun set in the west, and everyone went back. At this time, two figures suddenly came to the side of Xinghu, first bowed to Shurchin, and then found Bibi Dong. Saint, we too have decided to join the Zhetian Palace, and we will follow the saint's lead in the future. The people who came were Yuguan and Gui Mei. After the two went back, they first reported to the great elder Qian Dao Lu, and then gathered together to discuss for a night. Now, after Shi Chen finished preaching, the two came to meet Bibi Dong. Last night, they had heard about Shi Chen's method. He instantly transferred dozens of people directly from the core of the Xingdo Great Forest to the outside. In addition to the two people he had casually controlled before, he was able to kill Kiang Sunji without knowing it. They couldn't think of anyone else who could do this except the legendary gods. At this moment when the gods cannot descend on Dolua continent, it is obvious that a god around them can give them a greater sense of security. Not only that, this new cultivation system is destined to replace the original soul master system of Dolua continent in the future. The two thought for a long time before deciding to come to Bibi Dong. 
They knew Bibi Dong's ability. Doesn't it explain the problem that she could make the other party follow so willingly? The two were not die-hard fans of the Spirit Hall. If they encountered a life and death crisis, they could abandon the Spirit Hall without hesitation. But now Bibi Dong can keep suppressing the two, so she is not afraid that the two will make waves in the future. What's more, Shi Chen had told them before that adding icing on the cake is good, but it is not as good as sending charcoal in the snow. The current Shetian palace is in need of people, and their joining will definitely be a timely help, although Shi Chen doesn't care, just to leave a team for Bibi Dong. In view of this, the two of them decided to take a gamble, and winning will definitely be better than now. As for losing? Don't think about it, don't even consider it. Very good, you made a wise choice, and you will be glad for this choice in the future. Bibi Dong smiled and affirmed their decision. I hope so. Yu Guan and the others looked at each other, and then smiled bitterly. Since you have decided to follow Bibi Dong, I will help you. Shi Chen said at this time. As soon as the voice fell, the two felt the difference in their bodies. It turned out that Shi Chen directly replaced their system of the heaven covering method, and now they felt several times stronger than before. A deep shock flashed in the eyes of the two. The other party just said a few words lightly, and directly changed the two of them. It was like letting an ordinary person directly achieve the title of Doluo. Thinking of this, they felt that their previous guesses might be even more terrible. After all, they had never heard of any god who could do it. Now their confidence in their hearts is more firm. Since they have boarded this ship, they can't turn back. I have handed over all the cultivation systems to you, but you can only cultivate to the level of dragon transformation. The current Doloa world can only bear one half-step great power. After Bibi Dong achieves half-step great power, she will start to improve the world level, and then you can also be promoted to the half-step great power realm. Of course, if you can break through to the god realm, you can also reach the half-step great power. Bibi Dong will tell you the specific things later. Shi Chen looked at the two and said. At this time, according to the heaven-covering method, the two of them are already in the late stage of the four extreme secret realm. If they break through to the dragon transformation, they will be equivalent to the level of extreme Dolua Qian Daolu, but they are more powerful than the other party. Saint, we have brought a piece of news. At this time, Yu Guan looked at Bibi Dong and said respectfully. Go ahead. Bibi Dong nodded, indicating that the other party should speak directly. Soon after we went back to report to the great elder Qian Daolu last night, people from the two great empires of Tiendo and Xinglua came to discuss and make decisions together. After all, the impact brought by our heaven-covering method is the greatest harm to them and the major sects. Although nothing happened today, it will be lively here tomorrow. Yu Guan reported while observing Bibi Dong's expression, but did not find anything unusual. What happened now was also within Bibi Dong's expectations, but it had little to do with her, and it would all depend on the group leader from now on. Chapter, 52 Another night passed like this. Since Yuiguan and Guimei had joined Bibi Dong, they did not return to the spirit hall. Everyone, is there anyone who wants to come over to play? Only those who are at level 5 or below can come. After finishing his practice in the morning, Shi Chen opened the chat group and said to everyone. Group leader, can I go over too? Saitama suddenly jumped out. Last time he went to Xiaoyu's world, because the world level was not high, Saitama could not go over. This time he finally had a chance. Saitama is now at the peak of level 5. I didn't expect that he would break through level 6 so soon. You can come over to play. Shi Chen looked at Saitama and found that this kid had already reached the peak of level 5 without knowing it. It seemed that he would soon break through level 6. However, he could just enter the Dolua world, so he simply let him come over. It seems that I can't go. You can start a live broadcast for me to see. Seeing this, Hades was quite helpless. As a level 6, he could not go to the Dolua world at all. But he suddenly thought of it again. He was still in a sealed state and could not go out for the time being. He might as well stay here and chat with the group. We can't understand the helplessness of the boss. Xiaoyu came out and looked at the current Hades. 
he could vaguely see the shadow of a bald caped man from behind him. The same boss, the same Versailles. Then I'll go too. It happens to be a bit boring. Uchiha Madara also came out to join in the fun. Although it was not long since he went to Xiaoyu's world last time, he wanted to fight with people from another world to verify his cultivation. During this period of time, Madara has taken back his samsara eye and also included the Akatsuki organization. Madara has now reached the peak of the third level, and there is only one opportunity away from a breakthrough. He feels that after this time, he should be able to go back and break through the fourth level. Is there anyone else coming? Shuchen asked again. No one spoke this time. Obviously, everyone either felt that they were not strong enough and did not want to come, or they were too lazy to join in the fun, such as a certain wind god who was still escaping. Okay, in that case, then you two come over. I'll let Bibi Dong start a live broadcast. It should be quite interesting today. Shi Chen smiled when he saw this. Soon, Bibi Dong started the live broadcast, and Saitama and Madara also came here. Yu Guan and Gui Mei were originally guarding on the side. Suddenly, they saw two people appear, just like seeing ghosts, and almost took action directly. If Bibi Dong hadn't stopped them in time, I'm afraid Yu Guan and the others would have been beaten to the ground. Boss, there should be a fight today, right? Saitama came here and immediately asked Shi Chen. There will be, not only that, some people from above may also come down. Shi Chen smiled and nodded when he heard this. The ones from above, you mean the gods of this world, leave it to me. Saitama is not stupid, and immediately thought of one thing, there are still gods in this world, although they are only some weaker gods. Although these gods have lived for a long time, their combat power is really not good, so they can only be domineering in this world. Listening to the conversation between Shi Chen and Saitama, Yu Guan and the others on the side were shocked. They didn't expect that they could actually see the legendary gods today. What was even more unexpected was that they still didn't take God seriously. This made the two more confused about the origins of Shi Chen and others. At this time, countless soul beasts and more soul masters gathered outside the Star Lake again, and Shi Chen also began to preach for the day. Saitama and Madara were also listening carefully. Although they didn't practice this method, they could also compare it with themselves and learn from the outstanding content. Time passed slowly, and soon it was noon. For example, the Star Do Great Forest finally showed movement. At this time, countless soul masters suddenly poured in from three directions, as if they had agreed in advance. They were the people of the two empires and the spirit hall. The Tiendo Empire, the Xinglua Empire and the Spirit Hall are doing business. Unrelated people should leave, otherwise they will be killed without mercy. At this time, a voice came from a distance, and at the same time, a strong sense of oppression made the legs of the Soul Masters present weak. Who is that? The great elder of the Spirit Hall, Qian Dao Lu, he seems to have not appeared for a long time. I didn't expect that he would be invited out. This is the legendary Extreme Dolu. Those who had heard of the legend of Qian Dao Lu recognized him at once. Not only that, the two empires also sent more than a dozen title Dolua, almost all of their trump cards were revealed. Not only because they heard about Shi Chen's strength, but also because there are many soul beasts in the Star Do Great Forest, including several great overlords, so everyone can't ignore it. Ban, how about giving Qian Dao Lu to you? Shi Chen looked at the majestic Qian Dao Lu and said to Uchiha Madara on the side. Leave it to me, sir. Ban smiled slightly when he saw this. This is an opponent who can be on par with him, which makes him quite excited. Boss, what about me? Saitama asked hurriedly when he heard this. Don't worry, your opponents are not here, they haven't come down yet. Shi Chen smiled and comforted him when he saw this. Okay. Saitama had no choice but to do so when he heard this. Bibi Dong, as the saint of my spirit hall, you actually teamed up with outsiders to kill the Pope of my spirit hall and spread evil magic everywhere. Why don't you just surrender now? Qian Dao Lu took the lead and questioned Bibi Dong. Bibi Dong was his most promising junior, but she actually teamed up with outsiders to kill the Pope, and the Pope was his own son, which made him very angry. 
Humph, this is nothing but Kiang Sunji's suicidal plan. Bibi Dong snorted coldly upon hearing this, unwilling to be outdone. In that case, we can only wait until I catch you back. Qian Daolu heard this, and said no more, and then ordered everyone to launch an attack. Don't bother so much, let's have some fun together. Seeing this, Ban came directly to Qian Daolu and said with a smile. Su Sanu. As he said this, he put his hands together, and in an instant, a giant Susanu that covered the sky and the sun appeared, shocking everyone. What kind of martial soul is this? It's so big, and it looks so oppressive. Everyone was shocked upon seeing this, and thought it was some martial soul they had never seen before. At this time, everyone realized that this was the person who had just appeared next to Shirchen and others this morning, and they didn't expect that there was a helper. Tian Ai Jinqing at this time, all the soul beasts had already fled under the orders of several overlords. Other soul masters who came to join in the fun, seeing the Wuhuan Hall and the two empires' armies approaching, also scattered one by one. At this time, the battlefield was full of enemies, so Madara didn't care. He just opened Susanu and cleared the field with Tian Aizhenqing. Scatter quickly. Qian Deoliu's eyes were red with anger when he saw this and he quickly ordered the army to dodge. Even he didn't dare to take this level of attack head-on. Although Madara's move was powerful, because the meteorite was too huge and had to fall little by little, it was almost impossible to hit a small and fast person. This time was different, because the battlefield was full of the coalition forces of the two empires and the spirit hall, so even if they wanted to escape, they couldn't escape quickly. After just a few seconds, there were only a few surviving coalition forces on the entire battlefield. Chapter, 53 This, this, this. This is too scary. Yu Guan and the other two looked at Ban's mighty power, their eyes were filled with fear, this was almost at the level of a natural disaster. Two elders, now is the time for you to serve. Bibi Dong looked at the shocked two people and urged them. Yes, Saint. The two of them were shocked and they heard the words, and they rushed towards the coalition forces. Now the two have rebuilt their systems although they no longer have the martial soul fusion skills, the tacit understanding between them has not disappeared. Not only that, their current fighting style is stronger than before. As long as they don't encounter extreme Dolua like Qian Daolu, they can basically fight one against many. Chrysanthemum, old ghost, you two actually betrayed the spirit hall. At this time, a titled Dolua from the Spirit Hall looked at the two in shock. Those who know the times are heroes. The two of us will definitely follow the Saint Lady to the death. Yu Guan sneered. No point in talking, just kill them, the Saint is waiting for us to report back. Gui Mei reminded. Yu Guan stopped talking nonsense and rushed into the other side's titled Dolua with Gui Mei. Although the two were much stronger than before, there were still more than ten titled Dolua from the two empires and the spirit hall. Even if the two of them attacked together, they were still a little stretched. De Ming, Er Ming, you guys go help them too. Shi Chen looked at Zhu and Gui who were a little busy with themselves, and said to the two soul beasts who were watching the show. Understood, sir. Dae Ming nodded and called Er Ming. The two beasts roared, and then their huge bodies rushed into the battlefield in an instant. As soul beasts over 100,000 years old, their huge size is the biggest killer, and although the 100,000-year soul beasts are comparable to the Tidal Dolua level, the 100,000-year soul beasts are stronger than ordinary Tidal Dolua. Oh no, it's the two overlords of the Star Do Great Forest, the Azure Bull Python and the Titan Giant Ape. How could they join the battlefield? A Tidal Dolua on the other side was shocked. Everyone be careful, don't be attacked by them. With the addition of the two soul beasts, the battlefield instantly maintained a delicate balance. At this time, on the other side of the battlefield, the people of the top three sects, Haotian sect, Chibaoyuli sect, and Blue Lightning Tyrannosaurus Rex family, were looking at the battlefield with a serious expression. I didn't expect that there would be so many title doyuos in the spirit hall, and Qian Daolu is not dead yet, it's really scary. Ning Fengji looked at the two parties fighting, his expression was quite solemn. Behind him were the famous Sor Dolua and Bon Dolua. 
As the richest sect on the continent, it was really amazing that it could support two title dolios. Master Ning, what are you going to do with the Chibaoyoli sect? This time it will be related to the affairs of the entire continent. At that time, the value of your sect will no longer exist. Tang Hao appeared on the side and looked at Ning Fengji and asked. Tang Hao is not the youngest title Doluo now. He is still a sole Doluo, but he was also sent to the Star Do Great Forest. The three upper sects are now advancing and retreating together, so they are here now. Originally, the Spirit Hall wanted to order the people of the upper three sects to come and fight, but because the upper three sects were advancing and retreating together. The Spirit Hall did not want to provoke them at this critical juncture, so they simply came together with the two empires. In fact, the emergence of the new cultivation system has not only impacted the Spirit Hall and the two empires, but also the upper three sects. However, the upper three sects are different from them. After all, it is the Spirit Hall that is directly impacted, and the upper three sects are basically guarding their own little piece of land, so they plan to let the other party test it first. Since the emergence of the new system is inevitable, we must also prepare early, and I feel that the one in the Star Do Great Forest should not be so easy to lose. Ning Fengji replied after hearing this. You mean? The legend that the other party is. A god? Tang Hao was puzzled after hearing this. That's right. The cultivation system of Dolua continent has existed for countless years. How could a completely new cultivation system suddenly appear? Even if the opponent is not a god, he should be at that level. Ning Fengji nodded and expressed his guess. It's really a troubled time. Tang Hao shook his head and sighed. No, if this goes on, we will definitely lose, and the strongest one of the opponent has not made a move yet. It seems that we have to use the backup plan. Qian Dao Lu and Ban separated their fighting figures, and couldn't help spitting out a mouthful of blood. Looking at the fight of others, he couldn't help thinking in his heart. Qian Daoliu's martial soul is the six-winged angel, which is the inherited god of the spirit hall. With the six-winged angel martial soul, there is a chance to inherit the inheritance of the angel god. Now that he can't defeat the opponent, the only way he can think of is to sacrifice himself, open up the channel to communicate with the god realm, and let the angel god descend a miracle, so that they still have the strength to fight. However, if he sacrifices, the spirit hall will really exist in name only, so he has been hesitating. Just as Qian Dao Lu was thinking, a crack suddenly appeared in the sky, and then a golden light shone down, and a huge figure appeared faintly. This is. The people who were fighting couldn't help but stop fighting and looked at the strange phenomenon in the sky. You people from other worlds dared to destroy the foundation of the inheritance of Dolua continent, and we are here to bring down divine punishment. Although the gods of the god realm have extremely long lives, they are also restricted by the will of the universe. Now the will of the universe has a vague feeling that there is a problem with Dolua continent, which is very likely to shake the foundation of the world, so it has sent down a message to let the gods of the god realm know about the lower world. Under the power of the gods of the god realm, a projection can be sent down to Dolua continent to execute the divine punishment. Originally, as long as the gods came to the god realm, it would be impossible to return to the lower world, but with the power of the god king, a projection can be barely sent down. Having said that, they also have divine power, which is not comparable to the extreme Doluo. If Qian Dao Lu faces such an existence, he will probably be slapped to death. This is the legendary person in the god realm. Ning Fengji, who was far away, looked at the strange phenomenon in the sky and couldn't help but open his mouth wide. This only exists in legends. Great, with the help of the gods, let's see how you die this time. Qian Dao Lu looked at the miracle that came and couldn't help but said excitedly to Ban. Tisk, it's just another person looking for death. Upon hearing this, Ban curled his lips and said disdainfully. Although he was very likely to be unable to beat those so-called gods, he was not alone. The boss was here, so why did he need to take action himself? It's just a few small third-level gods. They really don't take us seriously. Shi Chen looked at the sky where the miracle was descending and smiled gently. Chiyu, this is left to you. I will take you to the god realm to play later. 
Really? Boss, watch me. Saitama was very excited when he heard this. He felt that since the other party could be called a god, he should be able to fight a fair battle with him. Everyone present suddenly saw a bald man in a cloak appear, and a series of question marks appeared in their heads. Could this guy want to provoke the gods? Why is it not that adult who appears, who is this bald man? Tang Hao looked at the Saitama who appeared and asked the person next to him in confusion. I don't know either. I only know that the other party suddenly appeared here this morning. The man shook his head and didn't know the origin of Saitama. Tang Hao nodded when he heard this, and then looked in the direction of Saitama. Chapter, 54 Hey, I hope you can have a passionate battle with me. Saitama looked at the gods in the sky and waved his hand. Humph, people from the lower world dare to provoke gods. The god snorted coldly, and then he didn't say anything more and directly launched an attack. A long sword shadow appeared and then slashed at Saitama. The supreme power it carried shocked the people present and hurriedly retreated. So scary, is this the power of the gods? The onlookers were all shocked. Even if it was just an attack released by a projection of the gods, the title Dolua dared not approach. Good job, seriously. A punch. Saitama was very excited when he saw this, and then he opened his five fingers, clenched them into a fist, and punched hard in the direction of the giant sword. Is this man crazy? He actually wants to take the blow of the gods with his fists, looking for death. The onlookers were all amazed. But the next scene made them drop their jaws in shock. As Saitama threw a punch, a terrifying fist wind appeared, instantly punching a hole in the sky, and even the several gods that existed originally disappeared directly. This, this, this. I am not dazzled. A soul Dolua who was watching the battle on the side, looking at the empty sky in the distance, couldn't help asking his companion beside him. I also hope that I am dazzled, but. This, this, this. I see exactly the same as you. The other person also said in amazement. Puff. In the god realm, in a magnificent hall, a god king couldn't help spitting out blood, his face was extremely gloomy. Everyone, the alien from the lower world is really good. The several third level god projections I sent were directly dispersed by his punch. The god king looked at the other gods and said. It seems that the enemy this time is not trivial. We still have to make long term plans. Another god king heard the words and thought about it. The other gods nodded and thought in their hearts. Boss, are those the so called gods? They look so weak. Saitama came over and said to Shirchen. As soon as these words came out, Yuiguan and the other two who had retreated here couldn't help but twitch their faces violently. Okay, let's solve the problem here as soon as possible. I've been here for several days. I can't be disturbed all the time in my retirement life as an old man. At this time, Shirchen stood up, looked at the few people and smiled. Sir, are you going to the god realm? Bibi Dong looked at Shirchen and said respectfully. Let's go. I'll take you to this god realm. You can ask if anyone here wants to go and see it. Shirchen looked at Bibi Dong and smiled. Bibi Dong was stunned when she heard this, and then passed on Shirchen's order. That sir, he actually said that he could take everyone to the god realm. Did I hear it wrong? Everyone not far away was stunned when they heard this, and thought the other party was joking. Soon, all those who wanted to go to the god realm to see the world couldn't help but rush over. For many people, being able to become a title dolua is something they have been longing for, and becoming a god is something that only extreme doluos like Qian Dao Lu can pursue. Shi Qin did not favor one over the other, and brought Qian Dao Lu along as well. After a rough look, in addition to Bibi Dong, Daiming, Erming, and the others, there were also some people from the Spirit Hall, plus the onlookers and some people from the three upper sects, adding up to several hundred people. Okay, since everyone wants to see what the god realm looks like, then come with me to see it. Don't worry, I will keep you safe. Shi Qin said, and casually opened a space crack, and powerful laws surged, wrapping everyone up. A flash of light passed, and everyone was directly teleported to the god realm. 
The reason why Shirchen wanted to bring everyone here was to make it so that others would no longer have the thought of resisting, and it would be easier for Bibi Dong to unify the continent in the future. Who? As soon as everyone arrived at the God Realm, they saw a colorful scene, which shocked everyone. At this time, a voice came, making everyone nervous. It was a god who discovered the sudden intruders. Shirchen didn't waste any words, and grabbed with his big hand, and all the second and third level gods were wiped out. The people who followed were shocked to see this. They didn't expect this person to be so violent. The other party just said a word and wiped it out with a palm. Shirchen also had his own considerations. If he wanted Bibi Dong to complete the integration of the continent as soon as possible, the resistance of the god realm would be great, so it also needed to be cleared here. He took action directly and wiped out some unimportant second and third level gods. He stretched his hand forward again, and a giant hand appeared, grabbing five figures in his hand, which were the five great gods of the god realm. The five great gods are the god of kindness, the god of evil, the god of destruction, the god of life, and the god of Shura. Who are you? Why are you so powerful? Azura god looked at Shur Chen, his eyes full of horror. The five of them, as the five strongest gods in the god realm, were caught by the other party, and they couldn't even break free. You don't need to know, I just want to teach you the law. If you don't interfere, I can allow you to continue to live well in the god realm. Shur Chen smiled and said. Impossible, you are a person from another world, it is impossible for you to interfere in our world. As the supreme gods, we are not something you can control at will. Azura god retorted. As the five gods who ruled the god realm for countless years, how could they be threatened by a person from another world? Shurchen didn't say anything after hearing this. His mind moved slightly, and the Azura god exploded directly, and he couldn't die anymore. Ashura. His godhead has disappeared. The god of life, who was also caught in his hand, couldn't help but said in shock. So. What about you, little guys? Shurchen looked at the other four god kings, who were two couples. The reason why Shurchen killed the Azura god directly was not only because the other party refuted him and he needed to kill the chicken to scare the monkey, but also because he didn't want to break up the couple. We. Agree. Seeing this, the four god kings knew that they couldn't stop it, so they agreed reluctantly. Very good, I will put the heaven covering method into the rules later, and you can also transform the system, and there will be hope for further progress later. Shurchen nodded and said to the god kings. The four god kings' eyes lit up when they heard this. They are now the highest in the god realm. It is extremely difficult to move forward again, and they can only rely on themselves to grope forward. If someone can open the way forward, they can also move forward more easily. Shichen had not directly incorporated the heaven covering method into the world rules before, which would have caused resistance from the gods in the god realm, so he could only take it slowly. During this period, he had been infiltrating the world rules, and now it was almost done. The people who followed Shichen saw that Shichen defeated the supreme god king of the god realm so easily and killed one with his hands, and they felt that they were still living in a dream. From now on, everyone no longer needs to take the godmaking test to join the god realm. They only need to achieve the half-step great power realm to go to the god realm. In addition, the half-step great power realm can freely enter and exit the god realm and the lower world. Shurchen imprinted his ideas into the rules, and at the same time strengthened the spatial barriers between the god realm and the Doloa world, allowing the Doloa world to accommodate the existence of the great power realm at will. Reaching the half-step great power realm is equivalent to the former third-level god, and the great power is like the current god-king, but it is easier to enter this realm. Reaching the great power realm in this world is already the limit, but if Bibi Dong can successfully upgrade the world, she can raise the world level, and everyone has the opportunity to go further. Just wait for Bibi Dong to unify Doloa continent and then achieve half-step greatness, then you can start to ascend to the world. Because the God Realm does not belong to Doloa continent, it is not within the scope of consideration.